I know. Apologies, apologies. You're expecting Natasha and you've got me. I do apologise. But poor old Natasha's got dreadful morning sickness. Now, oh, this would be a good, this would be a good message in one. I said yesterday, uh, we were talking in the office about morning sickness. I haven't got it. Natasha's got it, right? And uh, Wendy, you know, Wendy, our uh, chief scheduler, I think that's what she's called, um, she said ginger nuts. She lay in bed eating ginger nuts. That was with her first baby. And then the second baby, she just thought, oh, I'll just have every biscuit going. So I had one of those, like, compendium boxes and had all those. But I noticed on Facebook last night, lots and lots of you said ginger nut biscuits. So if you've got any tips for Natasha, send them in and I'll pass them on to her about what she should be doing to get rid of her morning sickness. Uh, fabulous show lined up today. Uh, would you like to have a look at the menu? Oh, no, before I go to the menu, Alison and your husband, I hope it goes really well today. Saying no more, but I hope it, I'll be thinking about you. And GWR, I'm going to have words with you. That's a railway station, by the way. Uh, here's today's menu. Uh, coming up today with me, John Scott, we've got Easter Animals Parade. Uh, I've got all sorts of things. I've got Joe Carter toys. I've got uh, ducks. I've got chickens. I've got felt. I've got all sorts of things. Rabbits, everything. Nine o'clock, uh, we've got Victoria doing the twist lock bag from uh, Debbie Von Croza Grabi, you know. Anyway, I'll tell you the surname properly in a minute. 10 o'clock! Oh, you're going to love this. We've got new... Now, it's a mixture of tapestry fabrics and kind of uh, canvasy fabrics. And then it's 11 o'clock. We've got the EPP tablet cover with Victoria Pete. So, coming up at 8 o'clock, along with, with lots of other things, we have the... Um, they look real, don't they? Uh, we have the, uh, uh, the pattern for this and the, kit, the pattern kits for both of those. Right? Then... at uh, um, Nine o'clock, this is the bag I was going to talk about. Um, what it is, is it's a Debbie, I'll get it right now, Debbie von Grabler Crozier. It's one of her bags, right? Victoria Peace is going to show us a techniques for that bag, like the flap and how to do that and that and th all that. Lots to tell you about in that hour. <gasps> now, we've got Premier Fabrics, tapestry and uh, canvasy fabrics in, in the uh, 10 o'clock hour. Look at this. Look at this. Isn't it fantastic? Now, I've got elephants. I've got llamas. I've got dogs with glasses on. I've got... What was the other one of these? There's a fourth one of these. Uh, the llama. The fourth, the, then I've got all those beautiful... And Carol, Carol Hiller, I've got your picture. I'm going to be showing your picture in the uh, 10 o'clock show. She, last time I had tapestry fabric on, I'd said about covering a stool or a tuffet or a piano stool. Anyway, she did it with one of them and it looks gorgeous. I've got her picture coming up. Uh, and then, oh, you can make a lovely poof out of that, actually. I wouldn't do the um, foundation paper piecing out of it, but definitely. Then look at this. This little tablet holder. This is English uh, paper piecing, which we're going to have a masterclass of. Now, that's Jennifer Paganelli, that one, but I've got all sorts of fat quarters to show you. Uh, coming up in... Uh, see, I've got so many gorgeous, colourful things today. Right, we want you to get in touch. And the best way to do that, <coughs> excuse me, is via our website. What you need to go is go to www.sewingquarter.com. And then what you do is you see... You've got to log in. You've got to log in. doesn't cost you anything to log in. Um, uh, but you do need to put your uh, uh, information in and everything. And then you can uh, log in. You can message the studio. You can write your message there. You need to keep it to 140 characters. Um, because at your end, you can keep typing, 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 typing as much as you like. But at our end, it cuts you off after 140 letters. That gets sent through to Little Paul upstairs. Little Paul sends it through to the tablet on my desk. While we're on that page, have a look at products from today's show. Now, you see, they disappear much earlier these days, don't they? So what will happen is in... Say that again? No, I don't think so. Don't think so, because at the same time... Well, anyway. Uh, so, Timothy upstairs saying it's me being slow and late, you see. Um, Products from today's show will arrive there as I introduce them. You can, if you're watching later, you think, what's John had on the shopping list today? Have a look there, click on them, put them in your basket. Chat, talk about put them in your basket. Go to the top of the page on the right-hand side. And you'll see there where it says go to basket. They had, oh, no, oh, oh, I don't know what that one is. Chicken duo. Have we got that later? Oh, no, that's the cushion I had yesterday, isn't it? It's the cushion I had yesterday. Oh, I'm going a bit crazy. Oh, that's the Dita Sitar one I had yesterday. Click on it, put it in your basket. If you know you definitely want it, please check out your basket. You can check out as many times as you like. Uh, one PMP of £2.95. Now, if you want to send in your picture, like Carol did, or if you want to send us a longer email, please do studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. So, I think that's it. I think that's everything, isn't it? 
Um, so let's make a start. Let's make a start. So I'm going to start off with um, Joe Carter, chicken or rabbit? The egg. We haven't got an egg. Chicken. Right, OK, chicken. So now this, what date was this made on so they can have a look at it? Of 28th of February. 28th of February, Joe Carter did this. Um, it's gorgeous, isn't it? And it's, it's tactile. It's beautiful and tactile. Isn't it lovely? Now, I've got it in two colourways. That one, obviously, the one that's in the graphics at the moment is this one, the Ginger one. So what you get in the kit is you get... Oof! Oh, right, OK. Um, just to warn you, I know Joe said it did uh, dandruff a bit, but the, the fabric, give it a good shake out before you start, otherwise your sewing room is going to be completely and utterly uh, monsoon, not monsoon, snow drifted with dust, uh, fluff. So you get the fabric, you get the gingham fabric, so half a metre of the yellow, half a metre of the gingham. Uh, this one? It's gorgeous and soft and squidgy. Super soft fleece, it's called. It's beautiful, isn't it? Anyway, so you get half a metre of that, you get half a metre of the orange gingham, you get the black skein, embroidery skein, you get the uh, thread, you get the eyes, and you get the instructions. Very, very thorough instructions. And, of course, in the instructions, you get all the pattern, the complete pattern as well. So you get all the pattern pieces and all the instructions there. And you can watch it on YouTube. <coughs> you can watch it on... Um, YouTube on the 28th of February when Joe made it on the show. Now, I need to warn you, they do fly, they do fly out. They, they do sell incredibly, incredibly quickly, these. So at £19.99, get yourself, get yourself a, a, an, Easter, an Easter chick with gingham feet and beak. £19.99. OK, then uh, I've got it in another colourway. I've got it in a different colourway. Here we go. Here's the spray time one. Now, it'll, it'll look the same, except the beak and the feet will be in the bright orange uh, spray time fabric. So you get half a metre of the soft fleece. The instructions, half a metre of the spray time. I'll show you the spray time for real in a minute. The, oh, oh, I tell you, I didn't mention in the last one, you get this as well. Sorry, that's my bad. Was it on the picture of the last one? Oh, it was. I just didn't mention it. Uh, you get this as well. This what? OK, uh, and you get the embroidery thread and you get the uh, sewing thread. Let me show you this, though. This is, if you've not seen our spray time before, we love this. It, this is one of our stock ranges. And it comes in all different colours. But in this kit, you get this gorgeous orange. It's lovely, isn't it? £19.99. And 99 pence. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Pop it in your baskets. Now, um, I'm all right at the moment. Excuse me at the moment, but I will be telling you to check out later. Oh, here we go. Sue, what a lovely surprise you found you there this morning, John. What a treat. I know, I'm knackered though, Sue, I tell you. But, 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 poor Aunt Natasha, she can't help it, you know. She had morning sickness at 12.28 this morning, you know. She said, I suppose you can still call it morning sickness. Oh, it must be horrible. But then the end result's fabulous, isn't it? You get a little baby at the end of it. Right, give it a good shake out the, the super soft fleece. Um, I'll come back. To, I will come back to those. I will come back to those. The other thing is you get more eyes than you need. Now, I'm presuming you can only make one. Ooh. Let me just have a check. Let me just, sorry, let me just have a check. Now, um, I think it's just, well, do you know what? I think if you, if you cut it properly, I think you can get, not properly, carefully, I think you could, we well, can definitely get two sets of beaks and out of half a metre of fabric, you definitely get your, your... I'm sure you could do two out of that. I'm sure you could. Anyway, we're double-checking for you, though. We're double-checking. OK, I'm rabbiting on. I've got to get on with the rabbit now. OK, so the rabbit now, here he is. Cute, isn't he? Paul Smith esque ears and feet and nose. Do that one first. So, what you get in this bundle is you get the lovely um, beige super soft fleece in that one. You get the lovely chalk stripe fabric from the uh, Fruity Friends range. You get uh, two pieces of felt, one in green for the carrot. Oh, they're, they're just for the carrot. They're just for the carrot. Blimey, you can make loads of carrots out of that. You get the thread, you get the skein, and you get the eyes, and you get the stuffing, and you get the. Oh, blimey, you get loads. 
and the instructions. Loads of you coming in for that. It is a lop-eared bunny, just so you know, a lop-eared bunny. It's nice, isn't it, the stripy fabric? I've also got it in a spot as well. Oh, do you know what? I'd buy both and have a stripe. Stri but I think, I see again, I think you, I think you might be able to make two. We'll double check, we'll double check. Was this the same day then? Was this 28th of February as well? It's even instructions how to make the carrot. Do you know what I mean? Look. Okay. 24, 19, they're gorgeous, aren't they? The love. I, saw, I think, oh, look, look, oh, look. Oh, I just think they're gorgeous, look. Look, look, look. Now, if you go to our sign quarter fan page. Oh, yay. Oh, OK, right. There's enough fabric to make two of each, but you might have to get a bit more stuffing. You might have to get a little bit more stuffing. And both are on the 28th. Both are on the 28th. All right, then. So that's one rabbit. That's the stripy rabbit. But I've also, I'm going to have to go around the front of the desk. I'm sorry. I've also got the spotty rabbit as well. Yeah, I have to go around to get it, that's what I said. Right. So, what you get in this is exactly the same, but instead of the stripy fabric, you get the spotty fabric for the ears. It's lovely, isn't it, that? This one's more... The spotty one is more limited than the stripy one. How, bi how big are the felt pieces? There you go, look. What's the matter? The spotty fabric, yes, of course. Lovely. It matches the stripes, the bright colours. They're lovely, aren't they? 24 pack. Now, this one, the spotty one, is more limited. And you get the stuffing as well. And you get the stuffing. Make sure you check out your baskets, though. Make sure you check out those baskets. No, little Paul hasn't said that. That's me saying that. Oh, yes, look, I made a big carrot. Yeah, well, I think you could, actually, because the, sh the pattern here shows you how to make the carrot. All the instructions. Lots of new buyers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, new buyers, remember, it's not yours until you've um, checked out. Also, as a new buyer, you get a free gift. You get a free gift. Have a look at this, right? Uh, no, 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 have a look at this. There you go. There you go. You go. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. All you do is if you're a new buyer and you spend over £10 on your first purchase, not including uh, postage and packaging, which this would, you'd get this, you get that, li that little um, cutting board there, 16 99 uh, And then look, all the, there's, that, that's what I said about the carrot. There's the carrot pattern there. And then all of the pattern pieces you need. And of course, the little arrows are the direction of the grain of the fabric. I will be coming back to it. Look, carrot top. You, I didn't think you were allowed to say that. Yeah, because when I was little, that's what you called ginger people. So, anyway, it's fine. I'll have words with Joe Carter about that. I'll be seeing her. Uh, we're doing the um, sewing for pleasure. I'm not in tomorrow, so I won't be able to check with Ginger Mike tomorrow. Right, OK, so that's that, that's that, that's that. What's next? Felt patterns, yep. Yeah. OK. Now, these are in a different order. Oh, no, there we go. Let's just put this way around. OK, all gorgeous for Easter, these. OK, puppy. I'll, I'll, take that, I'll take each one out the bag, but I have to make sure Chris gets angry if I don't put it back in the right bag. Oh, now, was this one? Because I've never seen this one before. Was this definitely one? OK, they were $8.99, they're now $4.99. Uh, 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 they're not mentioning the sale, and I don't know why it doesn't say, because normally it says there, doesn't it? Normally $8.99. So um, $4.99, uh, now what you get in here is you get this. And then look, they're all old-fashioned, thorough, thorough, thorough uh, instructions. Pattern pieces. 
templates. And this is what you're making, this little puppy dog. It's a little fat puppy dog, that one, isn't it? Puppy paws, felt pattern. Now, you're just getting the pattern. Was $8.99, and it's now $4.99. But I can't say that, because it's not in the graphic, can I? Um, let me have a look. Uh, OK, I'll just have a look at messages now. Now, do you know what? You know a lot of you ask us about the angel, the angel thing. This one you're allowed to make and sell on. This one they say you can, it says on there, intended for use for profit or for fun. Right, messages, Wendy. Morning, John, love to see you on the show this morning. The toys are so cute as well. Thank you, Wendy, my love. Oh, it's Wendy, it's wet yourself, Wendy. Did you get your card? You got your card, didn't you? Uh, next one. Nope. Uh, morning, who's this from, sorry? Fiona, morning, John. Oh, her rabbit and her chick are being delivered today. Oh, you're going to have great fun making those. I've got Carol. Hello, John. I'm new to Sewing Quarter. I love it. From Carol in Morecambe. Oh, I love it in Morecambe. It's nice in Morecambe, isn't it? Uh, ducks next. Put that one back there. Remember, these were $8.99. This doesn't say in the graphics. Daisy Duck. Again, picture, cutting instructions, what you need. And then really, really thorough written instructions there, look. Pages. I'd read it first with a cup of tea. And then look, all of your pattern pieces that you need there. Because these are made out of felt, remember. There's your main body. And then if we just look at the picture, that's what she's going to look like. With her wings and her beak and her lovely feet. Oh, you've got flowers on that applique, Donna, as well, look. Four ninety nine. Normally sell for eight ninety nine. Four ninety nine. That's Daisy Duck. Any of these you want to see pro uh, in more detail, just let me know, and I'll get them out for you. Uh, which one? I've got, oh, Bear and Bunny. I've got three bunnies now. Bear and Bunny next. Bear and Bunny next. I've not seen this one before. So you obviously get two patterns in this one. Was eight nine ten. I've never seen half of these, but I've seen. Oh no, I've seen the bunnies, but I haven't seen this one, bear and bunny. So you get <clears throat> this. It, this is the uh, time work bear and bunny pattern in here. I love. It looks like they're old fashioned, doesn't it? I love them. Again, all the instructions there. Oh, now that's little. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he wouldn't be little once he's got his legs and his arms on, I suppose, would he? And there's the bunny. So both patterns, now you're getting two for the price of one there. Two patterns for the price of one. Well, no, they won't be half the size. When you put that there and you put that there, they'll be in that, uh, does it say how big they are? Let me read. Oh, 10 centimetres tall, the bear, apparently. You've got more, oh no, four in, no, four. Four inches, the bear, and seven and a half inches is the bunny. Just to get... I've got some felt, which I'll do in a minute when I've done all these patterns. OK? Moving on. If I'm going too quickly, just say, let me know if you want to see any of them. Say that again. Carol, the new buyer from Morecambe. That was the last one I had, Joe. Morning, John. Love the colour coordination between your shirt and the quilt. It's not a quilt. It's not a quilt. It's not a quilt. It's part of the tapestry fabric coming up at 10 o'clock. Uh, careful, you'll disappear. That's why I didn't want that one, you see. Look, you won't see me now, look. Can you see me? Helen. Oh, no, Rashmi now. Hello, John. I still haven't got rid of my cold. Oh, Rashmi. Drinking lots of water. Lovely to see you here in your cheery voice. Oh, thank you. One from, oh, I'm loads of messages coming in. Emma, morning, John. I'm new to the show and I love it. It makes my morning to see you. Emma in Northern Ireland. How are you? That's my impression. It's from French and Saunders. Which one do you want to do next? I've got Easter sweet basket and I've got bunches of bunnies. I'll just roll my it's boiling hot in here, isn't it? Why have you got your um, hat on? It's so hot in here. Or have you not done your hair? Is that why you were late? You haven't done his hair. Talk to, to Mike. It's not Ginger Mike today. It's little Mike on cameras today. Right, which one did you say, sorry? Easter, Easter sweet pasta. 
Yeah, because you make a basket to put your sweets in, look. Remember it was eight ninety nine. now four ninety nine. So there's your picture, all your cutting out details. What it says on the front of this one is you can do it for profit or for fun, but it's saying you can't put it into commercial. Um, so don't be thinking, oh, I'll make 5,000 of those and sell them in Debenhams. You can't do that. Other shops are available. But if you've got a charity fate or a church fate or anything, you could do them for that, couldn't you? Lots of ladies making, um, um, I'm going to make some, um, a tractor sent me the details, uh, mastectomy cushions. Um, so cushions for people who've had operations, everything, just a. To... Oh, uh, Paul's mum's doing a craft fair for the WI. Other charities are available. I fell out with the WI last Christmas a bit. Anyway, moving on. Then, last one, last, last pattern, but not least. <coughs> Excuse me. This one is called Bunches of Bunnies. Oh, sorry, did I just bang my microphone then? It's so hot in here, I can't tell you. Lots of bunnies there. Well, I don't know, it's on now. Look, loads and loads. So it'll be one, it'll be one bunny pattern. Look, you see, that, there you go, there's your bunny, right? But then you can customise it and make baskets, look, and flowers and eggs, tulips. These are all felt, this is all felt work, isn't it, this one? So I've got felt now, got some felt bundles now. Okay, I've got pastel first. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that one feels bigger than the other. Five squares of felt. Five pounds and 49 pence. Gorgeous colours, look. <clears throat> They're 30 by 30 centimetres. Now, they're wool, felt wool squares. Now, you know when Mandy Shaw's on, Shaw's goes, oh, I wouldn't buy anything but felt, wood, wool felt. These are wool felt squares. So remember, when you're cutting these out, they won't fray. Gorgeous, lovely colours, aren't they? Really beautiful colours, look. They're nice. They're saying spring flowers. Crocuses. They're almost saying crocuses to me. Hello, John, I'm new to the show. How long, roughly, would it take to make the bunny? And is it easy enough for a young newbie? This, this bunny here, this, this bunny, or do you mean the, or do you mean the felt bunny? Do what? These, Jack Carter stories always get complimented, but they're not for a beginner. They're not for a beginner beginner. You have to be a confident beginner. Uh, Joe Hatt, if you want to start off with a Joe Carter toy, that's, uh, do the Pussycat, because Shemoy Mary, we haven't got it today, but you can look at it on the website. There's um, the Pussycat, like a doorstop or toy. Or she does a nut. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. What was that person called? Say, Marty, Marty, watch on the 11th. Is that Sunday? Watch on the 11th. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you this, but we've got, I'm shouting, I'm getting excited. We've got Joe Carter. Am I allowed to say it? I don't know if I'm allowed to say it. I've got Joe Carter exclusives um, where it's printed on the fabric and they're brilliant for beginners. So Marty, this is for, a, a, not advanced, but an intermediate or somebody who's done sewing before. But on, uh, oh, and Shemoy, I wonder if Shemoy Mary's watching. Oh, I think it's the 11th. I'll check with Bex, because I did a voiceover yesterday. I'm sure it's Mothering Sunday I'm doing that on. And um, it's all, it's, it's fabric that's already got the pattern printed on it. You cut it, it's made of cotton rather than, they're gorgeous, they're gorgeous. Anyway, I think I've got those on Sunday. Fe uh, a felt, 24 pounds and nine Oh, sorry. Oh, that was the rabbit, that was the rabbit. This is the felt. Five sheets. 1049, sorry. Five sheets of 30 by uh, 30 centimetres. Oh, 549, what did I say? Oh, sorry, 1049. <gasps> See, there's me trying to charge you double. Five pounds and 49 pence. Nah. Okay, so that's the, the, the pastel one they call springtime. And then the next one I think is called Easter. What's the matter? Of the Easter ones. Oh. Of these, right, uh, not just limited, I've only got 10 of each, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's one of those days. Right, okay, this one. Wool felt squares, one, two, these are 30 by 30 as well. 
three. I'll do that one next. Four. Five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Why, why is this one 449? Anyway, that's your Easter felt bundle. Four pounds and 49 pence. Oh, eight available now. There were 10, there's eight available. Seven. This is why you need to check out straight away because new buyers, they are not yours until you've checked out your basket. Or if you're ringing the call centre, it's confirmed once you confirm it with the call centre. Right, okay. Going over to set two now because I've got some um, fabric bundles and some... There's only one thread. Okay, because I've got one here and one there. Okay. Let's go over to set two. These are uh, gorgeous cotton. Which one first? Spot first. So this is a bundle. You get five fabrics at half a meter of each. They're all the spot on. They're all spot on fabrics. You get pale blue, apple green, pale lemon, uh, pink and lilac. Twenty-four pounds and forty-nine pence for that for two and a half meters of fabric. They've called it Easter Parade spot on fabric bundle. Twenty-four pounds and forty-nine pence. I it is Easter Parade. Easter bonnet. Do they still do Easter bonnet competitions. 24 pounds and 49 pence. Two and a half meters of gorgeous, 100% cotton, machine washable. If you're new to us, uh, we have all the spot-ons on, um, you know, we, it's one of our uh, core fabrics that we keep all the time, but we do these every now and then, we do a little bundle like this for you. 24 pounds and 49 pence. And then I've got another version for the play. Oh, do you know what? They look lovely together. I'll show you them together in a minute. So how much was that one? Sorry, 24, 49 was it? 24, 49. And then this one here, the planes. Pale blue, pale green, pale lemon, pale pink, pale lilac. 1625, this bundle. 16 pounds and 25 pence. You get two and a half meters of fabric. 16 pounds and 25 pence. Oh, hang on. No. Oh, is that cream? I said it was pale lemon. Cream, apparently, that one. And the lilac. Uh, 1625. So if you bought them both, that's what, 20, 30, for just over 40 pounds for both of them, look. For five meters of fabric, look. And they look gorgeous, gorgeous together, look. Now, uh, if you're new to us and you're buying two of the same bundle, you, they don't come joined together. So if you say that that's the, them, if you bought both of them, so this is the 1625 one, this is the 2495 one. Right, let me, 49, sorry, 25. Right, at the bottom there. So 24, 34, 40. Well, it'd just, it'd just be under 41 pounds plus your post of packaging, wouldn't it? But if you buy two of, right, that's the 1625. If you buy two of those, right, you, you don't get a meter of this, a meter of this, a meter of this, and a meter of this, a meter of this. You get two half meters, two half meters, two half meters, two half meters, and two half meters when you buy a bundle. But when you buy a fabric off the bolt, obviously that comes however much you want it. That's the size the piece comes from. Right, and while I'm here, I've got a thread bundle as well. Well, I've only got this and the summer cottage one, right? So it'll be the other one. Classic spring thread collection. These are for threads. Five threads, eight pounds and 99 pence. They're cute, aren't they? Oh, they match perfectly, don't they? Da dump, da dump, da dump, da dump, da dump. You don't, obviously you don't get all of the, you just get the threads for the 8.99, but look. Beautiful. Okay. I'll just put that back there where it belongs. Okay. Back to set one now. Oh, I've got loads more stuff to show you. Right, I've got, to, now we've sold these on their own in the past. But now today, I've got them in a bundle and they fly out whenever we bring these on to air. So it's a bundle, right? $5.99, you get all three of them. You get the pink, you get the blue, and you get the yellow. Each one is two meters in length. 
And, 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 do you remember when we did Christmas in, East, Christmas, at, why was I doing, oh, it must, why was I doing Easter with a Christmas tree in the background? Because what I did was I got it out like this, I got the three different colours out like this. Chris, Chris Floor said to me, whatever you do, Don, do not unravel them again this time. Look, I'll put it on the Christmas tree. Oh, where's the, look. Look. Now, did you know, have you read the thing about Easter trees? Um, John, I, well, I think it's, I, I might be wrong. I think it was John Lewis's, but loads of people. My friend Yvonne, she's a bit crazy, Yvonne. She's my chiropodist, right? Uh, she has a Christmas tree outside her house in Easter, and it's decorated with eggs and bunnies and things like that. And they're now selling them in the shops. They're selling Easter trees in the shops, like Christmas trees. So you get two metres, you get a bit more than that's on this. I've chopped some of this one off, obviously. Shame I haven't got a Christmas tree to decorate, isn't it? But in the bundle, I'll just show you the bundle here, you get the blue and you get the pink there. Look. Um, very low in stock. Oh, on the felts. I thought you meant on the felt rabbits then. On the felt. Yeah, we're moving on. I'll, oh, I know what I can do very quickly. I'm going to make my own little Easter tree. Oh, clunk, clunk, clunk. Look. It's cute, isn't it? I wouldn't have flashing lights or anything, but look. Well, you, uh, excuse me, right, Timothy, I've just got to say this, right, Timothy upstairs, right, this is a trend I'm not going to get back. He hates Christmas. Apart from Christmas Day itself, he hates Christmas. No, it is. Yes, but you're working in retail now, and Christmas in July happens. <laughs> In retail. Right, felt, be careful of the felt. I'll put the felt, I'll put those rabbits away there. Um, which ones? Both of them. Both the felt bundles of it. I only had 10 to start with, obviously. So this one was called Easter. That's the Easter one. Just going to check the stock. Okay, the three people who got it in their baskets, when you check out it, they've all gone. And then this one is the uh, pastel, they called it Spring Classic, I think, Springtime. It's wool felt, remember? Right, one person to check out, then they're gone. So I'll put those in the trolley. Right, next. Rick Rack. White first. Now, this is how yours are... Obviously, yours will be wrapped up and it'll be a full card. This is one that the designers have all used. You get 25 metres, the 4 millimetre size. 12.99, polyester, rickrack. Look. Cute, isn't it? Let me put it on a piece of fabric for you. Just take the spray time from that chick there. OK. So I'm going to show all of them at a time, but we'll put the white one out first. That's the white one. Oops, oops. That's nice, isn't it? That's the white Rick Rack. 25 meters you get for 12.99. There's no messages there. There's nothing there. Alison, I've got Alison. Good morning, our John. What a delight to see you today. Please look after yourself. You've been working too hard lately. Ali, it gets worse. It gets worse because I've got tomorrow off. Then I'm in here, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Then on Monday, I drive to York. Then I do work in pavers in York on, not in the shop, obviously, in the TV studio, on Tuesday and Wednesday. Then I'm at Sewing for Pleasure, Thursday and Friday. And then I'm back here. It's fine. Uh, so that's the white one. What colour do you want next? Okay, lilac. Oh, I don't know if it's called lilac. I'm just saying lilac. 
It's not pink, I've got pink later. Yeah, lilac, right. So I'll put the white one there. This is lilac. Yeah, well, yeah, because look. Oh, sorry, I forget, I forget, I forget, I forget. That's lilac. I'll put it on the orange fabric, obviously, just so you can see them all uh, on the orange fabric. That's lilac, 25 meters, 14 millimeter. Right, then I've got pink. Now, the pink is a real kind of bubble gummy baby pink. Now, on your telly, it might look a bit pale, actually, but... Oh, oh, it's got that lovely, lovely kind of um, baby pink, bubbly gum pink. This one's the pink one here. So on your screen, you're seeing the white, the lilac, and then the pink. Okay. Next is sky blue. I'm just putting them all out, because so, lots of people like to buy two colours, don't they? And see them together. I'm not necessarily saying you put these on orange. But I'm just doing the orange so you can see them there. This is the sky blue. Oh, that actually looks nice on the orange, doesn't it? So this one, so it goes white, lilac, pink, sky blue. And then yellow, which is going to look gorgeous on this orange fabric. Because it's a bright old vibrant yellow, that one, isn't it? Look. Look. Nice. 12.99, they're all 12.99, they're all 25 meters, they're all polyester, and they're all gorgeous. Do you know what, do you know what, decorate your Easter basket with those, they'd look lovely, wouldn't they? Right, okay, let me put those away then. Right, what's next then? The sky blue. Oh, I'll do Chicks first, and then I'll do Debbie Shaw's book. Then I've got uh, some tape measures in here as well. And I've got, what else have I got in here? That's it then, I think, isn't it? Oh, no, I've got one more thread, yeah, one more thread. I'll do the thread first, because it's here. Let me just do that, 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 that. Bring the graphics in. I'll just put the spray time back with the chick. There we go. Whoops. Oh, look at the colors again. The summer, this one's called the Summer Loft. Beautiful, Gutemann Sew All Summer Loft Thread. Eight ninety nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good value. That's really good value. You're getting seven threads for eight pounds and ninety nine pence. And getting it in a little box. It'd be lovely to give us a gift. That one, wouldn't it? You see, that's how it, that's how it comes to you. Guterman polyester thread. So all. So now we're thinking, you won't get these to have mother, Mothering Sunday, so now we're thinking of Easter gifts, aren't we? The thing is, when we were little, all my friends used to get Easter eggs, like, oh, how many did you get? I'll get 11 Easter eggs. I never got an Easter egg when we were little. We'd get a bar of chocolate, because my mum said there's more chocolate in a bar of chocolate than there is in an Easter egg, right? But that's not the same when you're a child, is it? You want the Easter egg, you want to smash it and open the foil and everything, not just to eat a piece of chocolate. Okay. Right, now let's recap the chicks of the bunnies. Gingham chick first. These are so cute, aren't they? I wonder if Andy from Scotland's watching, because he makes all of these animals. I just wonder if he'd made the chick yet, or if he's still on the, I think he might still be on the dinosaurs. Okay, uh, I'm not doing Paul's little Paul's joke. Chick it out, he said. That sounds a little bit, you know, flirty, that does, doesn't it? All right, chick. So you get half a metre of the uh, gorgeous, gorgeous fleece there. Oh, now, uh, just so you know, uh, on the picture, the skein of embroidery thread isn't there, unless it's underneath the graphics, you can't see it. You get the embroidery thread as well, and you get the sewing thread, and you get the eyes, and you get the toy filling, and you get the instructions. My word. £19.99, and, and these are their very said instructions. Wait for you to come in. As always with Joe Carter's projects, um, very, very, very thorough pictures and written details. If you're closer, look, that looks like a paparazzi picture, doesn't it, that one? Hello, darling. All right, darling. And then you've got all the um, pattern pieces there, templates. And if you wonder what the arrows are, that's your grain of fabric. <coughs> Excuse me. 19 99 
So now I can leave all of that there, take away that, and put Starburst in there. Got to be careful with which one. OK. Spray time. So that's exactly the same, but instead of having the gingham beacon feet, you'll have the spray time uh, beacon feet. Morning, John. Lovely, happy colours. Oh. Yeah, Haley found a way to, to stop that. We'll have to find out what it is. So I can have it back. 1999. Uh, lovely, happy. Oh, yeah. I'll read Christina's first. Morning, John. So happy I've got my striped here, Bunny. Now I can add, to my, add it to my order throughout the morning. So easy to do. Great system. Many thanks from Christina. And then the one before that was Rosalind. Uh, happy colours always trim my Easter tree. See, Rosalind has an Easter tree in West Yorkshire. Oh. Anyway, 1999. Please be careful. Remember, it's not yours until you've checked out. People will miss out if you're not careful. OK, rabbit next. So I can leave that one there. That can go there. That can go there. Right, the stripey one, over half of today's stock has gone. It's cute, isn't it? Uh, felt. Instructions. Everything's there, there you go. So you get the instructions, the fleece, <coughs> the stripe, the two pieces of felt, the embroidery thread, the sewing thread, the eyes, and the stuffing. 24 pounds. Now there's enough there to make two. You might not have enough stuffing to do two, that's all. Uh, right, I'm down to single figures. Down to single figures on this one. Now the other thing is, what I love about our, our fan page is so many of you put pictures of the, of the Joe Carter toys that you've made, and they all look completely different, don't they? I love the ones that are a little bit fat. I like the mermaids, so a bit like, like that. Or do you remember that lovely uh, blue bunny? Not this bunny, but the one with the, the hair, I think it was. And there was a bit like a bruiser in blue, like, like that. He had real attitude. He was lovely as well. So many of them, they're all different, because you, you obviously put your own personality into them, which is gorgeous. OK, so I can, all I have to do is change the stripe for spot. And there you go. Again, you get the fabric, a metre of fabric. You get uh, the felt, the embroidery thread, the sewing thread, the eyes, the instructions, and the stuffing. £24.99. £28th of February, remember, if you want to watch it being made by Joe on YouTube. 28th of Feb. So all you have to do, it's very simple for new buyers, all you have to do is go to YouTube, search Sewing Quarter and put the date in, and it, come, it comes up. It comes up with the whole show and you can watch the whole show. And what's good about it on YouTube is you can pause, you can fast forward. If there's a show you think, oh, I'm not going to enjoy that one, fast forward over John Scott. Um, or uh, rewind, you can slow it down and watch it in slow motion, as we all know. Don't twee, Sharon. I love Sharon, I love your... Um, no, no, it was I said Margaret on the thing. I said, it sounds like you're drunk when you... If you go to the fan page, I think it's the fan page, isn't it? Sharon with the posh surname. Uh, in fact, she could have been one of the Golden Girls. She has the same surname as one of the Golden Girls. Um, she put it on Facebook. Loads of people love it because I sound like I'm drunk. And I don't drink anymore. Right? OK, a couple of books to show you. Hang on, let's put this back properly. Now, that goes with that. And that goes with that and that. OK, Debbie Shaw, my mate Debbie Shaw. She always goes mad at me when she sees me because I say, oh, oh, everyone tells her that I say this, right? She's got this picture in this book and it's so photoshopped, isn't it? And she goes mad. And actually, to be honest, it's not photoshopped at all. She really is that lovely. She really is that pretty. Ah, I hate her. With love, obviously. No, because she's so gorgeous. She, and, and she always, always, always looks fabulous. Whenever you see her at any of the shows, like by, by three o'clock in the afternoon, everyone else is like run ragged and my shirt's all untucked and I'm all sweaty and everything. She's still there looking glorious. Absolutely glorious. Uh, so bunting. Oh, look, it's only 9 99 this book. Now, this book is fantastic because it's every different bunting you could imagine you want. 
I know, look at all the projects, 29 projects in here. So you've got bunting to go around. There they all are. There they all are. So you've got that. Oh, there's another picture, not Photoshopped. Um, all, she goes, first of all, basic techniques and tools that you need, useful stitches that you need. And then we go to simple bunting. We go to advent bunting. We go to applique bunting. We go to beach bunting. Oh, look at that stripy fabric. Uh, we've got blackboard bunting. We've got buttoned bunting. Try saying that with someone else's teeth in. Crazy patchwork. She's forgot to put bunting on that one, isn't she? Uh, oh, we've got arty bunting. Lampshade bunting. Who even knew that existed? Heartfelt bunting. Oh, look, you could use your felts. Use your lovely felts for that, couldn't you? Uh, country bunting. Halloween bunting. Icicle bunting. We oh, don't need any of that. Thank you very much. We still got ice. The village binette before mine is still shut, right? And I'm still down to a single track. I'm going to start down a single track when I'm driving home because there's so much snow either side. Jeans pocket bunting. Lavender bunting. Oh, that's a nice idea. Oh, do you know what? What a fantastic idea. Fill your bunting with lavender. Oh, your room's going to smell gorgeous, isn't it? My friend Dulcie does lavender bags. Nautical, but nice. Oriental. Pelmet. Pocket. Ribbon. I've just stopped saying bunting now. Santa. Uh, scissor, keeper, bunting, scrapbook, bunting, sewing room, bunting, steampunk, bunting, table, oh, there's the table bunting for your garden. I don't, I don't, oh, I see, did you put it on a tablecloth? You see, the only thing that's wrong with that is my round table in the garden's got a hole in the middle for the umbrella to go through. So you'd have to know how to make it, I'd have to eyelet stitch it, wouldn't I? Anyway, bunting bag. Well, that's a nice one. Uh, Valentine's bunting, miss that, I mean, bunting, that's gone. Wedding bunting. Got lots of weddings. My friend Cherry's getting married. My friend Vix, you know Vix who's new here, she's getting married. Who else? Do There's another one. There's three weddings. Oh, Jay, Jay, of course, Jay. Jay's getting married. Uh, very limited, this tilled one. I'm going to be honest with you, I've only got seven. Only got the seven. Tilda's Spring Ideas book. It's cute though, isn't it? It'd be a lovely gift as well, wouldn't it? Are they little bumblebees? Little fat bumblebees. Cute, aren't they? Like a coffee table book, isn't it? Look, this is her house. How do you live like that? Look, all your templates. Now, she, uh, what till, uh, tone it is, tone says, is don't try and cut the fabric out. What you do is you stitch around that line and then you cut it out. So you took two, two bits, oh, put your two bits of fabrics together and then you do that. All the patterns you need for the whole book, $7.99. Cute, isn't it? Tilda Spring Ideas, £7.99. Tone Finnegan, I think she's called, didn't she? Right. Um, Back to the fabrics. I've done, I haven't done the tape measures yet. I'll do that when I come back, then I'll take those out ready. No, not for fabric. I don't need my glasses, thank you. Spotty bundle first. What you get in here is you get half a metre of each fabric. Blue, green, yellow, pink and lilac. £24.49. 100% cotton, machine washable. These are, for new, view new viewers, these are, we do carry these all the time and you can buy them individually on the web as well. We've done a little bundle there, Easter Parade Spot On Fabric Bundle. Cute, aren't they? Nice colours, lovely. Oh, imagine bunting made out of those colours. Hang on, let me put that in the shot there. Look, imagine bunting. Oh, come on, John, one job. There you go. You stay still, Mike, I'll, I'll do it. There you go. Oh! What are you doing? Uh, lots of you got that in your basket. Uh, but how many have I got, though? OK. £24.49. OK, and then I've got the plain colours, solid colours thing, spectrum solids, not plain. Um, gorgeous. Cream, green, blue, pink and lilac. Uh, £16.25 for two and a half metres of fabric. 
Now remember, you get half a metre of each fabric. It's 44 inches wide, 100% cotton. Machine washable. Okay, so back to set one, because I've got these love... Thinking about Easter presents, just presents. These would be lovely as presents, wouldn't they? Owl first. Look. It's a tape measure. It's a tape measure. Oh, there it is. I knew, I knew it was somewhere. Look. Right? And then... Isn't it cute? Rebecca Reed adores these. She's got one of each of these, Crazy Rebecca Reed. That's why she's called Crazy Rebecca Reed. £8.99. pence. Marilyn, oh, John, are you all alone? Do you need some company? I've ordered the gorgeous threads. I didn't need them, but I love them. Marilyn in Southport. No, um, um, Victoria's on in a minute. In about eight minutes, Victoria will be here. Another quick message. Christina, couldn't sit on my hands any longer, just had to buy the chicken bunny for the grandchildren. Oh, Christina in Waterlooville. Do you know my friend Judith? She lives in Waterlooville. And it turns out my friend Anne lives on a farm in Water near Waterlooville as well. Uh, that's cute, isn't it? So that's the owl. Oh, that <laughs> wrong one. Don't try and pull the wrong leg. 8 99 Sheep now. Oh, it's so lovely. I've got a field behind my house and it's just full of all baby sheep leaping all over the place. Okay, all right, it's not a foot. No. No, it's not a foot. I'd be here. Oh, isn't it cute? Look. Look at his face. I've not seen the sheep, I don't think, before. Oh! <laughs> look, he's even got... It's, look, they, they could have just got away with the sheep, the, the legs at the front, couldn't they? But they didn't, look. 8 99 Okay, I see, look at their little face. And they'll all be slightly different, because they'll all be hand-done, won't they, faces? Okay. Fox next. Now, this is very much like that handbag that we couldn't find the other day, isn't it? He is. And you press the back there. Uh, it's got inches on one side and centimetres on the other. 150 centimetres length, 60 inches. OK, two more to go. Snails. Red one first. Oh, it's pink, not red. I was about to say where its eyes, but of course its eyes are up there, aren't they? Anatomically correct. Uh, Rebecca Reed's got all of them, but the one she uses on air is the snail one, apparently. His little face. Reminds me of somebody, and I can't think who at the moment. Who's got a big, round, fat tummy like that? Don't you know what? Should I tell you what Hannah did yesterday? Right. We have, in, in the entrance to the um, offices here, we have, like, a welcome area with all our awards, and there's a big bowl of sweets. Now, somehow, that big bowl of sweets has ended up on Hannah's desk. Don't ask me how. And it's full of toffees at the moment. Anyway, Chris, Hannah was sitting there doing a prep yesterday morning. Chris, floor Chris, turned up to talk to her, and she was being all sensible. And she turned like this, and she went... She tapped him on the tummy, and she went, Toffee, toffee. And we all went, Hannah. And then she went... Oh, my God, I can't believe... It. Goodness. I go, oh, my goodness, I can't believe I've just done that. <laughs> she just toffee and t tapped him on his tummy like that. I know. HR will be in later. Oh, and the other snail, the blue snail. Well, I'm thinking it's called blue. It's got more lilac in it than it's got blue. Look. <laughs> chuk, chuk. Oh. The thing is, you'd end up playing with this one more than you would using it to measure anything, wouldn't you? My Norman, I've got... Um, Norman's my cat, one of my cats, by the way. I've got one of those, like, um, ones that builders use, like metal ones that come out like that, and he loves... When he hears it, he'll come running from any room in the house to play on it. He loves it. And then he'll chase the end of it around the house, even though he's 18 years old and he should know better. Got two minutes left. Chicks? Gingham chick. Oh. 
Yeah, can you hear all that noise? That's Victoria Peet arriving in the building, everybody. She has a tr each of the designers have a trolley, right? We give the designers the little trolleys, not the big red ones. Anyway, she still bangs the door, bangs the wall, bangs the step. Anyway, half a metre of the gingham, half a metre of the fleece, eyes, embroidery thread, cotton, stuffing. And instructions, 19 99. Now there's the picture of the kit, but you also get embroidery thread. You also get embroidery thread. Okay. And then the other chick is exactly the same, but with spray time. There you go. Hello, John. I just got the bunny. I haven't made toys for about three years. Oh, Debbie, you'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy it, Debbie. Okay. Now, don't forget, uh, like I keep saying, if you're new, it's not yours until you've checked out your basket. So you haven't got anything for that hour. Now, the thing is, don't be frightened to think, oh, but I might want to buy something from Victoria Pete in a minute. You can check out as many times as you like during the day. There's only one PMP of £2.95, four to six working days delivery. Uh, Victoria Pete is here next. Now, we're doing a Debbie Von Graz La Crozier. What, what? Grab La Crozier. We love her. But I think Von means her ladyship. I used to have a friend called Prudence Von, I won't say her surname, and she used to say the Von meant she was royalty, aristocracy. So we'll have to get Debbie in and find out how posh she is. Well, you've actually spoken to her, haven't you? You've spoken to her. She might be posh. Anyway, don't go to her. Lovely Victoria Pete's up next. We've got all this to tidy up in a very short break. Uh, we are going to do a handbag, but she's not going to make the whole handbag. We're going to talk through techniques because there's lots and lots and lots to tell you about on this next hour. So uh, don't go anywhere. Get yourself a quick cup of tea. Watch the adverts, and we'll see you back here in three minutes from now. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. Sewing Quarter have an exclusive, amazing price for our viewers on the Elner Expressive 920 sewing and embroidery machine. This ultimate machine is the perfect investment to help you enjoy sewing, quilting and embroidery like never before with a range of impressive features to help you every step of your project. This ultimate machine is the perfect investment to help you enjoy sewing, quilting and embroidery like never before with a range of impressive features to help with every step of your project. This top of the line machine truly has the wow factor with an embroidery speed of 1000 stitches a minute and a large hoop size making embroidery a breeze. The high resolution touchscreen allows you to create your own stitches and designs and it also has an automatic needle threader for ultimate ease. The machine also includes 10 fonts for monogramming 13 one-step buttonholes and a variety of over 400 stitches, you'll be spoilt for choice. It also has an expansive bed space to allow for quilting and larger makes to make it the machine you can't live without. Elner Expressive 920 sewing and embroidery machine means you won't be able to wait for your next make. Head over to our website to find out more about our amazing exclusive price on this fabulous machine. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. On Friday, the 9th of March, we're in for two hours of wonderful Westerly. From 9am, we'll take a look at the brand new Westerly quilt classes in a bag with quilting extraordinaire Angie Atwood. These amazing quilt class bags come with a six point crosshair ruler, a DVD with detailed information to make your quilt and full written instructions. This bundle of goodies is all encased in a stylish black bag designed by Leonie West and made by Yazzie. Angie will be demoing the quilt class bag to show us how we can create our own beautifully designed quilts. We'll have two gorgeous colorways available for you to choose from, mossy green or velvet blues. Prepare to be inspired by Angie Atwood and Westerly. This two-hour special is sure to have you itching to get quilting. Tune in on Friday the 9th of March from 9am to 11am. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678.
Oh, sorry, I forgot to do a show. I was just practicing. Isn't this lovely? Isn't this gorgeous? It's got a bit of, um, yeah, now, you know I said earlier, your chick chicken fabric, give it a really good shake out outside. Otherwise, for days, you're going to be picking up little bits of uh, fluff off everything. Anyway, this is a, I'm just going to call it a Debbie bag. Debbie, but you know, Debbie, the book, we always sell it, the bag, gorgeous bag Bible. Well, this time, you don't have to buy the book because the pattern comes in the whole bundle. We've done the whole bundle for you. Or have come untucked, apparently, I've been told. I'll tuck myself in when I go around the table. So I'll just leave that there. Victoria Pete's here to show us how to make different bits. Right, OK, starting with this one. This is the uh, arrowhead fabric, the Tudor pink arrowhead fabric. So now you get two and a half metres of fabric. So you get half a metre of the arrowhead. You get one metre of the pink linear. And you get one metre of the, that looks like latte. Uh, two and a half metres of fabric, you get thread, you get uh, instructions. Oh, you get the interfacing and the zip. It's just not there, it's just not written there, that's all. So that's th what's what threw me a little bit. And the instructions, £30.99. And, OK, I'm a, a little bit confused. Only because that bag's got a huge zip across the top of it, and I've only got a dinky little zip. Oh, like, no? right. I don't know whether it's in the kit or not. Oh, OK, it's not in the kit, it's not in the kit, it's not in the kit, right. OK, moving on. So this is the one that we're going to, or Victoria's going to demonstrate with. Um, again, you get the two and a half metres of fabric, you get the instructions, you get the thread, you get the little zip, and you get the interfacing. This is just your normal iron-on interfacing. You will need other sorts of, um, if you're going to do this big bag, you will need other kind of uh, fusible fleeces. But I'll go through all of those with you in a minute. £35.99. Do you know what? Even if you're not going to make the bag, I think that, and especially this one, beautiful colourway, isn't it? Really, really lovely um, mix of fabrics there. That's a lovely bundle. And then last but not least, we've got the red one. Again, you get half a metre of uh, the little dot fabric. You get a metre of the uh, apple fabric and you get a metre of the bright red fabric. You get a red zip, you get red thread, you get interfacing. Uh, yes, yeah, some of those apples do have eyes on them, blinking at you. That's like the first night of cats, when I went to see the first night of cats back in 1981. And all the theatre, you went dark in the theatre and then suddenly all these little lights, all these little eyes started blinking at you. Anyway, I'm on my way. I'm not yet. I've just got to wait for Chris to put a box on the desk, which I'll just get rid of in a second. Here's the bundle. Right, thank you very much. Victoria Pete. Why, hello. Mm, I haven't seen you for ages. Hello, it's been a really how long time. are you? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all Good. right. I should be off. I should be, you know. Um, right, now, we've got a few things. To, well, that sounds very serious. It very out. serious. There's, there's been a few, at the printers, there's been a few mix-ups, A mix-up at there? the printers, yes. So there's a few amends that I'll talk you through with the pattern. Okay, as we now go. the amends that, if you, have, if, if you haven't watched the whole show, you're not going to watch it on YouTube, whatever, and you suddenly buy it and you think, oh, I didn't hear that. The amendments, first of all, will go straight on to our website after the show today. But also, if you buy a pattern, the amendments will be put inside your pattern. But Victoria's going to go through I'll them talk you now. through it all. Yeah. And I've also got Adele from Schedulin's home address. So if you don't get the <laughs> web and you don't get it in your pattern, ring me up and I'll tell you where she lives and you can go around and ask for it personally. She'll do you a brew. Yeah, she won't. The mood she's in today, she will not oh, make you a brew today. Right, gorgeous bag. And it's a really great of, bag. All of Debbie's bags are They are. Gorgeous, she's a really they? great fabric uh, fabric designer. No, no, oh, maybe that's bags. something for the future. Yeah, maybe. Bag designer, great bag designer. She look, she understands bag construction and she understands what makes a bag a good bag yes, yeah. in terms of all the interfacings that she uses. She says that the um, the interfacings that you use in a bag are like wearing a good bra. It's they make yes, all exactly. the difference mm -hmm. for how the bag looks. But in it's it, true. It's true. Uh, Fashion-wise, yeah. where you start, you start with the foundation wear. Yeah. Because if you could have the most gorgeous dress, the best dress in the world, but if you've got the wrong bra, the wrong pants on, it's not going to yeah. work. And you've used the wrong interfacing. You can make something look more stiff than it should yeah. be, or not have enough body. Exactly. So it, it does make exactly. a massive difference. And I think sometimes with bag making, that can put you off a little bit because you can be a little bit worried and think, "Oh, I don't know. I don't understand." But we've got samples of everything here, haven't everything. we? So we can show yeah. you. What? They, they all look a bit white and fluffy. But, but even, even if you make... don't buy this pattern and this bundle, 
all the things we've got for sale today, like the, the, all the iron-on fleeces and everything, are brilliant for any, whether you've yeah. got, because you might already have Debbie's yes, bag making got, Bible. Yeah, the bag boutique. A oh, bag boutique, sorry, bag, bag boutique. boutique, bag boutique yeah, sorry. if you've got that, she uses all the same ones in all of her bag patterns. Yes. So, and she does that the same with the skills as well. So once you've learned a skill, you can apply that to lots of different bag patterns. So, so even if you're not going to get this bundle, all the bits and bobs that we're selling, like everything that we've got and everything, be brilliant for other bag making. It's not like when you get a really fancy cooking, a recipe, and they want like an ounce or a of teaspoon of one really bizarre yes, thing yes. and you've got to look everywhere, and then you never use it And then again. you have a jar like that in your cupboard, don't you? Yeah. And then three years later it. you go, oh, this is a bit out of date. I know, whereas these you use on all, all sorts of different bags, so that's okay. great. Okay, so where are we going to start? So today I thought what I'd show you is the basics, or we'll get as far as we can on how to construct the front of the bag. Right. Um, and the front of the bag, I'll put my pointing tool down, yes. uh, we've got uh, several different sections. You've got the base, Yes. you've got the top section here, so we've got the base, which is this yeah. bit here. You've got the midsection here, which has got a patch pocket and a flap with a twist lock right. on there. And then you've got the top section. Obviously, this handles. one was made by Debbie. So we haven't got this fabric and we've got slightly different furniture, furnishings <laughs> for it. But it's the, the same bag. In essence, it? it's yeah. the same bag. Sorry, 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 I interrupted there. So we've got the base, the, base, the, the mid, middle section. The midsection with the patch pocket yeah. with the flap and a top section. Okay. So we'll get as far as we can okay. with that. No rush. And I've pre-prepped as much as I can. Um, this one has got the main pieces here and the pocket, uh, the flap lining have all got fusible fleece H630, which is this one here. Okay. Um, which is like a thin fleece. It's not like... Batting or wadding, it's okay. not to really lofty. Okay, now we sell H640. Oh, H640. Yeah, sorry, I, I just, I just wondered if there H6 was one. There, is, there are two, but I've just said the wrong okay. one. Okay, so H630. H6, it, what's the, if, are people at home going, what? I think it's the loftiness oh, okay. of the two. We, I think that's uh, all the difference is. This sells, like every time we show this, this I mean, it's boring to look at. It's a bag <laughs> with some white fleecy stuff oh, no. in it, but it's, you get a metre of it for £9.99. And £9 so that's the H640. And yes. let's say, where did you and use that? And that's on the back of effectively the front and the back of the bag right. so it's it's applied on the reverse of each of these sections and it's iron on is it, it is iron on so what i do is I'll, I'll cut it to size and it's actually you can just see on the edge it's got printed on how you actually apply it it's got okay. a little picture you'd put your iron on setting number one right. so it's got one little yes. um one little so the, cool, it's on one it. the coolest the coolest, coolest setting yeah. and it says to apply it for 15 seconds but with a damp cloth so get a tea towel or a piece of muslin. Yes, I use a, I've got an old piece of muslin and I absolutely drench it in the sink. I then squeeze out all, all the, the water excess. so it's really, really wet yeah. but damp and I place that over the top. Um, you do it that way up or do you do it that way up? Do it the other way that up. Way. So the, the um, H640 Ooh. with the non-adhesive side up uh, uppermost. It's against your pressing cloth. So okay. then you put your pressing cloth over the top and then you get your iron and you place it on top and you leave it there for a count of 15 seconds. Oh, oh so I see. So you don't iron it, right. and you don't um, dab it no. across. So you put Just it leave down, it, 15 seconds. Count 15 seconds, move it, and you'll see the pressing cloth goes dry underneath, so you can see where you've been, move it onto the next section. Oh, so it's not just, so when you said do it for 15 seconds, I'm thinking, blimey, that's a quick hold. No, but so it's leave 15 seconds, seconds 15... pick it up, move it to the next section for got 15 it. seconds. Got it, got it, got it. So this part does take a while, yeah. um, so don't rush it sort of almost pre-prepare. But but also, you don't want to rush it because the other side of that is the, is the outside yeah, of your bag, Yeah, that's the part that you're going so to you see. So you want that to work properly. You want yes. it to be adhered properly. You do. You? And a lot of people find that when they're using f fusible fleeces or fusibles, you end up with a lot of wrinklage. Yes. And that's because you... Oh, that's my excuse. I know, well. that's terrible. They're coming, they're coming. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but that's because you've not follow the manufacturer's instructions totally right. And I found before, I was using a damp cloth, but it wasn't damp enough. It you was only it. a little so bit damp. So you absolutely sopping. Absolutely sopping, rinse, wring it out. Yeah. That, that gives better results. You can see here, I haven't got any wrinkling yes, on yes, the front. Exactly. But the wrinkling does happen a lot. Okay, so that's got this on. The top section, the midsection and the base. Oh, okay. So the actual base, the actual bag itself, not not the accessories bit. Um, on the accessories, oh, sorry. I've got that on uh, two of the pocket pieces, okay. so okay. Um, of the flap. Yes. So that's on those as well. Okay, brilliant. So you apply that, and in the instructions, it tells you you do that for the reverse pieces as well, of because course. there's exactly the same on the back, but the back has got a different treatment with the zip. That's I'll, just, I'll just show you very quick. Oh, that's where the little zip that's comes in. That's where the in. little zip comes in to do a slot pocket. So, so the, the actual basis of the front and the back are exactly the same, but exactly the back the same has that pattern. little inserted zip there. Yes. 
and the front has that feature, big feature. She has that quite a lot, doesn't she? Because we've done that lovely bag with Margaret. the side zip. Oh, oh, no. You know the Oh, one? what was that one called? Kirst no, not Kirsten. My... It's got the, it's got the, I think it's Kirsten. We did it in the tilde fabric. Yes, because it had a pocket and, a zip and the zip was, was in the side. side. Yeah, so yeah that was really nice. Amazing, amazing, lovely little design. But techniques. totally achievable. They look really daunting, but they're not. Yes. They're absolutely okay. fine. So we've ironed on to our three pieces yes. and the two pieces there. And let those cool. Don't sew with them straight away. Let the heat come out of the iron and then it just lets yeah. that glue reset. Okay. So, so that's those sections. And I thought we would look at the construction of the flap. So right. if we look very quickly, at the patch pocket. So this is the lower part of the pocket on this section here. So even that, which just looks like a design feature, a stripe, is actually another pocket is of itself. Is a feature itself. Okay, lovely. So what we've got... So the way that Debbie constructs her pockets is yeah. she has um, the main fabric of the pocket and the lining of the pocket cut to the same size, but she cuts the interfacing smaller. Right. So the, the interfacing, one, it means that you've not got excess bulk when you turn the seams, turn the pocket round to the right yeah. side, but it also gives you a guide for sewing. So if you're not that confident in sewing straight, it helps because you just sew along the edge of the interfacing. Of course. So have you so sewn easy. just round three sides? So or? I've just sewn round three sides. So okay. what we can do there is use your scissors or your rotary cutter just to trim off those corners, not too close to your stitching. Yeah. And then you can just turn that through to the right side. Okay. Are you going to need the iron on this hour? Yes, let's give it a press. I need to put the iron on, we'll have to wait for one. Oh. Uh, Carol says, John, I'm new to quilting bag making and do not know what fabrics are most suited. How can I tell on your shopping, on your shopping site what to buy? Well, Carol, the best thing to do is if we've made a kit like this, then we are saying these are the fabrics that are suitable for this. But you can email, I tell you who are brilliant, the call centre. If they can't answer you, then they get in touch with one of us yep. and say, oh, Carol wants to make a bag out of this, would this fabric work? We're totally, totally and utterly interactive. Um, but I think you'll find that most of our quilting yes, fabrics- Yes, quilting's got a good structure to are it. Are good for bags. Our tapestry fabrics are very good for bags. This is nice, it's I've not, not seen this. It's coming this. up in the next hour, oh. yes, exactly. And, um, but, but you can always ask, all Always feel free to ask. Don't buy something until you're sure, because I don't want you to get it home and go, oh, this is a bit too flimsy. Mm. We will tell you when we're, when we're using it. And we'll you know what? Fun. When I started out sewing, I made so many wrong fabric but, decisions. Yeah, but we, we do, do, don't we? You do. do. But oh, well, quilting no. fabrics work really well with the bags. But that goes back to the interfacing again. Yes. Is making sure that you're interfacing it correctly. Yes. And that will help. OK, right. I'll give that a little press. Yes. So you don't need to see this. Is you're just literally pressing just the pressing pocket it, down. Just pressing the pocket flat. And then from there, we can then top stitch around the edges. Yes, yeah. only because I'd have to move all of that. To see oh, no, don't move doing. all of that. That's I'll move fine. it if you, if you do something intricate. But, uh, intricate fabric folding yes. origami-ness. Well, you don't know. You might do. You never know. You might make a rufflet that I don't know about or mm. something. We'll talk to Debbie. There we go. Them. So you've got three sides of your pocket that are sewn. Don't worry about the other side that hasn't been sewn because that will get caught in the seam between the main section and the base. Oh, there. So, so you're here, edge. this is what we've made here. Right, so your edge is going to go in here eventually. That's going to go so under that, there. Yeah. So we're going to sew down these edges, but if you want to, you can go along this edge, along this top edge and down, if that's easier for you. You won't be getting the pocket then. Oh, no, you can't. No, sorry, I was uh, talking top stitching. Sorry, oh, sorry, I'm sorry, not, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, I'm not thinking She's going to make a pocket, then sew it up. I know, that would be terrible. Oh, you no, mean top stitching? Actually, right. Yes, you can top stitch. Sorry. sorry Ignore well, everything I've just said. No, 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 no. Ignore no. the whole lot. You can top stitch along this top edge. The sides you do when you attach it actually, to the main yes, body of the yes. base. So let me just top stitch along that All top right, edge because that looks nicer. Now, when we come to do the furniture for the bag, I, I, as I say, they're the ones that Debbie's been using. I'll get ours out in a second and I'll show you the different um, steal them? The ones that we've got. You're right, though. Are they in there? Yeah, I did know. think about stealing it out your trolley, but I might well, have, have left them there. Well, you've been nicking things, right? Yeah, I'm like that. So now, so you're, you're top stitching across what will be the top of the pocket. The top edge of the pocket. Because I presume you have to do the, the furniture quite... Because that, that clasp goes through the yes. top of the pocket, but not through into the bag, doesn't yes, it? Yes, that's so. right. So we'll attach the... the I call it furniture, but what, I don't know what you'd call it. Bag furniture, that's... Yeah. 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 Or hardware. Hardware, that's the word I'm looking for. But furniture is equally as acceptable. That's fine. It's one of those days, isn't it? Morning, John. Please can you tell me what the lovely fabric is on the wall behind you? Next hour. Be patient. Next hour, Sue, be patient. We've got a gorgeous tapestry and canvas hour coming up in the next hour.
It's just fab it's fabric. It's not been sewn, I think. It's fabric. Because I walked it on the set and I thought, oh, a quilt. Yes, no? somebody messaged in the, in the first house saying, oh, the quilt behind you is lovely. Oh. There you go. Right. Okay. So the, um, the furniture, yes. hardware, we're opening it up because we've um, got them here. So you've got yes. the, the, um, the, what's it called, a swivel? What do they call it? A turn clasp. Yes. It's got, is made up of four sections. Okay. And I think we've got, oh, I've not used this particular one before. So the one with the little. One, well, one will be bigger. Mm -hmm. One will Excuse be the, the one that sits behind it. And then there'll be one that. Um... So that one goes on this one. That one and that one together. Yeah, and then that and one then and that those, one, those two, two go together. together. Yeah. That's it. Like brilliant. that. So yeah. those go on the outside. So we'll put those to one side. These are there. brand new. We've not done these before. Oh, hot, so, hot off the truck. Yeah, premiere. Fresh off the truck. No pressure. Let me just go back to the instructions for a little minute. Yes. And I won't show you these because these are my photocopied yeah. scrawled over. But, then, but the instructions here, you, the, the bits of the instructions, we'll explain one, more six, about the, the amendments in a minute, but the rest of the instructions are fantastic. Like if you've got uh, Debbie's book, they are very, very, very thorough. See there. So now I presume what you're doing is finding out where to place your yes, um, clasp. Yes, because your clasp needs to go a certain distance from the top edge. Yes. So it needs to go one and seven eighths down. Oh, and you're going to have to match it completely with the flap, aren't you? When yes, you the flap yeah, on you'll you. just have a bit of a jiggly, jiggly pokery around. Okay, so there and half of seven and three quarters. Well, half of seven is three and a half. Three and a half. And then half of three quarters is three eighths. I just need to add three and a half and three eighths. Oh, no, that makes four. So how does that work? Let's measure just that. Just yeah. So that's a four there, and a, let's go a little bit further. Yeah. Touch further. So now what I'm going to do oh, is... you just fold your fabric in half. Oh, no, you could just fold your fabric in half. <laughs> You're smart, I told Alec. you it's one of those days. <laughs> anyway. If there's a tricky way to yes. do something. OK, so I've got my dot in the middle, and yes. I'm just going to place the... Um, the plate yes. over the top, and I'm going to mark these two slots yeah. on here. Okay. I've lost the top of my pen. This is there, there. Oh, look at that, in plain sight. And then from here, you can just use your scissors Ooh. to cut two little slits. I quite often use a craft knife. Yes. I'm happy. Oh, which I'm happy for with sale it. on our Oh, website. do we? Yes. I had it on my show the other day. Oh, I didn't realise. OK, so if you've got a craft knife, I bought it's one really of those the other day. It's really funny because we were going, where would you use this? And we were trying to make you think of it reasons. <laughs> oh, come well, on, why are we now, using this? Now, when I do it next time, like, oh, Victoria Pete always uses oh, this. Oh, there we go. Me. Yes. OK. So I, I get an old cutting mat. Yes. I've got an old cutting mat that I use for things like this, and I just do those two Gouge slits. Them out, yeah. Because I find sometimes with scissors, you've got... A even though they're self-healing, they're self-healing with a rotary cutter, but sometimes if you gouge them out, Too deep. they're not that self-healing. So I've just, what I've done is I've pushed the, um, the male part through those holes. Yeah. Then you put the washer on over the top Back. and just fold those inwards. Oh, oh, inwards. Inwards. Oh, yes, of course you'd have to. Yeah, sure. inwards. Oop. Somebody's so been that at the Glitter Nail Varnish, I see, this oh, week as well. Bit, yes. So then that's your pocket. Right. Ready to be sewn on. Perfect. So we'll look at that in a minute because okay. I want to be able to just make sure that that's in the same place as the other one. So if needs be, you can you just can... slide the pocket down a little bit yeah, exactly. if you need to. Perfect. OK, so on to the flap. Now, this is where the, the this is one of the issues. Isn't yes. It? This yeah, is one of the was... issues. So Victoria's going to explain it to you. I'll <clears> stay quiet. Victoria's going to explain to you. But this is the one that's going to go on the web and you will get an addendum put in your pattern. So in the instructions, and I will do my very best to make, make this as clear as possible. Yes. You've got, you, you're given three templates in the pattern. And let me just show you, let me show you, so we'll, I'll go along with you. So in the pattern, you get template B, yep. template A that says cut on the fold, and template C. Okay, that's C, B, A, and B. They're the three templates you're given, however. Okay. So template A, is absolutely fine. That says cut on the fold. And actually what I did is I transferred it onto a piece of paper to put it on the flat. Because okay. I find, personally, I find it easier to cut on the flat. OK. So that one, what letter was that one? That was A. a that one's absolutely fine. A is perfectly fine. fine. You don't need to worry about template A at all. And then um, you've got template B and C. They um, accidentally were split. They're supposed to be one template like this. Right. 
they were accidentally split, split apart. Okay. So what you do is for the, the flap is constructed um, with essentially two different parts. You've got the main part in the background and then you've got this trim here. Right. The main part in the background here is cut out of your main fabric. Right. So you cut that out of the larger C template, okay. not the B template, yeah. you cut it out of the larger C template. So you cut that out and you interface the back as we spoke about, okay. so that you've got that ready. Right. That's done. Then from the remaining part of the template, so you can make this yourself, you can cut this out and yeah. stick this on. From this section here, this U section here, you cut that out of ideally Decaville. Right, I'll so, tell you about Decaville in a minute. Okay, ideally cut that out of Decaville, but if you really don't have any Decaville or we're out of stock or something, you can layer up layers of fusible interfacing. Okay. So iron on interfacing, which comes in the, in the pack. Of course, yes. So you can layer that up. So you own, so it's only that D, this D shape. Yes. So what they've done is they've made a template over there. They've done that. That, but really what you need is that shape, isn't that it? The actual shape. D shape. So you can make it yourself, you can do it yes. yourself at home. Yeah, which is what I've done is yes. I've just taken that one yeah. and placed that on and created that, oh, that shape. Oh, I see, I see. Because I see, I see. you need that out of yes. something stiffer. So, so you're nev you never, ever, ever cut this shape out. Not Apart out from out of the other template to create yes. the new template. Yes. So that... If I can, if I can get it, you can. <laughs> Simple as. Yes. So that, that creates your interfacing for the flap. Right. What you do need to do, and it does explain this in the instructions, yep. is the fabric for this, you need to cut two centimetres within this curve line. So I've actually cut this, this fabric, I've cut Oh, like a, seam, two, two, a two centimetre seam allowance. Yes, like you add a seam allowance yeah. to that, because I'll turn it over. What you do um... is you then snip into these corners... So this is your Decaville, which I'll show you in a minute. Yep. You've cut your... So this, this pattern piece, when you cut this, you ha then have to put a two centimetre yes. seam allowance around the... Oh. So what I did is I then Perfect. traced that off. Yeah. So the shaded part here yep. is the Decaville part. Yeah. And then I've cut, your well, three, three quarters yes. of an inch, two centimetres seam allowance. And this is the pattern I use to okay. cut So just the to fabric. recap, that basic shape is the same shape as the template you've got. Right, but then you've cut out of the middle this template, which you never ever use in your bag. So you create that, but then you've then added a two centimeter. Yes, so I've gone back. So that's why that's why it could be confusing if you get this home and you haven't heard that or you haven't seen the addendum. Right? Can I just take? Can yes, you just talk about what Decaville. Decaville. Is? Decaville um, they talk about um, Vliceline talk about is it that the as right one? yes, that is yeah, the yeah, right yeah, one. Yes, it's right one yeah. um, as like a leather like. Fabric. Yes, it is. Uh, so on one side, it almost feels like a new buck suede type yeah. feel to it, and then it's got your adhesive side on the other side. So Which you've is got very one side. The other side is very plastic. That's matte, and the other side that looks quite plastic. Yeah. This you apply in a similar way as you do to the fusible fleece. Right. So again, you've got to take your time. I think the heat settings are slightly different, and the um, dwell time is slightly different with the iron okay. as well. Uh, but you're only cutting this out to the actual size, yes. not with the two centimetre seam allowance, no. just the actual it's size smaller. of that template. It's smaller. And what, when else would you, apart from this, when else would you use this? Uh, on all sorts of bags. I've used it on bags, I've used it in dressmaking. I was telling Natasha I've, I'm making this really glorious walk, dog walking cape and it's got a hood and I've used a little section in the top to give some... Oh, like of, a little peak? Yeah, to make a little peak in the top. Oh, wow. So you can use it for things like that. You can use it for storage bags, oh, anything so, where so, you need so good structure. Even though you're going to buy a meter, you get a meter of it, don't you, in this, for 9 99 You're thinking, why am I going to buy a meter to cut that out? <laughs> but actually, this is essential in once yeah. you start those kind of bag making. Or yeah, and like if that. you've got Debbie's bag boutique book that we've sold a number of times on yeah. air, she uses it in all sorts of patterns. Brilliant. So it's okay. very so versatile. We're doing, we're doing well, we're doing well, we're doing we're good. There. We're doing good. We're 25 there. plus, I'll do the bundles in five minutes for you. So once you've, um, you've applied your Decaville to the back of this piece that you've made yep. and you trim it down, you then snip into these corners. And now, are they just snips or have you actually cut these out? No, I've just done snips. Oh, yes, I can see Because that. it's the curves going that way, you only need snips. Of course. Rather than the Vs. If the curve was going the other way, you'd have to cut little triangles. Yeah. So I pre-pressed that. I'm not and sure. And then it, splays, it just splays out to yeah. go round the corner. not sure why I pre-did that. I got carried away. No, no, no. And I went, oh, I should have done that on air. No, 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 no. That's good. Pretend that's good. I've that's snips pressed. Yeah, yeah. So and that's then you just now... Pre now... So you can iron on top of the deck of it, yes, can you? Yes, yeah. It's, it's not going to curl up or anything No, like it that. doesn't curl up. It's really, It's got really good structure. Brilliant. 
Fantastic. So then that is now ready to then place on top of your um, your the rest of the flap. Yes. So so this this edge is all completely finished because you've turned it under. Turned it under. This is all still a raw edge That's around here. That's a raw here. edge, and we'll okay. deal with that in a minute. Yeah. But just make sure when you do those snips that you don't go too close because you don't want little frayed bits. No. And also, edges. as time goes by, if you go too close, it's going to come keep. The fraying will carry on, won't yes, it? Yes, yeah, and it will look really terrible. Oh, and so you can pin decking yes, as well? Yes, you can pin through it. Oh, so can you might need clips, but you can pin through it. No, or you can use clips, or if you want to, you could use just a bit of, like, a sew-line glue pen oh, yes, to yes, hold yes, it in just place. Just hold it in place. If you fancy. Bag it's making's... so neat when your oh, work really? is so neat. Oh. It's incredible. Oh, thank you. Gold star for me. <laughs> well, not quite gold yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're only halfway through the show. Anything could happen. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Anything could happen. Okay, okay so you're well. pinning the decorative horseshoe onto the main flap. Then. Yes, and then we're going to top stitch, we're only, but we're only going to top stitch the inner curve. Right. Because we need to create the back of the flap, because at the moment, oh, yes, the back got, of the flap. And that would look really attractive, wouldn't it? Lovely. If you go to get your tissues out your bag and you've got a decorative lining. <laughs> Excuse me, I couldn't be bothered to finish my bag. Yes. <laughs> Oh, you never open the pockets. You just never open yeah. decorative. It's like when you buy things and the pockets are sewn up. Oh, yes. Never open them. No. Never open them. Oh, no, because they immediately lose their shape. Oh, no, they do. Don't they? Uh, so, OK, so you're top stitching where? I'm top stitching. I'll show you again on yeah. here. So you've got the Decaville section and the back, of, back section of the pocket. And yeah. we're going to stitch along, and I'll point with my scissors, yeah. um, along this edge here does it on the Decaville side. Yes. And does it matter how far in you stitch it? Uh, personally, I like to do sort of an eighth of an inch. So it's really... A few millimetres. On the edge. Um, and if you have um, either a blind hem stitch foot or an edge stitch foot, they make a real difference when you're doing top stitching. Oh, OK. Because they... They, especially with the Decaville, because that's quite a, a firm edge yes. to place that against. Of course, yeah. I, of course, didn't put one on the no. machine, so well, I'm going to have to wing it. This morning even more difficult than <laughs> it was. Let's just wing it. So I'm going to line it up, and I'm going to see if I can move the needle position. So I'm, which I can't. It's not. Doing now, much. hang on. Now, Paul, what is it? It's dome one oh six, isn't it? To get to zero six to get it over. Oh, oh no, oh no, it's the seven thirty. This Let's is the 7.30, I don't know on the 7.30. Zero 4, that will do me a quarter yeah, okay. of an inch. Yeah, so I thought so it was gonna, 6.80 or I'm 7 putting 30. it on a quarter inch setting. Yeah. And just moving it across a little bit yeah. underneath the foot. What, did you put the quarter inch setting on this one, you say? Yeah. How do I do the quarter inch setting zero on this one? Zero 0.4. 0.4 on zero this four. one. Zero 0.4. Four on this one zero for four. the future. Yeah. And when I'm doing something like um, the top stitching and you've got to be really slow and precise, um, I've got a knee lifter on my machine like this Elna has. Yes. And if I was sitting down, I yes. would have the knee lifter. So yeah, no point when having you're... a knee lifter standing up. No, because my... Yeah. <laughs> when I worked work. in theatre, uh, the, the, my big singer industrial, that always had the knee. Yeah, panel. that's you, where it's you come from. just using it all the time, yeah. don't you? And when, when you've not got it on, you, you're going you like, you like that. Go, like, oh, they oh, you're lifting up. Uh, if you don't know what we're talking about, there are some sewing machines that you can fix. At the front of the machine, on the, on the singer, the industrial machine, it was there automatically. And if you want to use both of your hands like this when you're swinging and pivoting and you haven't got time to keep doing this or haven't got the, the hand space to do this, this thing hangs down the front and you push it with your knee and it lifts the press of the foot up. So you can put your needle down, press your foot, your knee against the thing, pivot, let your knee go and the press of the foot goes back down again. So while you're seeing that, sewing that, I've got a few emails apparently. Here we go. This is from Dorothy. Hello, John. I'm addicted. These are a few I've made. Love the show. It was oh, recommended. That was by the my one son. with this little side pocket, the one on the right. Oh yes, 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 That's yes. That's yes. the one that had the side zip. Yeah. That uh, Victoria is fantastic and clear. She is, isn't oh, she? Oh, thank you. She is indeed. That's from Dorothy. I love that name, Dorothy. I do as one well. One more. Good morning, John. I'm new and loving it. Even my husband watches while we're eating our breakfast. <laughs> Tony from Rochester in Kent. Oh, thank you, Tony. Hard luck. Tony with an eye. <laughs> Everyone gets hooked. Oh, yes. You can't completely. help it. Even my husband watches it. Does he? When he's home, yes. Does it, is he it can't be interesting. He's not interested in saying your husband. He so. kind of has to be. No, well, he has to be because it's your, your job. But you know, well, quite it's... often when I'm um, pattern designing, sometimes you need to say things out loud and he's a sounding board. OK. So when I do this, does this make sense? And he sort of looks at me a bit blankly. But sometimes but he no, doesn't. But that's quite good. No, but that's quite good because if, if it was another sewer or sewist, how you say, yep. they'd go, 
they don't, they don't understand what you're talking or about. Or make assumptions and yes, not understand. Yes, whereas he, if he yeah. knows nothing, really, he, and you go, does this make sense? Put this in, and you're like, no, that doesn't make sense to a novice or a yeah. new person. That's quite good to have a and, sounding board. And he's good at um, reading instructions as well, because sometimes when you're reading and in, writing instructions, trying but to get... But you presume, uh, you, not you, one presumes. So you write, do a French theme, and yeah. not every, you know, that's just a simple thing. And then not everybody knows what a French goes, theme What on know. earth does that mean? Yeah. Right. So that is nicely top stitched. Look Beautiful. at that. It's almost like I've done that before. <clears throat> What's that, Paul? Oh, Rosemary sent a message in. Good morning, fabulous pair. No time to sit and watch today. So I have all four tellies on sewing quarter while I change the sheets and clean the bedrooms. Rosemary. I've done that before. Oh, have you? Yeah, TV on in the kitchen, TV on in the lounge. Oh, I do that with the late page on a Sunday oh, when do I do you? my cleaning on it. When oh. I'm not here, because I seem to be in every weekend at the moment. <laughs> you need anyway, cleaner. Anyway. So, so we've now we take um, this section and we place it against uh, the instructions tell you to cut a rectangle so, and so interface on that. This bag. So we've done the front of it. Part, and now we're going oh, to do... Oh, so we're lining it in the blue. The lining. We're lining it in the blue. So perfect. we've got the lining, but, which is... But not cut it the same shape. That's unusual, isn't no, it? No, we're going to place that on. Yeah. And then we're going to go with a half-inch seam allowance all the way around. OK, so this is this is the... Um, that's got Decaville inside it. Yeah. That's got the H640 on there. What's this one on here? That's the same, that's H640, H640 as well. Where does the, where does the fusible fleece... Uh, what's this one called? Which one? Yeah, that's... So in oh, foam. the foam. Foam comes later. Later, later. Foam comes later. later. OK, I couldn't see where it was going to go. <laughs> um, and it is layer upon layer upon layer, course, isn't it? Of course, teacher. Now, now um, did you, with all these layers, did you have to use a different needle or did you use a walking foot or anything No, like the that? nice thing about... Uh, well, I've used a walking foot. I use a walking foot at home. Yes. Um, I've not got one on here today, no. but... You, but that shows you, you don't need... You don't yeah, necessarily need not, a walking foot. You don't necessarily need it. Um, but, yeah, the Decaville's fine. You can just sew with your normal sewing needle. Oh, OK. You might, if you're doing a lot of the top stitching, it might be nicer to use a slightly thicker thread to make more of a feature. And of if you're course. doing that, then, yeah. of course, you'd choose a heavier weight needle yeah, with a larger eye. The, That's the, only for your personal pleasure, because you, you get the thread through it. Not the... <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> but yeah. The, the, it does make a difference with sewing machine needles yes. to go thicker, because, one, it's stronger to go through the, the layers and the fabric, but also the eye of the needle quite often changes in size. Yes. So that it has... Um, and there's like a, so there's a hole in the needle, but there's, there's a shaft along the back that the thread runs through the shaft and then through the eye of the needle. And that just allows it to run free flow. Yes. Otherwise it can get all stuck yeah. and horrid. So yes. it does make a difference. There I is was, a science. Um, I was doing some sewing the other day in the, the main room and the thread came out. Could the light in that room's not very good. Could I get it? And I, I, I haven't learned how to do the needle thread thing. There, so. There's a knack to those. So I was like this with my tongue. I'm like, oh, I'll do it. But it's funny how <laughs> all the years you automatically, sometimes you can just get it through, can't yes. you? Without even looking, really. You can work yeah. gauge where it is. OK, so we're sewing this. So this is, um, I'm just doing round the edges, a quarter of an inch around the curved edge, and then I'm going to trim. OK. So if you... Uh... Right, can I go and do bundles while you do yeah, that? Yeah, absolutely. Because you don't do anything... Or you can trim it. But I'll trim it. Sew it and trim yeah. it, but don't do anything else. Listen to me giving Victoria Pete instructions. That's not right. Right. Three bundles. The which one? Arrowhead first. Uh, this is tulip pink arrowhead. You get half a metre of this one. Then you get half a metre of this, a metre of the pink uh, linear and a metre of the uh, latte. You get the thread, you get the little zip and you get the iron-on interfacing and the pattern and the pattern, £30.99. OK, now the one that Victoria is actually using, which I love. The... Oh. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, no, there's more in baskets. There's more in baskets than we have stock. So I won't even do that one. So please, 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 check out your... If you definitely want that one, you need to check out your basket. You can still check out. You can still check out. But people are going to miss out because too many people have got it in their basket. See, the thing is, right, say I've got 10 of them and 12 people have got it in their basket, automatically two people are going to miss out. But until you check out, more people can put it in their basket. That's the, that's the issue. That's the issue. Right, OK, let's uh, go on to the last one now. With this one. Oh. I'm not going to say anything yet. 
Okay, again, there are more of these than we have, more people in baskets than we have actual kits. So there's the kit one more time. There you go. Which means I I'm going to put it away because, uh, well, they'll go. They'll go in, in minutes, won't they? They'll go in minutes. Then. Right, I'll go back over here. And you're back too soon. Oh, sorry. You're not going to eat Oh, honestly. Got a timer. Right. Right. So. Oh, blimey, rotary cut. I know, I'm going to rotary cut it because it's a little bit quicker. So I've sewn approximately okay. half an inch all the way around. We're not going to measure it, are we? <laughs> it's <laughs> funny because um, Amanda Wyatt does what you do. She, she cuts with a rotary cutter like she cuts with scissors. But Lucy, if Lucy's doing that, unless it's one of her drunkard's pathways or improv curves, she always cuts a curve with scissors. With scissors. But she's a, she's a quilter she's a quilter. through and through, do you yeah. know what I mean? Funny, isn't it? Horses for courses. Yes. Right. So we've now created, essentially, we've created the flap. But in order to turn it through to the right side, we need to uh, cut into, snip into yes. here. So we'll quickly snip into these curves. So this is where you do need to do your Vs because the curve's going the other way, is Yes, it? that's this? right. Yeah. yeah. So I'll do best I can. Yes, if you would. Just cut into those. Oh, blimey. Sirens are going Sirens outside, outside now. What have you done? Oh, I've obviously parked badly. Oh. I tell you, when the snow last week, we were here in the snow, anyone parked anywhere? Well, nobody came to work apart from me and little Paul and Aww. Chris. But um, did you come in on the snow day? No, you didn't, little Mike. <laughs> we, we, uh, little Paul's so proud we pushed a car. Oh, did you? Because, I know, little Mike came in on the Friday. Because uh, we, were, we were going to the hotel because we had to stay here because we couldn't get home. And um, there was one man just stuck and he was oh. holding the whole roundabout up, so we pushed him. And then it was like, well, start your car. We pushed him miles, not miles, but we kept pushing him, pushing him, saying, start your car, I'm not pushing you all the way home, mate. <laughs> yeah, not saving in petrol. But the next, the, 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 in the lane next to us, the man next to us was having trouble, and like a four-wheel drive came up behind him and just started pushing him. Oh, nudged him, him along. And I was like, oh, he's crashing, he's crashing, he's crashing. No, John, he's helping him, he's pushing Did him. Did he along. ask first? Uh, You'd hope so, wouldn't no, you? No. Well, yeah, I hope so. Uh, here we go. An email from Kathy says, "Hi, John. Really enjoying the show. Not much of a sewer, uh, but really getting the inspiration to put my toe into the sewing water." Oh yes, do it. Do it. Thank you to both. Love the show. Right, Kathy. Can I be really honest with you? Don't have don't this. Don't start with your, this. <laughs> don't have this as your first project. Bag making is great. The nice thing about bag making is that there are no fit issues. Yes. So like you're not it, trying like to, clothes, yeah, yeah. Well, like with clothes. So bag making is great, but I would say that this isn't a first project yes. for a bag. Yes, I tell you what would be good. You did a pattern for a tote bag. Yes. On the, the, the simple tote. Remember the birthday sew a thon thing that you, that I No, want. I've wiped it from my memory. <laughs> but we have that, we have that pattern and things, which we do a lot. Tote bags, we do lovely tote bags things. That's the one to start with if you're going to do a bag. This is a gorgeous bag, and I'm sure Debbie wouldn't mind me saying, would she? No, absolutely not. Don't, don't buy this as a first time go at a bag, because it, I mean, we're glad we're glad we're inspiring you because that's what it's all about, really, isn't it? Inspiration, aspiration, and all that sort of thing. But I'm going to aspire you or inspire you to make a tote bag. Don't make this one first yes, time. Yes, start off. But I'm, I'm only saying because the other thing is, you make a tote bag, you're going to feel just as satisfied when you've made it. If you buy something that's a little... Like Shimoya Mary, my friend Shimoya Mary, the first thing she ever bought was the uh, unicorn, right? She's not a sewer, and of course she got so frustrated because she didn't understand the under... Which I understand completely. She got really, really frustrated. Said, I'm not doing it anymore, I'm not doing it anymore. Then I said, buy a cat, buy the cat bundle. Yep. She bought the cat bundle and she made this gorgeous Joe Carter cat. Now she's doing quilts. Now she's yep. got the dragon. Now she's got... Yeah, it, it is just walk before you can run. Yes, exactly. And just take your time and learn skills. And every time you do a new project, you're picking up a new exactly. skill. Exactly. As little Paul said, when he learned to cook, he wouldn't do a souffle first. Well, oh, is no, a souffle no. difficult then? I don't know. I've never, never tried one. one. No, but never... there's a reason, isn't there? Yes, yes. No, I've never tried a souffle. So you've pushed all that through. Yes, so now we need to give that a good press. Now this will take a while. Take your time on this because it, you are pushing lots and lots of layers out. Yes, you? you are. And it, I've done those little snips and here I've probably not done enough snips just to make this more like a curve and less like a 50 pence piece. Yes, but you can, you can all, when you get to that stage, you can see, oh, I've not done enough curve. Turn yep. it back through, cut another couple out. Yes, but I won't do that no. today. No, no, no. We will we'll have it 50 pence piece wise. Yeah, so. we'll do 50 well, actually, pence piece back. We've only got about 15 minutes left, so we have to. Um... Not very long. Get a wriggle on. No, we're just pressing it flat, so I'm not going to move all the bags. No, just a good hard yep. press. Ooh, warm. I need those little Teflon. Oh, you do. We sold out, I'm afraid. Oh, they were good. Uh, I like those. What else did you want, Paul? I've only got D-rings. 
Oh, yes, we'll do that. Should we not do it when we get to them? Um, yeah, 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 well, yeah. the zips. No, no, uh, oh, the, the D-rings rings. and the, the Well, to be uh, honest, though, I'm probably fleece. not going to get oh, okay. to, to that point. Let's talk about the fleece. But we can then. talk about where they go and what they do. Right. So this, uh, the this, foam itself. The foam itself, the sew-in foam. The sew-in foam. Once you've created the front and have made the back, you then apply it to the foam. To, to so the whole, so if you've met, when you finish the whole of this yep. front, even though you've got... Decaville in, even though you've got your yeah. A640 in, <laughs> yeah. you then put a layer of this in. Then you put a layer of that but in. But this is so in. Yes, that's so in. And we did a show, and it was, again, I can't remember the name of the bag. That one might have been Kirsten, from the bag boutique. And it was the one that had the inset Lotta. handle. That's Lotta. Lotta. Not, Lotta. That I know the, uh, not that I know that book very well. That's Lotta. The one that's yep. got the shape like that, and yes. then you've got the, the lovely le we letter box. We used it in that. Yeah, yeah. So you used it. This is another one that you use. Like, also, some people don't like... A fusible, they like a sew in, like we sell a lot of the sew in interfacing. I always use the iron on because I'm lazy, but a lot of people like sew in interfacing and sewing yeah. stuff. So that, that's that. Uh, just to let you know, whilst you're talking, I'm gonna, sorry. In fact, no, no, no. It's, it's very your aggressive, show. wasn't it? It's your show. I'm just gonna top stitch around the outside curve. Okay, so you, so you just pin that there. You, just to make sure that the underside doesn't yeah. roll out. As I say, we've got 15 minutes left. Ellie said, t tell John that sewer. Oh, oh, now, you see, I'm with you, Ellie. I'm so with you. I don't know where you stand on this. Somebody who sews is called a sewer in my world. Yep. But a lot of people like to be called a sewist. Well, I think that's because when you write the word sewer, it's El Sewer. Sewer. Um, stopped by... <laughs> Don't you laugh. <laughs> oh, Ellie says she stopped by in a certain magazine because they call it sewists all the time. Oh. You see, it's, it's this, isn't it, though? It's, it's, you're going to offend somebody if you say sewer, you're going to offend somebody if you say sewist. So I'll say sewerist. Sewerist. That's my new word, a sewerist. Sewing professional. But you call a, qu you call a quilter a quilter, not yeah, a quiltist. Yeah. Well, that would sound odd, yeah, wouldn't it, right. quiltist? Right, I need, this is where I need my so walking worries, foot. That's my, this is where what? I think I need my walking foot. Oh, okay. So what I might do is... Don't, 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 if you don't want to do it, don't... You've got 15 or 14 15 minutes, minutes, so... What I might do is pretend that we've top-stitched yes, that yeah. and just, yeah, we'll put the other half. Because you know how to top-stitch round an edge at home, don't you? Yeah. Uh, can, before you do, can I just talk about D-rings? I don't know if we're going to get... We're not going to get to D-ring, D-rings, no. are we? So no. I'll just show you the D-rings that you can also buy. Obviously, Debbie's used... Um, you didn't make this, Debbie made no, this. No, Debbie made that one. Uh, Debbie's used square ones on this one. We've got the D, D ring shape here. Two, uh, just the one size. I don't know, I've got two packets, so I'll just show you the one. Four pieces in a packet. And four is minutes. enough, because you use two on the front, yeah. two on the back. Four is enough for one bag. Two ninety nine. They're not different, are they? The same, no, aren't they? but we do do different finishes. Oh, so I think we do a brass. Well, I've only got silver and or silver. Antique. I've yes. only got silver and silver, Christopher. <laughs> oh, another email in. We'll get on with the rest of this thing in a minute. Other email here. Oh, look. Oh. This is my bag from the Bag Boutique book. It's called the Tilda. Oh. It's not perfect, but I'm pleased with it. Love watching every day. Oh, Angela and Bear. Love it. That's Isn't nice. that gorgeous? I wonder if she used the foam for that one. Did you use the foam, Angela? Nod. Did you use the foam? Nod if you used the foam. Yeah, you have to send in a message. We can't see you nodding, love. <laughs> right. What do you want, Christopher? Do we need to walk no, in front? No, no, we're not going to do that, thank you. But thank, thank you. you for asking. No, we'll wing it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm right. just going to... So we're now to... doing the other half of the... Can I lift that one up? Yes. We're now... We've done... Obviously, it seemed like yesterday, but we did this. <laughs> we did this one at the beginning of the show. Now we're obviously doing... And you have to match them up, of yes. course. Okay, so I'm just going to... And I've, I've put the pocket on... It measures just over six inches, so I've just put the edge of the pocket... Equally, oh, okay. either e side, yeah, so yeah. we can work out. Yeah, or of course, you can just fold it in half. <laughs> well, you know, it's all about discussion, isn't it? <laughs> right. Right. It actually measures it, just over eight inches because I've got the mat upside down. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> one fine. job. It's fine. One job. What am I paid for? We don't pay you. Do you not? No. What? You get sweets. Sweets? Yeah, yeah, there are lots of sweets. It's terrible. Yeah. The toffee. I don't eat toffee, but the, to the toffee one with the um, uh, red wrapper is like really soft toffee with dark oh, chocolate it? on it. It's delicious. Because I've got dodgy teeth. I can't have anything too strong. Oh, have you? Mm, we were talking good. about teeth earlier, because a lot of my teeth are my first teeth I've got. I didn't have... Oh, really? My member brother, we had a few milk teeth, but we just bought born with these teeth. Oh, really? Wow. So, so, but yeah, but when we were like 
eight years old, we were like that. Could I have too many teeth in our mouth? Could they all big teeth in their little mouth? Anyway, what are you doing? So I'm just trying not to poke my finger on the other side. Is this where you'd use your craft knife? I probably would, yes. Yeah. And just going to trim this little hole. Carefully, carefully. I'm just going to go through the top layer, I think, and then I'll come back and do Okay. We've got ten layers. minutes, so you're all right. You've got plenty of time, because we can talk through the, uh, the rest of the bag, can't we, when we come yeah. to it? And around. Remember, there's only one bundle left. The blue, the blue one that we're using, the blue and self one that we're using is sold out. The, the Tudor pink arrowhead one is still available. It's the pink one. It's the pink one there. So you'd use the uh, arrowheads for the pocket and the bottom of the base. You'd use the pink alinea for the main body, and then you'd use the biscuit, I'd say, as the um, lining. The lining. And you use the lining on the back of the flap of the pocket and the back of the pocket itself Oh, yeah, because well. in this one, this one's obviously Debbie. She's used a, a, a pattern one. So this is where, in the one that's, the one that's left, you'd have biscuit here, you'd have, biscuit here yeah. you'd have fuchsia here, and you'd have the, the arrowhead there. And then you'd also have the, the lining inside there. Phyllis says, good morning, a bit of a daft question. Do you know what, Phyllis, no question's a daft question. Is, oh, no, it's a good question. Oh, is it? Is Deckerville waterproof? She's loving the show, by the way. Um, well, you can wash it. Oh. But I wouldn't say that it's water resistant. Uh, so, but then it's, but then the fabric that's over the top is a water. Oh, I see, so if you wanted to make a bag waterproof would use deco. Um, no. No. Odicote. It's what? Odicote. Yes, Odicote. Need your Odicote. Yes. So what so, have you just done without me seeing? Made a dog's dinner is what I've done. Oh, okay, go on. What have I done? John, help me. What have I done? Okay, what have you done? I've made a dog's dinner of that. I think I've not cut my hole big enough. <laughs> I think the hole rubbish, needs to be a little bit bigger. I think I do need a bigger hole. Because I'll show you what when, I've done. Yes. So you can see all the fluffy bits inside. So if you make the hole bigger, that will be encased inside there, because yeah. then when you put the backing on, the I whole lot. It. So maybe I needed to use that. I don't know what I've done. Yeah, got. lots of messages come through. Good morning, John and Victoria. I'm loving the show. Can I please ask, is it a quilt? No, it's just fabric in the next hour. Fabric in the next hour, fabric Jake. Fabric in the next hour. Just wait for the next one to come through. It's not going, no. John and Victoria, yes, it says. <laughs> Yes, I've phone. used the H640. No, not the H640, the sew-in foam. I'm guessing, is that the question? Oh, I don't know. It's not arrived, you see, so I don't know. Uh. So, oh, so, oh, no, she has used the sew-in and the H640. Yeah, fab. But no Decaville, no Decaville. See, that's, like I say, with Debbie's book, she has used all of them. Yeah. You get, get to use them in all sorts of bags. This is like trimming a fringe. You just know it's going to get shorter and shorter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bigger more, more and bigger and, and bigger. Well, don't worry about it, because we, we could talk through the rest of the bag, can't we? <clears throat> Almost. 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 Also, you are having to make it in front of millions of people. <sighs> with, a, with a clasp I've not used before. Yes, exactly. So we'll just pretend that I've not made a dog's yes. dinner of that. I'll just fold those over. Yes, okay. because what would happen is if you cut it bigger, th those raw edges would be inside there. Inside. And then this and this would then touch... You see and what then mean? cover. Because they're, they're going to cut. They, so be, 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 don't look too closely because Victoria will be embarrassed. But you see, <laughs> if you cut your hole just a little bit bigger, the, the, the raw edges will be inside there. Then when you attach this, you see the edge of this back piece would then join the edge of the front piece there, which would then enclose oh, all, all of those. What you could do now, this is what I would do Go on. if I'd made this mistake. Now, I'm not, I'm not suggesting you do this at home. I know what some, you're going to say. <laughs> uh, I'd burn it. I would I, once I put my clasp in, I would then get one of those, you know, the thing you like the oven with? Well, you have to Guess do that anymore. You know, the, I've got them to do candles in yeah. my house, but you know, the clicky, the clicky thing, right? Thing. And I'd literally, well, in the olden days when I was training, you didn't always have all your, to work out what a fabric was, you'd burn yeah, you the burn corner it. of it, yeah. and you'd be able to work out if it was cotton or if it had man made fibres. I still do because there's stuff in my stash, I've got no idea exactly. what it is. Exactly. So <laughs> now I'm, I, I don't want you setting fire to your house or anything like that, but what I would do to get rid of those little raw edges in there is literally, it's literally just a near like the that, flame. And, it, and it's gone, near the flame. Yeah, I don't gone. actually touch it with the flame, I just put it near and the heat just. Right, hang on a sec. Little Paul's just said something I don't understand. His... <laughs> 
barber does that to his ears. Ooh, ooh. Not the inside, not the hoppy candle inside, the outside ear. <laughs> has he got hairy ears? Listen, when you get like, when you're a man and you get to 39, you start getting hairy Sprouting. ears. And this morning I've been plucking my eyebrows because you get these errant hairs doing this. So little Paul's Turkish barber burns his ears to get his ooh. hairs off his ears. I bet that was exciting first time that happened. Yeah. Did he warn you he was going to do it? Oh, sorry. Right, OK, so we're pretending that's so all done beautifully finished. We've done a nice job on yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, and then on here, we're going to work out where the middle is. So 25. Yeah, we've got five minutes, so we're so fine. That's fine. OK, so... Um, Would you like a tape measure? Yeah, that would be loads easier. <laughs> I don't do mental maths. Oh! There it so, is. You got it? That's, 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 that's fine. OK, so what have we got? This is 15 inches. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. So that gives us, how many have we got on that side? One, two, three and a bit. One, two, three and a bit. So that's close enough. So place that with the raw edges matching on here. Yeah. And then you can take your pocket top and place that over the top just to make sure that these two yeah. work. Because you don't want to sew that in place and then come to do that and find that they don't meet. Yes, yes. So I'm going to place or, that. Or it could be in the wrong place. And when you do the buckle up, the whole bag yeah, does that. Yeah. That's what you'd you be want. really cross. So what I'm going to do is I've closed that. I'm going to push that down so that the top, this top section of the flap is level with the top of the centre yeah, of the so, bag. So your edge here has gone a little bit over, but that doesn't So that's gone over. It, yeah. So then I'm going to pin the pocket in place. Yeah. And then we can sew that in place. Yeah. Would you also pin the flap just here and here so it doesn't move because you now you know you've got your perfect um, or would you wait? what i think what i would do is that i would do this section first and, and then do this and then again. do that again, again. yeah because this yeah. might move when you're stitching it yeah like, and yeah. this will get in the way when yeah, you're trying yeah, to stitch yeah, okay. so this time you're only top stitching down either side aren't either you? side yeah. correct I'll go down those and just do a back stitch at each end okay at the top if of the you've pocket. just joined us it, oh, I've left the instructions over there. The instructions that you get, they're fabulous Debbie instructions, but there are a few, um, I don't want to say errors, there's been a little breakdown of communication in the way. If, if, um, if you bought this, the, uh, you can either watch this on YouTube, because um, Victoria explained it really, really thoroughly earlier, or you can go to our website because uh, Adele is going to put it on the website afterwards. Or if you bought the paper pattern, the uh, addendum will be put into your paper pattern. They're working on printing it up now. Um, or, like I said, I'll give you Adele's address and you can just go around and knock on her front door in the middle of the night and wake her up. <laughs> uh, that's a joke, by the way. Don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, can you imagine? She's bad enough during the day. Can you imagine what she's like if you wake her up in the middle of the night? <laughs> she came in with rock chick hairdo this morning. I went, oh, that's a nice new hairdo, Adele. And she was like, snarled at me. <laughs> she's not a snarly person, really, but, you know. Uh, so do I, do I need to cover anything else here, Paul, while I'm here? Oh, there's another... Uh, we need to talk about the strap. We'll, we'll do yes. that in a minute when we talk. When we talk. We've got four minutes, four minutes, so we're all right. All right. Um, yeah, but we're not, we're not going over there to, to do... So I've got four minutes, so... We sold it all. But this check fabric's lovely. It's Anyone gorgeous, that's got that it? is really lucky. Yeah. When Adele showed me that, I was like, Adele, that's a good choice. I like that one a lot. Goes so nicely with yeah. the yellow. Yeah, exactly. Also, sulfur, yeah. that's called. Sulfur. A bit slow. Speed yeah. it up a bit. Chug, chug, chug. Yeah, I am going on, I am going on holiday in September. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I got that from Jeremy Kyle. Jeremy Kyle said that on his show yesterday. Oh, did he? I thought I'd use that. Jeremy Kyle. I expect more of you. Oh, what do you mean? I, vid I video it every day. Do you know he got that? I helped him get him that job. <laughs> Did you? Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> anyway. So do the same thing again. So I've replaced that over the top and hold that in place. And I'm going to pin through all those layers. And this is where the walking foot would have actually been more sensible to get through those layers. That's the first one. That is number one. Yeah. Um, we, we don't need to stitch that now. No, we don't need to stitch that. I just want to talk so through. So what you do uh, is oh, yeah, sorry, you yeah. then attach the base of the bag, right sides together yeah. and down, and then really? you can edge stitch that, top stitch yeah. that on that side. And then the same thing with the top of the bag. 
you attach right sides together and flip it back. So this isn't this project isn't a quick afternoon project. No, this it's is not. a proper sit down weekend few session. Yeah. Few sessions. And especially with applying the Decaville and the uh, fusible fleece, it's something you take your okay. time over. So Fair, we've got rush. two and a half minutes left. Let, could you just so talk me through? Very quickly, you create um, and you create in the same way the straps and the tabs. Right. Uh, the instructions um, have, and if you've got the bag making. Um, Bag Boutique yes, book, yes. Debbie shows you a different method to the way that it's told in, in this, this pattern. pattern. This pattern tells you to take um, a piece, oh, and I've, we've got it here because I didn't top stitch this, is that you take a wide piece and you fold in half. Has that got interfacing And then fold in half it? again. Yeah. That's just got the interfacing that, that comes in, in the kit. kit. Yeah. And you fold like this. Okay. Um, what I would say, though, is that I think because we're using these D rings and not these square ones, is that I'd make this strap slightly wider. So with whatever you, whether you've bought D rings from ours or whether you've got your own square ones, don't necessarily cut the strap to the sizes. You could do the length, the sizes that yes. they say here to get the proportion right, but make your strap because because obviously, oh, hang on, let me move that across there. If you've got an even wider one of those. Any of these straps would look a little bit flimsy in it. So make it as wide, but you make that and that the same width. Yes. Because obviously you can go to anything as wide, sorry, you could go as wide as that if you wanted to, because that would then create a really lovely look, wouldn't it? But but it's it restricted on by the your size. hardware. Yes. Yeah. And then there's just a zip going around the top of the bag like that, which we are. Uh, Okay, we have to finish now. You're back in an hour. Yes, I am. And you're doing, oh, English paper PC. English paper PC. Really lovely um, tablet. Uh, but don't go anywhere. I've got brand new fabrics, right? I've got Ooh. tapestries, I've got llamas, I've got elephants, <laughs> I've got uh, dogs with glasses on, I've got geometrics, I've got, I've got Carol's photograph of this gorgeous stool that she covered with the fabric last time I had to do. Um, the only one kit that's available left with the bag is this one. £30.99. And, uh, and now, uh, are the other people too late to check out? They've still got a chance to check out on the others. The others have all sold out, so that's the only bu bundle you can now buy for that. Thank you, no thank problem. you, thank you. We didn't know if we get through that hour, but I think yeah. it's professionalism Almost. to the end. Ignore the... Yeah. yeah, oh yeah, well, apart from the bit, but she can have one mistake, can't she? So you do get a gold star. Um, don't go anywhere, I'll be back with these gorgeous fabrics. Oh, and I've got cotton canvas bundles as well. See you in three minutes from now. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Join us from Friday the 9th to Sunday the 11th of March as we have a Mother's Day bonanza. This exciting weekend is jam-packed full of unmissable shows with some fabulous guests. Angie Atwood will be demonstrating with Westerly's brand new rulers, just perfect to add to your collection. We'll be taking a look through Joe Carter's fabulous toy box and we'll have our first ever visit from Claire Louise Hardy from The Great British Sewing Bee and author of The Great British Sewing Bee Fashion with Fabric. So tune in throughout the weekend as we spoil every mother out there with a range of fantastic makes. Friday the 9th to Sunday the 11th of March only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. Follow us on Twitter for more inspiration, top tips, news, and share your own creations with us. Calling all dressmakers. On Saturday the 10th of March, Claire Louise Hardy from the Great British Sewing Bee will be joining us on Sewing Quarter. Claire Louise was one of the great minds behind the technical makes on the show and is also the author of the Great British Sewing Bee, Fashion with Fabric. At 9am, she'll be showing us how to create and line her PU jacket, available in several colourways. She's back at 11am creating a flattering, drapey knit dress in stunning jersey fabric. So tune in at 9am and 11am on Saturday the 10th of March, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Join Sewing Quarter at the Sewing for Pleasure show this March. 
From Thursday the 15th to Sunday the 18th, the NEC in Birmingham is transformed into Fabric Heaven, where you can enjoy sewing, quilting, patchwork, and dressmaking with the experts. Find the Sewing Quarter team on stand H06. And with the chance to meet our guest designers, as well as presenters Natasha and me, John, we'll have live demonstrations for you to enjoy, plus special show prices on exciting products. Snap up your tickets and bring a friend for free with our two-for-one ticket code exclusive to Sewing Quarter. Quote the code EV26 at www.sewingshow.co.uk and you can get two-for-one prices on adults and seniors for one, two and three-day tickets. Now, I hope you've bought your tickets for Sewing for Pleasure. I know lots of you have, because lots of you are coming for a hug. You've already told me you're coming up for a hug and a picture. Uh, crazy Lorraine's even bringing me my lunch, apparently. Um, so it's on for four days. Uh, as you can see, I'm echoing really badly upstairs, by the way. Um, uh, you can get that one ticket. That's it, thank you. One ticket. One, uh, now, what we're trying to say, a bog off. Buy one, get one free, I think that said there, didn't it? In the advert, it's brilliant. Uh, so it's on for four days. I'm there on the Thursday and the Friday. Natasha's there on the Saturday and the Sunday. I think Joe Carter's there every day as well. I think. Because I got my, excuse me, I got my, I've just eaten a whole bowl of strawberries and it's, um, they're stuck in my teeth and they're going to make me burp, I think, but I won't. Um, what's this? That's a chart. That's a chart with the days on and who's there. It's got me and Natasha and who's working on the store and everything like that. It doesn't say who the guest is. So I don't know who the guest is. Right, I'm so excited about this. Last time, oh, now, have we got the email from Laura? Laura. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Right, 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 right. When I had fabrics like this before, they, at, well, they sold out. Apart from two of them, they all sold out on the very first show. We've ordered more this time. That None of these are the same. None of these are the same. Could we show Carol's picture? We're going to show you Carol's picture in a minute. But, the, the, well, you've seen one fabric. Been, it's been hanging behind me. Not that, obviously. It's been hanging behind me all uh, morning, right? These fabrics are gorgeous. Now, I've got two different um, uh, weights of fabric. I've got the, like a tapestry fabric, and then I've got a canvasy kind of fabric. But I'll tell you as we go through, they're all 80% cotton, 20% polyester. So I can't wait to show you them. I can't wait. Uh, are we ready with Carol's picture? Look, Car last time I had this fabric, Carol made it. Look. Isn't it good? Carol, that is gorgeous. She did send me three or four other pictures as well, but I'll just show you that one. It's so beautifully done. But that, I said, when we had that fabric, do a lovely piano, top of a piano stool, or a little footstool. Or, isn't it lovely? So, without further ado, the one that you've been seeing. Now, obviously, we sell by the half metre. This is a meter, obviously, but I just want you to see. This is the one that's been hanging behind me. It's like a loose, it's like a, a oh God, fluffy man. It's like a Lucy Brennan quilt, isn't it, this one? I just got to find the tape measure, there it is. Isn't it lovely? Now, it's 320 GSM, it's called Big Lollipop. Big Lollipop, it's called, I love it. Now, it's 56 inches wide. It's 320 GSM, if that means anything to you. If it doesn't, <clears throat> then think of a really gorgeous furnishing fabric. It's got that stiffness. Well, you saw, it's the same, this is the same weight that Carol used to cover her stool with. You can't make curtains out of it. You can't make, well, you, you could make an amazing dress out of it, but it'd be unusual, be, be creative. But it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous furnishing fabric. And look at the price. Look at the price. It's 5 99 for half a metre. Um, I would, I, I'm, I'll, show you, I'll show you the back, I'll show you the back, just so you know, it's a, it's a tapestry back. It's not one that you can turn around, it's not a reversible one, it's just, oh, it's just lovely. I love it, that, I love it, I love it. Wait till you see, wait till you see, right. So that's the lollipop one. That's the lollipop one. That's the one that's been hanging on the wall behind me all morning. Right, so I'll just put that one there. So now we're going on. Now, we had one very similar to this last time. 
but it's not the it's not the same. Oh, well, that one was called puzzle as well, but it's not the same as the one we had last time. S same but different. Should we call it that? Same but different. Now again, remember this is a meter that I'm showing you here. This is the 320 weight. Oh, was it 320? Yeah, 320 GSM weight. It's called. Cool. Look at. Imagine a chair. Can you imagine a chair? 360. I thought you'd have it. 360. 360. And the other ones. I'll tell them. Yeah. Um, it's 360 GSM. Isn't it lovely? Can you now? What, what, what are you? What are you seeing? What are you envisaging? What are you? What are you imagining? Stool. Po the poof we made. Well, now not the poof we made yesterday, because I don't think you'd want to do foundation paper piecing with this. But you could use the shape if you've got the pattern for that. Po well, the poof's quite easy. It's just, it's two circles and a thing like that. You do a what? Paul would re-upholster a chair. Uh, mm, I don't think it'd be very nice as a deck chair. I think it might be. A oh, well, mm. Yeah, but you, do you know what you could do? You can make gorgeous, uh, cu big cushions for your garden or bean bag, a lovely bean bag. In the summer, when all your friends come around, you'll sit in the garden drinking gin. Not my garden. Not my garden. Um, and little Paul hasn't got a garden. He does drink gin, but not in the garden. Isn't it lovely? It's called jigsaw. Oh, no, it's not called jigsaw. It's called puzzle. Puzzle, it's called. Puzzle fabric from New World Tapestry Range. 5.99 for half a metre. Now, obviously, I'm sure... Oh, look. Gorgeous colours. Right, now, for the monochrome lovers, I've got three, four fabrics for monochrome lovers now. Ooh, I've got... I've got some... What I'm doing is I'm doing the more conservative patterns to start with. It starts in about four patterns time. It starts getting a little bit outrageous. So let's go with this. Big, big. Now, they, oh no, this, this is the same fabric that um, Carol used, but hers was multicoloured, and this is monochrome, black and white, big Holland fabric. That's it, that's it, that's it. So uh, do it with the little one, because I think Carol had the little one rather than the big one. Because uh, now, now, before you start buying this, before you start buying this, look, there's a little version as well. Look, there's a little version. I'll, I'll do the little version next, but I'm just showing you. Oh, use them together. Use them. It's Wayne in the gallery. Uh, so this is the big one, first of all. I'll come all on top, but I don't care. This is the big one. <gasps> Isn't it lovely? Now, look at it there. Right, look, you see a different pattern. Look, you could, I can just see half square triangles, right? But then when you look at it there, I can see all different, I can see all different um, patterns in there. I can see almost circle patterns in there. But there's no, there's no, curved, there's no curved lines. But it, to me, I can see circles. I can see curves. And then all this one here, that's like a Jane, <coughs> that's like a Jane Alcott windmill, that one, isn't it? But then that, that there looks curved to me. It's not. It's not. They're all straight lines. 5 99 Brand spanking new. 360 GSM. Oh, I'll go over them again. I just want you to see them all. I want you to see them all. Oh, oh. Right, now that's the big one. That's Big Holland. It's the, ne it's the next one called Little Holland. Yeah, Little Holland. Now this, I think, Carol, this is the size of what yours, isn't it? But yours is multicoloured. Look, look at that. That's like now. What's that painter? What? What's that artist? I don't mean Mondrian, do I? I mean, um, oh, it'll come to me in a minute. Who's the painter? Who's the painter that does that? Yeah, no. But what's the name of the painter that actually did things like this? Black and white, little Holland fabric. Gorgeous. Three. Oh, it's. Let me hold it up for you. Look. Now you see, it's different, isn't it? It's different from when you're close to like that, you can see all the baby triangles. Five ninety nine. It's lovely, isn't it? It's beautiful. I think I think of it. It's something like Monjan, but it's not Monjan. It's what? Have a look at Carol's, because Carol's is the multicoloured version. I haven't got the multicoloured version, but that's what it would look like, per, per, um, perspective-wise. That's what it would look like. Inspiration as well. Oh, now, you know what you're going to have to do, don't you, Carrie? You're going to have to make another one in black and white now. OK. Now, the next one, you know tumbling blocks? You know tumbling blocks? It's one of Hannah's favourite 
Quilts. Yeah, the next one we had in colour as well, but we've got it in black and white now. I'm just folding as we go, so we don't have to do it later. No, we brought you the patterns before, but they were multicoloured. Now we've got the monochrome ones. There you go. Oh, wrong way up, wrong way up, wrong way up. There you go. Look. Now, I'll tell you what else it's like. You know, Erin McMorris's fabric that I had yesterday called Stepping Stones. It's the same as that. Hers was in blue, wasn't it? This again is the 360 GSM. Fabulous fern. Oh, it's one of, the, it's one of those. Um, uh, I tell you what, uh, didn't you say, uh, Timothy, that you'd call this causeway if you designed this fabric? The thing is, it's one of those fabrics. You look at it one way and you can see, oh, yeah, they're blocks that have got the black side and a grey side and a paler top. Uh, five pounds and 99 pence. Black and white nitro 3D fabric for the New World Tapestry. 5.99. The, um, it's lovely, isn't it? It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. One more look and then I'll move on because I've got one more monochrome before we start going crazy, crazy time. Okay. Now, you've seen one, oh, yeah, you've seen one like this. Now, right, this is the right side. This is the right, I don't know why I'm turning up their stars. But the, the top, no, no, because the top of the stars would be that one, wouldn't it? Not that one, not that one, that's the bottom of the star. So um, this is the right side of the fabric, right? Now, it's called Black and White Lucero Stars. It's like my, uh, my godson, Luciano. He's called Luciano, one of my godchildren. Look at the back. How fantastic is that? And you can use the, you can use the back because it's not, it's not looped or anything like that. You could use the, black, the back as well. So you're getting like, like the, the two different looks in one, aren't you there? Aren't they lovely? This is, the right, this is the right side, this is the wrong side. The only thing you'd have to be careful of is if you are going to use it for furnishing, <clears throat> it'll have been made, it'll have been woven so that this side is more hard wearing than that side. But it's, but it's a hard wearing fabric, it's going to be good. Oh, was I on about Kadinsky? No, the circle fabric I'd say Kadinsky, yes, but the, 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 the other one, the black and white, I, 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 I don't it. But yeah, Kadinsky for the circle one, definitely. We're talking about artists now that I mentioned earlier. There's another artist who did triangles like that. Don't worry, don't worry. It'll, it'll, it'll be one of those when I'm not thinking, when I'm on my boiled egg at lunchtime, it'll suddenly come to me. Okay, right, here we go, right, okay. Those are the conserv I make conservative, conservative range, right? <laughs> Right, no, 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 the order I'm doing it in, the order I'm doing it in. Because this is still 360, you see, these are still the 360 ones. <gasps> Look at this. This is saying to me, oh. <laughs> Look. Oh, do you know what it reminds me? First of all, I think it's Marylebone High Street. If any of you live in London, Marylebone High Street, right? That's what it reminds me of. But also, somebody put a picture of a quilt up yesterday on our fan page and said, oh, John Scott would love this. It was lots of little squares with like fashion drawings and everything like that. It's got the same feel to it like that, but it's windows, windows and doors, windows and doors, windows and doors. Lisboa, Lisboa, this one's called. I think that's gorgeous. Let me hold it up, let me hold it up. Look, oh, do you know what? I'm seeing a big armchair. I'm seeing a lovely big armchair, look. Isn't it lovely? That is just fantastic, isn't it? I love the Juliet balconies on some of them. Now this is the 360 again. This is still the 360 weight, this one. Lovely, isn't it? Now, is it Portuguese then? 
Uh, the back of, I'm not going to show you the back of the fabric of this one because you wouldn't use the back of the fabric of this one. Oh, do you know what? I'm not surprised. Loads and loads and loads. Of loads and loads and loads. These are all going to sell out, just to warn you. These are all going to sell out. Okay, next three. Now, this is one of little Paul's favourites, right? And he thought this would be my number one favourite, right? Yes. This is the... This is the last, no, but this is the last of the 360s. This is the last of the 360s. Oh, look. Look, <laughs> look. Yes, yeah. Now, that could be, a, you, you know what? If we'd had that there, you could have used that, hemmed it and, and stretched it. Could have been a wall hanging, couldn't it? Because, you know, you go to those shops, hang on, where are we? They do these paintings, don't they, with the three ladies? Walk, oh, it's upside down, that one, sorry. The three ladies there walk, walking with their urns on the head. Yeah, I've got these. You see these here? When I did that film in South Africa, and we used to go to Swaziland every Sunday, I've got tie backs on my curtains in my dining room made with, like, the tie back is fabric, and then I've got wooden ones of these hanging from, from the tie back. Now, remember, this is a meter you're seeing. This is a meter that you're seeing. You're paying five ninety nine for half. Let me show you what half meter looks like. Look. Look. Look, there you go, there you go, there you go. That's your half a metre. If you are going to do it to the wall hanging, you will need to back it and quilt it and things like that because you wouldn't just want a piece of fabric on the wall. But look, that's... Oh, hang on. Let me show you the middle top because that's what you're getting for your five... Do you know what? Oh, anti anti-macassars. Can you imagine that on the back of your sofa? If you've got a really dull sofa or you bought one of those... Uh, well, they call them leather, don't they? Leather sofas from that, you know, buy one, get one free. Remember all those adverts, right? You just want to make it a bit, make cushions out of this, make a thing to go over the back of the sofa in this. No, look, can I just also point out, these are these, these patterns here, this pattern and this pattern, if you're ever lucky enough to go to the Enderbelly village in, Af in South Africa, right? Um, it's where they paint their houses. They have white houses and they paint them with, yellow. and all the ladies, all the ladies have those rings. On their neck, you know, they have a ring each year and the, the necks get longer and longer. They're, they're from the Enderbelly Village. I've got loads of pictures of me at the Enderbelly Village. Gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Well done. Congratulations if you're joining in. Right, now, we're now going from 360 to 200 GSM. It's still 80%, still 80% uh, cotton, 20%. Um, oh, this is 200 GSM, this one. Look at this. Look at this! Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, right, hang on a sec. I'm not quite sure why mine's got that thing on the end there. You won't get that on yours. You won't get that on yours. They've sent me the end of the bolt. I'll just tell you what I'm talking about so you know what I'm talking about. That's the end of the bolt. You won't get a green stripe across yours. That's just the end of the bolt. Oh! You, won't, you can't have the green stripe. It's called Dragonfly for the New World Tapestry. Now, it's the, same, it's the same range, it's still 80, 20, but it's a light, look, I'll show you. I couldn't do that with the tapestry. This is, this is like, if you bought at Christmas, if you bought one of those um, ecru background with stars, or you bought one of the patchwork, you know, the blue and the red, or the Scandi, that's what the weight of this is, 200. Isn't it lovely? I love that. Dragonflies. 5.99 for half a metre. It's a much finer weave, this one. Much, much finer weave. But still not, not, not flimsy. Not flimsy, but you can do that with it. You can do that with it. You know what I mean? Whereas, I'll just get this one. That one there, <clears throat> well, it's almost twice the weight of it. That one there is like that, furnishing. Gorgeous. This one is like this. OK, let me just fold that one back up. Oh, dear. Uh, right, next. Next, 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 next. What have I got next? I've got three more to show you. In the, they're all of this weight. They're all of this weight. I'll just fold this one up. Um, I wouldn't use the back of that one. I wouldn't use the back of that one at all. That's my personal... Uh, that's just my personal preference. The thing is, when I was at college, we used to make period costumes out of these weight fabrics. Because, I mean... And uh, Jackie, the girl I, I trained with, she still does to this day. Dogs! Dogs with glasses. This is so Tula Pink-esque, I think. Look. <laughs> look at them. How full of character. Oh, look at her. I love her. I love her. 
Oh, look at him. That's me. Now, um, Julie, my sister-in-law's got one of those. A schnauzer. That's Scruffy, Mr. Scruffy the schnauzer, that one. I knew, I knew you'd go crazy for this one. I knew you'd go crazy for this one. Where Dalmatian with a the tie there? That's a bulldog, isn't it, that one? With the pork pie hat on. Hello, darling. All right, missus, what's been going on here? Oh, look, that's Cherry's dog. There's Arthur. Oh, aren't they lovely? She's still my, she's still my favourite. Which one's a pug? That, that's... Oh, hang on, where are you? There. Oh, I don't know what that... No, it's definitely not a pug. Isn't that a French bulldog? It, don't we think that's a French bulldog? What do you think this is with the... Well, it'll be something French, won't it? What little th French dog? It's definitely not a pug. Definitely, definitely not a pug, that one. What do you think that one is at home? A Roberta. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but Roberta, Roberta, message in. Roberta, message She's got five pugs, see. She'll tell us. She'll tell us. I'm, pr I'm happy to be proven wrong, but I, Timothy and I don't think it's a pug. Yeah, anyway, elephants. This is gorgeous again. Now, I have, a, I have elephants all over my house. Not real live ones, obviously. Oh, my giddy aunt. I nearly swore then. I had to hold myself back from swearing then. It's called Indian. Oh, there you go, Paul. You were right. But uh, the, uh, the thing is, it says Indian, but there are a mix of Indian and African elephants on here. <laughs> Just so you know, because they have different size ears, don't they? <gasps> Isn't it gorgeous? Let me show you the whole thing. This is, again, is a metre, remember. This is a metre. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm a bit disappointed. I've only got one left to show you. I bet my well, I said, they're all my favourites, really. But it really, it really is my favourite. I know the elephant uh, fabric is going absolutely crazy. Colours, well, uh, but in, they might be on the telly. They're not in real life because I'm just wearing browns and oranges. But it's gorgeous. I don't know if, can you come in close, Timothy, sorry. But there's lovely jeweled colours. Look, look. Look, if you come close, look, you see the gorgeous jeweled colours. Do you know what it looks like? I know where they've got their inspiration. Tula's got it on the wall in her office, hasn't she? It's, it, I don't know what they call it in Africa, in India. I think it's called holly, when you throw each other paint all over each other, or holy. But they paint, for, for ceremonies, they paint the, I'm not sure I, I agree with it, but they paint their elephants, all bright colours, don't they? That's what, the, oh, it's just beautiful. All right, I don't think you're going to be ready for this next one. Are the phone lines clear? Because they are going to go ballistic now. The web, this is where we could shut down the web. Oh, what? No, tell me. OK. For some reason, I don't know how... We've still got a lot of it, but we haven't got as much of this next one. Oh, uh, right. Now, if you want this next fabric, have your mouse in your hand now. Have your phone in your hand now, because it's, it will go in an instant, right? The other, no, the others are flying, the others are flying, but I haven't got as much of this one, and it's my favourite, and you are going to absolutely love Are you ready? Have you got your phones? Have you got your clicky mousey thing? No, you've not seen this one. You've not seen this one. It's llamas. Not, not in the show, you haven't seen it in the show. Look, look. Go, go, go. If you want it, go. Look at it. Go. See? Uh, if each of the people who have just put it in their basket takes a metre, half the stock's gone already. They've spelt llama wrong. They've spelt llama wrong. Who did that? Who's done that? Right, that's gone. That's gone. Loads of new buyers. Welcome, 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 new buyers. That's sold. I told you. I told you. Now, somebody sent me a message last night saying, if you want to have a sleep during the show tomorrow, that's absolutely fine. I think I need it. Right, I've got an email from Andrea, first of all, and there was a lovely message on here, which I'll show you about in a minute. Uh, here's a picture of the cushion covers I've made using tapestry fabric. Enjoying the show. Love, Andrea. Uh, Roberta the Pugs. 
Yes, hello, John. Oh, she says the dog with a beret is a pug. We're all wrong, and little Paul's right. Right, if yours look like that, Roberta. I, I, I disagree with you, Roberta, personally. And I know I shouldn't. Customer's always right. The, oh, I, I was going to do customer names. There's too many people, too many people on there. That's for the, just for the dog. Uh, loads of people got it in the basket. Remember, if you're new, because we've got lots of new buyers today, um, it's not yours until you check out. Now, the llamas has gone. Llama fabric has gone once you've all checked out, once you've all checked out. So if you've got it in your basket, don't think, oh, I've missed it. If you've got it in your basket, but there's more of you got it in your basket than we've actually got stock. Did you send another message before I went? OK, what, can I have the old one back then, the one I didn't read out from there? If I, OK, I'll, I'll do it when I come back. I'll do it when I come back. Look, I'm, I'm all in touch. Right, now, the other day, um, I can't remember what day it was. We had canvas bundles. It was my bag day when I had a bag out the other day, didn't I? And I had some canvas bundles, and they absolutely, well, they're gone. They're like that, they're gone, 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 gone. So I said, Hayley, we need some more. We need some more. I'm not quite sure who's done the ironing for this hour, but it's going in my shift report that it's not good enough. Which one am I doing first? This one. Oh, OK. They've called this one Mocha. Oh, no. I know what I was supposed to do when I came in. Haley said change the names. So Haley's named these, but she wanted me to change them to my names, and I completely forgot all about it. Anyway, it's gorgeous, look. Um, mocha. Cotton canvas, so these are 100% cotton. I'll, I'll show you them, I'll squinch them, up for, squinch them up for you in a second. You've got beige, ecru, brown. Okay, so they're calling that beige. Oh, okay. No, uh, the yellow in real life is a yellow, but it's more of an ochre, burnt ochre color, isn't it? It's gorgeous though. If you're into your bag making, or into your furnishing, or into your um, uh, crafts like that, 14, 49, you get two meters of fabric. Two meters, I have to think about now. Uh, what, what, was that, what was that sweet you used to get? That toffee on the outside and that banana in the middle. You're all too young to remember. It's a lovely cotton canvas, this. I'll just put it in shot for you, there you go. Really lovely cotton canvas. Okay, so that's mocha. Two meters in total. I'll show you the width, I'll show you the width, show you the width. Oh, it's gonna be 60 inches wide, isn't it, look. Look, 60 inches wide. 150 centimetres. OK, next one. OK. I'm going to have to go into Haley's brain now to try and work out which one she's called which. Next one's called Sorbet, which is this one. Now, there's only three. Oh, can I just point out, that's the only one with four different colours in it. All the others have got three. Oh, and also, after this show, in the break, Paul's going to put all of these in individually. Some of them have already gone through. So you can look underneath us here, and you'll see them all individually as well. So if you don't want to buy a bundle, or you want more than half a metre, you can buy all of these by the half metre. So if you want two metres or three metres, you can do that. But you won't be able to do that until after uh, 11 o'clock. After 11 o'clock. Oh, OK. Oh, OK. We might, we might do it in a second. We might do it in a second. So this is sorbet. You get a duck egg. Pink, and they've called this lovely lilac one purple. I don't know who named these, but Haley doesn't pick the names of the fabric. She's just picked the name of the... So what did you think? Blueberry? Raspberry? What sorbet would that be? That might be blueberry. So what would this be then? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Sorbet. 10 to 49. So you get a metre and a half fabric, half a metre of each one, 60 inches wide, machine washable, 100% cotton. 10 49. So that's that one. Next. This is called tropical. Teal, turquoise, and orange. I think that the, the department that named the, because um, you know they normally have fancy, I think the, the people who named these just were like, what would you call this? Oh, it's orange. What would you call this? Oh, turquoise. At 10.49. Yeah, a metre and a half of fabric. Cotton canvas, one, one and a half metres in total. 10 pounds. Is that Hayley? <laughs> 10 pounds and 49 pence. 
Hayley's on the phone. Hayley, you're about to watch, you're about to watch back what I actually said. Yeah. You see, that's the management for you, isn't it? So Hayley's just rung up, right? Hayley, who's my boss, my well, she's on paper, she's my boss. Uh, and she's like, who I have to report to. Line manager, isn't it? Line manager, right? She said, shut up, John, and get on with it. And then monochrome. Oh, I agree with this one. Uh, did she call it monotone? She didn't call it monotone. A monochrome, that's right then. Right, these are nice. Now, the grey in the middle, what's the grey colour? Oh. OK, so you've got black. You've got, I thought they'd give it a lovely romantic. This isn't Hayley, this is the people who make it. I thought they'd give that a lovely, because it's a warm, purpley grey, that one. It's lovely. And white. And white. Monochrome, cotton canvas, metre and a half, £10.49. and 49 pence. 60 inches wide, 100% cotton. That's monochrome, I agree with that one. OK. OK, we're going to start at the beginning, Ooh, and I'll have to give you updates as we go along, because I'm frightened that we're going to have a lot of sellouts now. So we've got big lollipops. Let me know. Also, send, now in this one, I can go a bit slow now, so do send your messages in. Let me know what you've bought. Let me know what you're using it for. Big lollipop. This is a metre that I'm showing, obviously, and 5 is for half a metre. It's lovely, isn't it? Uh, Lisboa is Lisbon in Portuguese. What for, for, oh, it's, oh, it's Marcia. <sniffs> Big kiss, Marcia. Right, OK, and how many metres have we got left? Oh, no, hang on, say this again. I didn't miss, I missed it. Yeah. OK, right. Now, that doesn't make, that doesn't make. Units or metres, you said all those were in metres, that was all. So I've got, I've got 30 metres and 22 people all check out with a metre leaves eight metres. You said four. Didn't you? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. 5 99 for half a metre. But it's going to go. It's going to go. That's all I'm saying. Beautiful. Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Please, 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 please be careful because it's only yours once you've checked out. So, how big are the lollipops, somebody says? Three and a half inches, the circles are. Aren't they beautiful? Okay, so uh, if, if everybody checks out, I've only got eight metres of that left. That's how quickly it's going. And we had loads. We had loads, we had loads, we had loads. We are going to start having disappointment soon. Uh, jigsaw, or was it called Puzzle? One of the two. Puzzle. Now, somebody just messaged in saying they bought their puzzle. Did you check out? Did you make sure you check out? Again, this is a meter that I'm showing you, remember? A meter. So look at the, the colours are the same colours that are in the others, but they've just been put in the, in the, it's very geometric. I'd say this one was more, I don't want to say manly, I don't want to say that at all, but um, I, you know, if you covered a man's chair in this. Uh, hi John, just ordered the puzzle fabric to cover a chair. Oh, there you go, Tessa. Oh, Tessa, you live near my friend Anne. She lives at, at Denmead, that's near you, isn't it? In fact, in fact, uh, uh, Tessa, we filmed some of, um, Four weddings where you live. You know the bit where uh, the wedding where he has the heart attack, the man in the waistcoat has the heart attack. We filmed that wedding there. Well, no, I think everyone's watched four weddings by now. OK. Well, I, it doesn't ruin the whole film, but it's called Four Weddings and a Funeral, so you know somebody's going to die, don't you? Puzzle, fabric. Five pounds and 99 pence. Gorgeous colours, aren't they? I don't think we've got pugs today. I don't agree with Roberta, I'm afraid. Oh, more messages are coming saying it's a pug. I don't think it. Not this, the, the dog fabric, obviously. That's, def that's what I'm talking about. It's definitely not a pug. OK, loads of you need to check out your baskets on that one. I'm only telling you for your own good. I know I won't go on and on and on, but I'm only telling you for your own good. Right. Holland, big Holland. 
Oh, it's large, not big, sorry. Oh, no, big, big. Windmills, it's because they look like windmills. I think it's called Holland. Windmills of your mind. At 5.99, half a meter, it's lovely, it's very, and monochrome. Oh, Helen, Helen's asked about the quilt behind me. This is made with Heather Bailey True Colours. Now, uh, this was made with the um, design roll. Oh, look at me, I'm such a mess, I do apologise. This is the, this was made with the design roll. In my next hour with Victoria Pete, we've got the, the fat quarter with all of those fabrics in it available in the next hour. Available in the next hour. I'll stay behind the table so you can't see how untucked I am. Um, anyway, black and white, big Holland. Uh, the rest is like almost identical look. So just a lightly, slightly solid, more solid. The, the, the main side. Oh no, there you go. Yeah. Oh no, 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 I'm right, I'm right, I'm right, right, right. No, no, I'm looking at the selfage. I'm looking at the selfage. I'm right. I am right. I am right. Yeah, I am right. Anyway, they've been pressed. They have been pressed. Some of them have been pressed the wrong way around. Okay, it's nice though, isn't it? Beautiful. Okay. So that's the, the big Holland. Oh, dogs are sold out. Dogs are sold out. Llamas already sold out. Uh, I've now got little Holland. There you go. Brand spanking new. Five ninety nine half a meter, black and white little Holland. I love um, uh, Amsterdam. I love Amsterdam, but I, I, two days and I'm bored. Two, there's a lovely restaurant in Amsterdam where you can go and they sing opera to you while you're eating your, your dinner. Five ninety nine. Uh, I've got that one. I've, Tessa's. I've got that. I've done that one. Janet, morning, John. Is the cotton canvas suitable for making boys' shorts? Oh, now when I go back over. Was that, was that Janet? Janet, Janet. I'll go back over, I'll have a good feel. Yes, I'm sure it would be good. Uh, Jennifer, how wide's the fabric? Please love the show, Jenny in Shropshire. Uh, 54, didn't I say this was? The cotton canvas is 60. I'm sure I said these were 54. Just double check for you. Oh, 56, 56, 104, uh, 140, is that 56? 142, 142. Um, 80% cotton, 20% polyester, all of these on this table. These ones I'm showing now are 360 GSM, and the, well, I've only got the elephants and the uh, dragonflies left in the other, and that's 200 GSM. Okay. That's the, where's the foldy on that one? No, it folds, yeah, but it folds that way. Do you see, they've done, they've done them the wrong, whoever's ironed them pressed them the wrong way around. This doesn't matter. Oh, elephants are about to sell out. Oh, well, I thought I was having some of these fabrics. Oh, well, never mind. Right, let's do the Devil's Causeway. But it's not nitro, it's called. Now, we had this in colour the first time we did these. Oh. Now, um, this one would, might do funny things to your eyes a little bit. It's doing it to me now here. It's all right on screen, isn't it? Five ninety-nine, half a metre. I think the doors, is the door open to the, the dressing rooms there? Just have a quick look, it's very loud, whoever's in there. No, the door's shut. God, they must be really loud. 5.99, black and white nitro 3D fabric from the new. Lots of new buyers, welcome, welcome, welcome. Five pounds and nine pounds. No, 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 no. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. We've had lots and lots of new buyers, and we welcome you all to our sewing quarter family. Oh, isn't that lovely? It's like tumbling blocks, or is it stepping stones, or is it... It's both, is it? It's one of those, one of those um, drawings that you look at one way, and you see the black squares pop out, or the... That's the other way around, that was 180. Yeah, no, no, look, look, uh, look, I'll turn it, right, so that's that. No, that, that's not 360, that's 180. Oh, you don't want your 180, you want it that way. But you wouldn't cut out across that way. 3D effect, it's really moving in my, in my eyes, it's making my, it's, and little mics as well. I think in real life it's got that, 
wow impact to it. OK? Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, stars next. Here we go. So this is the front of the stars. So gorgeous, isn't it? It's called black and white Lucero stars. So you've got the kind of ecruy background with the black, the grey, and the pale grey stars. But look at this. I think you could. This is the only one that I'd say you could use both both sides. Uh, Paul's going to have cushions made of this for his um, black and white room. Night and day. Or well, depends on what mood you are when you wake up in the morning. Nice, isn't it, there? Um, I'm not sure if I'd be... You know those people who do Christmas themes? Now, I know I know I should be talking about Christmas in March. But I think, imagine how stylish if you did a black and white Christmas. That'd be beautiful, wouldn't it? Is dragon fi fabric suitable for curtains? Um, yes. They'd be, they'd be like old-fashioned, you know, like your old-fashioned weight curtains. This is the dragonfly that I haven't got a name. Oh, well, they'd have to be little, they'd have to be little curtains because I've only got four metres left, I'm afraid. OK, that's gone. There's, 12 meet, there's four metres left, and 12 people have got that in their basket. So even if they try and take half a metre each, they won't get it. I'm ever so sorry. Please check out. OK. OK, so that's that one. Oh, elephants are sold out now. So that's all my... So, right, so I've... OK, Lisboa is next. I've only got now the 360 weight. I've only got the 360 weight now. Oh, do you know what? Um, you, you could make really, uh, not curtain curtains, but you could make gorgeous drapes out of this. And wouldn't it be lovely having windows at windows? Oh, pelmet. Make your pelmet out of this. If you made a gorgeous pelmet out of that, and then you had curtains come in front of these, your pelmet, they'd be fantastic. Or your drag backs, swag backs, whatever they're called. Not a drag back, a tie back. They're called swagbacks, aren't they? Tiebacks. You know what I mean, anyway. Uh, Lisboa fabric from the New World Tapestry range. You can make gorgeous bags out of this. Out of these fabrics, you can make gorgeous bags. Five night, right? Stay, stay on there a minute, because I've just I've come up, I'm tucked so badly, I've got to tuck myself in. OK, and how much is the left? OK, if everybody in their basket takes a metre, it's gone. If, the thing is, I say this, we can only see how much you buy when you've checked out. So I, one of those people could have put 10 metres in, 10 units or 10 metres in the bag. I don't know until you check out. Just bought a metre of the Little Holland and the puzzle. I'm thinking gent shavings bags. Oh, nice. For my cadet handmade stall in August. Carolyn, that's a lovely idea. That's a really nice idea. OK, and then last but not least, we've just got the African print. Is that what you said, sorry? Yeah, yeah. I, you see, now, I like this because... Oops, look at the edging. Look at the, look at the selvage of this one. Oh, and the same on, it was the same on the house one. Look, I'd have to use... I'll just show you on the African. Uh, um, I'd have to use... Sorry, sorry, Mike. I'd have to use that selvage, look. Isn't that lovely? Uh, so, they've called it Kenya. They've called it Kenya, but they've used um, spices of life from all over Africa, I think, here, because you've got Enderbelly, you've got South Africa. Uh, Ken I bought the most lovely table in when I was in Nairobi. It's the shape of a, an elephant. Uh, not an elephant, a giraffe. And it's actually, a, it's a little coffee table. It's got four legs, and the table's there, and then it's got the head. That, it's all carved out of one piece of wood, and a little tail comes up. And when I came back, in days of the days when film companies used to fly me first class around the world, um, 
they couldn't go in the hold because it was too gentle. It sat on the seat next to me, first class all the way home. Oh, happy days. No, I didn't have to pay two seats because you're in first class. They just let you sit. I wasn't paying, was I? Just getting the air miles and the nice food. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it gorgeous? Five ninety nine for half a meter. The thing is, I think I'd want to fussy cut this. I don't think I'd want to keep this as one big piece. Or you'd make cushions, so you just had a couple of each of the patterns on it. Do you know what I mean, Ari? It's lovely, isn't it? Also, you could make trim look because there's this sections that are like ribbon. You could make your own ribbon out of it. Do you know what the colours, I'm going to tell you what the colours remind me of. You know we have the Tim Holtz fabric, which is the cigar labels. It's the same colours as in the cigar labels. It's lovely, isn't it? Doesn't have a direction, goes in all sorts of directions. Look, a bit topsy-turvy. 5 99 for half a metre. Oh, beautiful. My best friend at school had pugs, and I was shouting at the telly that that bug in the berry is a pug. Sorry it's late, my tablet's playing up. Reva, the only reason I was being, because uh, Paul guessed it was a pug, right? And he says he's rarely wrong. And me and Timothy didn't agree with him. And I thought all of you would say, oh, it's definitely not a pug. So we've, we'd have one up, but we didn't. What did you say? Oh, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, little Paul's part of a, like a um, kennel club. And he goes and pets the, ant, the, the dogs in the dog home. I didn't realise that. Well, it's not, can't be Battersea Dogs Home, can it? Because that'd be too far for you to go. Isn't it? I won't say the name because it'd be your village. There's, that, there's a lot of dogs in your village, aren't there? Right, OK. Oh, we've had a picture. Then I'll go and do it. Oh, I've got to look at the shorts for, um, see if it's good for shorts. Oh, I forgot. My brain, I'm ever so sorry. Oh, look. So look, there's, there's, look, there's this one. There's this one in colour. Uh, it's not called Cosmic. What's that one called? Nitro. The sh that whoever sent those in has got Nitro. We've got it in black and white today. Uh, earless. Oh, it's Earless. Hello, Earless, my love. She's got that one. And then look at the one on the far right and the second one in. That's the, uh, say, the little Holland it, that um, Carol made her stool out of in colour. And we've got it in the monochrome today. Oh, fantastic. Right. OK, let's go over. Oh, Janet. I'll do that now, Janet. I'll do that straight away. Oh, we are going to do the by the half metre now. We are going to do the by the half metre. I'm going to do the grey. I'm just going to look at the grey. Right, we are going to do these by the half metre now. Now, look, it's 60 inches wide. They're 100% cotton, aren't they, Paul? Um, now, yes, you could make shorts out of them. You could make shorts out of them. I wouldn't make, like, school trousers out of them, but I'd make kind of, um, uh, like play trousers for the summer, or a little dungarees or something like that. It's a nice, it's a nice, it's not too heavy, look, 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 it's not heavy. But it's lovely. So you could make shorts out of it. You could even do, if you're going to make quick shorts for the summer, you could do gathered waist, you could do an elasticated waist. It's not too bulky for that. It's not like, it's not like sailcloth, it's not that kind of canvas. It's like a soft canvas. So you could make some shorts out of it, but I don't think you'd make formal shorts, you know, like if you were making ones to go to school or to go to, like, with a blazer or something like that. So that's the grey one. Oh, 365, half a metre. So we're going to do them all, are we? Not in the bundles anymore, just, right. So we're just going to do them all by the half metre. OK, because I'll just do, I'll do them. Is that right? Black, this will sell. The black always sells. OK, well, I'll do this, these three, and then you tell me what colour to go to as I'm in this one. Now, now you can see, you can, uh, you can see through it slightly, because you can see my sylph-like body through there, can you? No? OK. Three pounds <laughs> and 65 pence for half a metre. Cotton canvas in black. It's a bit boring to look at on the telly, that one, isn't it? OK, 365. And then the last one of this section. So you can buy them in bundles. They'll be listed on the web underneath there. But now we're doing them by the half metre. I've got about five or six minutes to go before Victoria Pete's back. Don't we stop at 56? OK. Seven minutes then. Oh, oh, my clock's wrong. Boring to look at, I know. Oh. 
Is that in the, um, is that from the Sorbet range? Yeah. Duck egg next. It's this one. This is the duck egg blue. Now, I'm going to start being honest with you about these colours. I would call this baby blue. I definitely wouldn't call it duck egg. Just so you know at home, just so you know, they've called it duck egg. I would call it a baby soft powder blue. That's what I'd call it, rather than duck egg. Just so you know. We haven't called it these names, the, the, what, the way it comes to the manufacturer. But I just want you, because you, obviously you're matching for things at home, aren't you? I'd say it was a beautiful powder baby blue, that one. OK. Next. I don't know which one that is. Right, this one is called beige. I would call that mocha. I would call that pale mocha. They've called it beige, because beige is more of like a pale biscuity colour, isn't it? I'd definitely call that one a mocha. Just, it's just if you're matching it, just if you're matching it to something else, I'd call that one a mocha. Righty-ho, next. Oh, blimey, they're jumping all over the place. Turquoise. Now, now that is turquoise. Aqua slash turquoise, definitely. Oh, it's got a big thread on it now. You see, now, Ginger Mike was here. He wouldn't take the shot until I'd done that. There you go. That's for you, Ginger Mike. God, I made it sound like he died, didn't I? That was for you, Ginger Mike. Turquoise, that was lovely, that colour, isn't it? Next. Do you know what? Aprons, really lovely aprons would be nice out of this. Or a summer skirt, a lovely skirt would be made nice out of it. Oh, do you know what? Um, a circular skirt would be lovely because it would hold the shape, wouldn't it? Yellow, right, this is mustard. I wouldn't call this yellow, I'd call this mustard. Might look yellow on your telly, but it's definitely got that... It's nice, it's gorgeous. I'm not, I'm not slagging any of them off, believe me, but it's, I'm just telling you so you know when you get it home. It's not a bright sunshine yellow, it's a mustard. They're all 365 half a metre, they're brilliant, aren't they? OK. Now... OK, I'm going to have a break from this. I'll be back. I'll be back to do the rest before the end of the show. I've got... Why not? Oh, OK, right. OK, I might not be going back over there, but in the break, Paul will put them all through. So if you need to buy any of the other colours, they'll be listed on the... over there. Puzzle. There you go. This is Puzzle. A lot of you come in for this one. Uh, 5.99 for half a metre. Remember, this is 360 weight. It's 80% cotton, 20% polyester. Beautiful. It's a heavy furnishing fabric, this one. £5.99. Make sure you check out your baskets, because you've seen people missing out on all the others that have sold out. Can you go in there and tell them to be quiet? Oh, gosh, yeah, it'd be gorgeous as a cushion back. Be beautiful as a cushion back. I tell you what, because it's got that lovely, be lovely as a cushion front. Shame to waste it as the back, isn't it, really? Don't worry, don't worry. Be lovely, wouldn't it? As a whole, all of the cushion. I'd love all of the cushion. Um, ooh, here we go. Angela, morning, John. Beautiful fabric, love you. Uh, Angela, the thing is, Angela, I can't lie, right? So if this was horrible fabric, I'd be going, here's Jigsaw, here's Monocro. I th it's just beautiful. It's, do you know what? I, oh, how, how do I say this? It's a joy to work here because 99% 99 of the things I bring to air, I absolutely adore. I mean, there's gonna, we're not going to love everything. Oh, we can't love everything. But places where I've worked before, I've, you know, sometimes had to go, oh, this is lovely. I love all the producers, except little Paul. Because he wants me to give him a compliment, you see, on air. Ah. Anyway, we'll carry on. No, forget it, forget it. Uh, oh, uh, no, no, are we definitely not going back there? Oh, OK, because I'd only done half of them, that was all. But don't worry, don't worry. It's clear, it's clear. Nitro next, nitro next. 
Okay. Nitro. There we go. Now you saw that um, Elis had, didn't, had done some cur uh, cushions out of this, but in the multicolored one. You know, so many of my friends still live in those houses where everything's white. Do you know what I mean? And then you, then you um, put black and white and red and things like that in it to kind of lift it. You know what I mean? So that's nitro. 3D. OK. Patricia, good morning, John. What a fabulous show. Disaster. I missed the elephant fabric. Will St. Quarter be reordering? Love your enthusiasm. Uh, Patricia, I'm going to run through now in the break, and I'm going to ask them, first of all, to be quiet in that back office, and secondly, to... That's who, is that? Oh, that's the buying department making all that noise you can hear at home. I'll go in there and I'll tell them to shut up. Do you not realise I'm on air, live? Next. Sorry, I didn't mean to that. Some of Kenya left. How are we doing with windows and big lollipops then? Right, there's a, a couple of meets that got lollipops left. What's the matter? Is it the is it um it's Ian in there? Okay. Oh, but I have to see not Ian now, because it's not when it's reordering, I have to see Harriet, don't I? Is she in there? I'll, go and I'll find out for you in the break, definitely, definitely. Beautiful, isn't it? <clears throat> oh, sorry, 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 sorry. There you go. Do you know what? We had a picture from somebody the other day, didn't we? Uh, 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 she doesn't live on a narrow boat, but she's got a narrow boat. I think those colours would look gorgeous in that boat. Oh, got to go. Right, a little message. I've still got Patricia's. Janet, thanks for the reply, John, regarding the canvas. It's for the grandsons, 11, 7, and 2 to play in. Perfect. Wash it, wash it before you make the clothes, because it might have a little bit of shrinkage in it. Uh, Victoria Pete is coming up next. She's doing, oh, the most gorgeous, I don't know where it is. Uh, she's doing English paper piecing, and it's a really, really lovely, where's the, where's the little um, iPad case? Is it on the trolley? Too late now, I've done it. Uh, don't go anywhere. We, and we've got the fabric to make this as well. See you in three from now. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Join us from Friday the 9th to Sunday the 11th of March as we have a Mother's Day bonanza. This exciting weekend is jam-packed full of unmissable shows with some fabulous guests. Angie Atwood will be demonstrating with Westerly's brand new rulers, just perfect to add to your collection. We'll be taking a look through Joe Carter's fabulous toy box and we'll have our first ever visit from Claire Louise Hardy from The Great British Sewing Bee and author of The Great British Sewing Bee Fashion with Fabric. So tune in throughout the weekend as we spoil every mother out there with a range of fantastic makes. Friday the 9th to Sunday the 11th of March, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. There are many different ways you can buy from us here at the Sewing Quarter. You can order from us by calling our free phone number at 0800 112 4433 and talk to the team at our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, there are other ways you can buy from us. You can go online and shop through our website at www.sewingquarter.com. You can even watch the show there and shop as you go. You can check out as many times as you like throughout the day and only pay a small fee of £2.95 postage and packaging for the whole day. We also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all products excluding custom-cut fabric. Our friendly UK-based team will help guide you through every step. Follow us on Twitter for more inspiration, top tips, news and share your own creations with us. 
Calling all dressmakers. On Saturday the 10th of March, Claire Louise Hardy from the Great British Sewing Bee will be joining us on Sewing Quarter. Claire Louise was one of the great minds behind the technical makes on the show and is also the author of the Great British Sewing Bee, Fashion with Fabric. At 9am, she'll be showing us how to create and line her PU jacket, available in several colourways. She's back at 11am creating a flattering drapey knit dress in stunning jersey fabric. So tune in at 9am and 11am on Saturday the 10th of March, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. What do you mean I've got a message? Oh, I'll have to have a quick look then. I'll just open my gorgeous <coughs> English paper piece um, pad, tablet cover. There's nothing there. Typical. Isn't this lovely? Uh, Victoria Pete's back. And look at this. Isn't it stunning? Now, this is using the uh, Jennifer Paganelli fabric, which we love. So uh, that pattern for that tablet cover is in this book. This book was brand new the other day with Jane Alcock, and it proves very, 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 she loves it, very popular. It's called Quilting on the Go by Jessica Alexandrakis. Uh, it's a beautiful book. It's all about quilting on the go. So it's quilting that you can do, well, hand quilting, really, is, or hand stitching, really, isn't it, as you're going, look, just look, or, or it just goes to every stage that you need to know. Look at the, all that detail there about tacking your English paper piecing, whip stitching, everything you need to know, joining the puzzle pieces, edges and borders. It's just such a stunning, gorgeous, colorful, vibrant book. But then we get onto the projects. So all of that there is all tech, oh sorry, all of that there is techniques and ideas. And then this bit here is all your projects. So you've got your sewing kit, hexagon cushion, pin cushion. Now that's the pin cushion. Oh no, that's not the one Jane made the other day, was it? Uh, pin cushion, shoulder bag. So all the, and look at the instructions, look how in depth all the instructions are. Small pouch, La oh, laptop bag. Just lovely, isn't it? I just think they're beautiful. Photo, oh, photo frame, that'd be a nice gift, wouldn't it? Because then you could give your photo, make the photo frame, travel quilt. And then you've got your English paper piecing patterns at the back. Now, this is amazing because look at this, right? So these are all your different patterns here. And then if, if that's not good enough, I mean, they, you could just look at those. They're like looking at K facet books, aren't they? Look at all those colors. But then look, watch, 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 watch. Photocopy these and colour them in. So you can see exactly what your finished is, the look is going to be. It's not, it just goes on and on and on. You can just colour them in. It's a fantastic book there. Oh, before I forget, we are, they're on the phone now trying to reorder those tapestry fabrics. So if you did miss out on the elephants and the dragonfly, I can't guarantee, but they're on the phone now trying to order, how it's trying to reorder them now. So that's the book. That's the book. Uh, Jennifer Paganelli, right, so this is a little bundle we've done. Now, that's what we've made this out of, but there are so many projects in the book, or you might just want this in your, in your stash at home, might you? So what you get is you get half a metre of the turquoise kingfishery blue colour, you get the thread, but then these are just stunning. You get pineapple fabric, floral fabric, the OG fabric, floral fabric in different colour, the little uh, rose, oh, sorry, what's it? The rose bundle there, the pineapples in the different colours, the little dotty design there. I'll show you that one in a minute. Dotty design, look at that, how gorgeous is that? And then, look, and then look at this one. Now, I have asked the uh, buying department to order this fabric by the half metre. Look, isn't it gorgeous? 
You get that as part of your uh, fat quarter. So you get the fat quarter, of which there are how many, fat, how many are in there? Is it 12? Uh, with, the, with the thread and the half a metre of fabric, oh, 11. Funny number to put in, isn't it, 11? 54 pounds and 99 pence. That's lovely. So that's the Jennifer Paganelli. There it is. 11 fat quarters plus the half metre fabric plus the thread, 54.99. And then I've got this one. Oops which you get the lilac fabric. This is Amy Butler, obviously. Oh, this is nice. This is the one, this is the fabric that um, uh, Lucy made her, you know, her lever arch folder out of, wasn't it? Look, beautiful geometrics there. I love this about Amy Butler because she mixes and matches all of her florals with her like a geometric tiles. I'll show you that one in a minute. And then look at that, beautiful textures there. But look at this one. So unusual, this fabric, look. You could fussy cut till your heart comes. Look. And if you're doing the English paper piecing, you can fussy cut as much as you like, can't you? Isn't that lovely? OK, now, that's all I've got to show you over here, but I have got to show you. I'm going to come back to do more fat quarters in a minute. But while little Paul was just having his comfort break, I asked Chris to bring this in, because lots of people have been asking about the quilt on the wall behind us. We made, uh, well, we didn't, it was made out of the design rolls. But I'll go through this properly for you later. But a lot of people asking about all the fabrics are there, 20 fat quarters in there. There's the one called Cocoa Bean that Timothy called Cocoa Bean. There's Hound's Tooth. There's all sorts. I'll go through it properly with you later. But lots of you have been asking about that. They're the fat quarters. So you'd have to piece some of those pieces, because obviously they're wider than the fat quarter. But we made that out of a design roll. But you're just asking about the fabric. That's the, jet, that's the fat quarter to go with it. Right, OK. We mustn't forget this. Right. Got your easel. Got my easel with my book. Got my expert. Oh, I'll tell you what I've forgotten. Oh, forgotten you're so close. I've got an iPad cover, no iPad. No actual in it. iPad for it to fit so in. So where are we starting? What are we doing this hour? Um, so we're looking at some English paper piecing techniques and skills using templates and ways of not using templates as well. OK, perfect. Because you don't always want to use a template. OK. So. Ways I'll pull up means. my chair and off you go. Yeah. So, like you said, this book is brilliant. Yes. It's really, really great. It's got loads of tips and techniques in the front, ways of colour matching, working which fabrics go with which, and the designs of those. Um, it looks at the techniques of actually doing the English paper piecing, and then goes big section on the projects as Good, well. Good, because sometimes you can look at fabrics and think, oh, that's gonna, those will all look lovely together if you buy them all separately. And then you yeah. put it together and you're like, oh, it's something lacking. But then you kind of look at these, like the Amy Butler one, for example, you've yeah. got here and you go, oh, they'll, they'll never go together. And yet... Somehow. Somehow you put them all together, completely uh, opposing, almost opposing patterns. Yes. Yeah. Uh like a big Japanese floral with a geometric. Yes, with a, and with that... With that, you know what I mean? You or just wouldn't think that they would go together, but actually they all marry in because they've used a similar colour palette. They all work together. But, but it's just a shape... Like, you wouldn't go into a fabric shop and think, oh, yes, I'll buy that geometric one and that Japanese flower one and they're going to love these together in a quilt or whatever, are you? No. And yet, somehow, it works. It's so sometimes magic. we all need... But we all need help. Yes. You know, no matter how experienced you are, you will still... Do that. Won't a bit you? of guidance, and it challenges you sometimes. Yeah. And you do something, you think, actually, that really works. Yeah. And sometimes you need to exactly. just take that leap of faith. So where are we starting? Where are so we this start? is for a. Um, it's actually called a laptop case. So you can make it whatever size you like. Oh, so it gives oh, you instructions on how to measure your device to make something oh, that's the okay. right size. So it's more about the technique and then you could make it, so you could almost, if you want to, you could do a duvet cover, not a duvet cover, but a quick bedroom quilt, couldn't you, out yeah. of it? Oh yes, you could use the technique to upscale to something much yes. larger. Okay. And this uses um, seven, uh, 70 degrees, 60 degree diamonds um, and the edge of those is two inches long. Okay, so... 60 degree diamonds, people are going to go, I don't know what that What's is. How on? do I find out? Where do I get that from? So the, well, the, luckily the book tells you. So oh, right. the book has got in the back, it's oh, got... Oh, I flick over that page? Yeah, right at the very back. <laughs> Most important page. John's got flicks So this over. has got your 60 degree diamonds here, um, and they've got uh, one, what was that one? One and a quarter, one and a half, and two inch diamonds. And that's the, the 
uh, measurement on this edge. Oh yeah, so I had that when I first started. I kept, I kept saying, "This is an inch and a half. This is three. But it's actually you, the, the length across of the that, edges, yes, isn't it? Yes, yeah. that's right. So for this pattern, we're using the sixty-degree diamonds. Okay. So then, just other patterns. You've got hexes, yeah. uh, triangles, squares. You've got all different, uh, all different things in here. To, to help you create those different shapes. Yes. But obviously you're not gonna cut them out of the book. No, you wouldn't cut them out of the book. So you can either photocopy them um, multiple times or you can use your template plastic. And we've got right. a couple oh, of yes, different that's options important. here. So are you gonna, what are you gonna do first? Are you gonna Let's us? talk about the template okay. plastic just for a minute because for, for this, I'm not gonna use the template plastic oh, okay. today. So okay. we may as well okay. talk about those and get those out of the way. So what I would do is I think I would photocopy from the book itself so yes. that you're not dealing with the spine of the book and you've got a piece of paper that sits right. flat. Okay. Uh, so I'd put that underneath your template plastic and then you can trace over that with a Pen okay, pencil so we've got three different versions here. C can you just, have you got a piece, just a piece of paper? Let's just, oh here, okay. I'll do this. These are my notes. Mm -hmm. just, I just want to, no, no, I just want, we're just going to so draw, let's just draw a triangle on there then. So that, pretend that's our, yep. our photocopy, that's yours, our photocopy of the page. So you take this. Yes, and you can place it on. And this one's nice because it's got the grids on it. Right. So you can line up. Of course, my lines aren't going to be at all straight. No, but that's fine. Yeah. So you can use the grids to, well, you can use the grids to design. So you can actually sketch your own oh, patterns on here yes, to help yes, with yes, symmetry. Yes. Or you can use them to line up against. Oh, yes, because so, if you want to do angled, you know, kind of not necessarily a hexagon, but you want yeah. to, but you could draw them on here to make sure that yeah. they all join together before you yeah. cut them out. Good for if you're doing a plique as well. So if you wanted to design something that you wanted to a plique and you wanted to do several of them, you could use the grid on here to make sure it's symmetrical or measures a certain distance. Yes. So that's what this one's good for. And it's not too rigid. It's nice and flexible. No, no, it's very, well, it'd be very good because you could just roll it up and keep it in your pencil drawer or something yeah, like that. Yeah, any excess that you So got. that's the one with the gridded template. Two nine nine. that's what you get for your two. $2.99. I've also got it in plain. Now, the plain <laughs> feels a little bit stiffer than the gridded. Yes. So it, it, was it just me? No, marginally, but yeah, only, mar only, yeah, marginally, only marginally. Yeah, only marginally. Yeah, only marginally. So this is plain. Which, so if you don't want the grid, because if some people find the grid to put them off. Off footing. Yeah. Yes. So again, you do exactly the same with this. It's like semi opaque. Oh, that's a bit weird. Makes my hand look very old, doesn't it? Semi opaque. <laughs> you can see your pattern through there. So all you do is you just trace it onto the plastic yep. and then use your craft knife or your scissors, because you can use scissors on this. Yes, I, I either use paper scissors or a craft knife yep. to cut out. And you can just cut out your template, so then you need to draw that on your paper later on. And then this one here is exactly the same, but you get two sheets, and this feels, oh no, that feels sturdy because you get two sheets in there. That's the template plastic plane. That one's also 2 dollars you get two sheets in there, two smaller sheets in there. But we're not using that today. That's just if you want to draw your own templates or trace mm. your templates yes. from the book. And they're also good for if you want to fussy cut. Because oh, you can yeah. cut, that, you well, can I'll see through that, it. Well, I was saying about this one. Yeah. So say, we fu say oh, you've fussy cutted, your, say you've got your diamond. Have you got one there? Or oh, your lady's face. Oh, or your lady's face. Do the lady's face. That's from the, that, that's from the different, that's from the other fat quarter. But... Yeah, you can put that over. You can put, so if you've got your shape cut out, say you've got your triangle cut out, you can see exactly where you're going to place it on the fabric because it's it's see -through. It's much easier than using yeah. the paper. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so that's all your plastic. They, they all sell, by the way. They all sell. We have them in general stock on our website, but we've just got lots more stock in, so they're around. So if you don't do that, what do you so, do? So um, I cut with paper. So the um, the book gives you the instructions on how to measure your device. You measure your device, right. add a bit extra on on the length and the width, so that okay. you've got a vague guide for how big it's going to be. So if we're making one for mine, yep. I'd measure it like this. So I'm in inches. That's so nine it, and a half so inches. So this tells you to measure all the way round. Uh, all the way round. Because it might be your device fatter. might be fatter. Yep. So measure all the way round and add three inches. Okay. So that one is. Uh, Let's call it 20. 20 and add three inches. So I'm going to make my finished piece of piece EPP top. 23 inches 23. long. And then I suppose you do the same this way around. Yes. Well. Measure all the way around its waist. 14 plus three again. Uh, no, just plus, I think it was plus two. Or it's, tell, it's telling you in the book, so don't worry. Don't take our, our word for it. But you just add a bit of, it's that easy. Yeah, yeah just it, adding, adding okay, your brilliant. seam allowances. Yeah. So for mine, I did 25 inches. Okay. So what I did is I, I actually cut out um, a couple of diamonds right. to work out exactly how many I needed to do. Okay. And I worked out that for mine, I needed 79 diamonds. Uh, right. Oh, sorry, I missed that. How did you work it out? How did you I, work I out? laid them out. So I'll show you how I cut first. Yes. So you can get your template 
and draw around with a pencil and cut each of them out individually by scissors. Yes. With scissors. Yeah. Because you need English paper piecing, you need one of these in the centre of all of the bits that you're going to yes. sew. Yes, and you? what you can do is you can have, for example, 20 and you can make, and then when you come to sew this section onto this section, you can then start to take out some of the ones that are in the middle. Right. But for this, because I figured it was a relatively small project, I just cut out the number of pieces that okay. I needed. Right. Uh, oh, right, okay. We've got the, the this isn't your fault, don't worry. Mm -hmm. I just, I'm just gonna leave you for one minute. Oh, There's been right. a, a bit okay. of an error. It's the morning of it, isn't it? So, I showed you this with the lilac and the Jennifer Paganelli with the turquoise. It's the other way round. So if you buy no, the... No, it's the right way round. Oh, no, hang on, no, no, this is coming from, this is coming from the head office. Um, so this lilac one comes with Jennifer Paganelli and this turquoise one comes with Amy Butler. Well, that's a shame. They both work anyway. But, but, but the thing is, we sell both of these. So if you go, oh, I really wanted, this is 325 for half a metre. So if you have bought this bundle and you're thinking, so what's the real, that's Mauve Mist. So that's Mauve Mist comes Amy Butler. But if you've already put Amy Butler in your basket thinking you're getting this one, you can go to the website or ring the call centre and buy half a metre of this for £3.25. And this one's called just straightforward turquoise. Straightforward turquoise. That's the way round it is. Right. Sorry, sorry, Victoria. Trust me to add confusion yeah. into Ooh. everything. Right. Sorry. So you've now, but so you've used it the wrong way round, colour wise. Have you used the? You've cut this out of mm -hmm. the Amy Butler. Yep. And you've done. No, you've done. You've done it I right. I have, but I think I sent an email that might have been the wrong way round. Oh, okay. I okay. don't know. What doesn't I'm matter. Done. It doesn't sorry. matter. Anyway, so this is the way round. Okay. <sighs> right. So does that mean all my images are wrong? So I won't show the stills. Show the sorry. Thing. It's sorry, not your fault at all. Don't be silly. I think it is. <laughs> Do you? But we'll go with it's not my yeah, fault. That's it's fine. Not... I'm happy to go with that. No, exactly. I'm not blaming you. I'm not blaming my guests. <laughs> right. OK. So it, we've measured how big yes, we so need. So, so measured how big that is. And then we need to cut out some diamonds. So, 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 so at this point, you don't know how many diamonds. Don't know how out. many you need to cut out. So okay. what I did is I cut out a few. And then I sort of laid them out to go, OK, how many wide do I need? And then measured how many high. Right. So I went from okay. there. So to cut out my paper pieces, it, um, I found it easier to cut in bulk. Well, the, but the thing is, if you're doing a quilt... Oh, you'd be there forever. But, but, but no, what I'm saying is, if you're cutting... Like we were doing yesterday, we did a, a wonky star. We cut all of the squares out. We, we cut strips and we subcut. So yep. all the fabric was cut. Well so it, would, it seems sensible to do the same with paper to do the for same these, thing. really, yes. doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Although, having said that, and that's always how I would work, yeah. I would do each stage in, in, in its entirety yes. before moving on. But actually, um, the author's got a really good tip, and she says, actually, maybe don't do that for larger projects, because you might get fatigue with your fingers. You might have arthritis, or you might... Get well, a sore no, spot but, but on your also, fingers. You do anything like painting a wolf edges, your yeah. arm. If you're you not used to it, your arm aches. Uncomfortable. So she said, actually, do a little bit at a time. Cut some paper, cut some fabric, sew some pieces together, and then go back and do the same process and, and again. And also, her book is Quilting on the Go. You're never going to take the whole <laughs> no. project with you, are you? No. So if you go on a train journey, you're going to take enough that's going to take three hours. So you don't want to be lugging the whole lot. You'd only take like 20 triangles. Yeah, and, and you might baste and sew them together. Or you might just baste yeah. on the train. And then yeah. when you get home, do your hands. Do the other bits. Yeah. yeah. So we'll get back to okay, it. OK, so we are cutting out strips. So I've got a, um, a long ruler. Yeah, creative um, And I've just used an A4 piece of paper, although I have trimmed a little bit off. Yeah. Okay. And for these, I need to cut one and three quarter inch strips. OK, how did you work out... That bit was in the book. Okay. So that bit tells you in the book how wide you need to cut these. So. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll let you carry on because I see them. So I've got my piece of paper and I've lined up one and three quarter inches yes. along one side. This is my old rotary cutter from home that I dropped and broke. Okay. So it's not great. So I use this for paper. Okay. So but I use my old blades and stick them on because it seems a shame to throw it out, but yeah, actually yeah. it's really useful to keep. But as we always say, cutting paper with your best rotary cutter or your best scissors is going to blunt your blades, isn't it? Yes, it will do. But when they're blunt for fabric, they're not blunt for paper. They're still sharp yes, enough yes, to do yes, paper, yes, yes, so yes. it seems but a shame not, to... they don't slap, glide through paper, do they? Uh, glide through, through fabric, the fabric, no, they won't do. OK. Uh, right, so when you've got... 
So I cut a bunch of strips from the paper and then you use on the creative grids, you've got a number of lines that actually you don't tend to use very often, but they're very useful. So on here, this has got a 45 degree and a 60 degree angle. Okay. Oh, hang so, on, I just need to see oh, that, sorry. It's, it's uh, on here. There. If you can sit. So we've got... Just, the, the, just slide the paper out. Sorry. There you go. Okay, so you can see this, it there. There it is. That. That's what, that white okay. line. So I'm using one of those white lines, and I'm going to put the ruler, make some space, and I'm putting that 60 degree line on the edge of the paper. I'm going to slide it across near the end. You right. don't have to be too exact, but I'm just, you want to use your paper as efficiently as you can. Yeah. And then you can cut off that edge. I've left that blade open, Oof. so whoo, be careful. And then you're cutting again one and three quarter inches. So I'm putting that line that I've just cut oh, in a diagonal. Because we know it's one and three quarter inches because we're doing a one and three quarter inch 60 degree. Is, is that side there one and three quarter inches? That no. side there one and three quarter inches? No, I it should be it. one and three quarter inches across here. Oh, okay. So that should come out as two inches. Okay, so we're doing two inch ones. I just couldn't yes. figure out how, but she tells you in the book. It, she tells you how, how, to, to, do how those. to do them for the different sizes. Okay. So that there is cutting your diamond. So this is called a two inch. This is a two inch, 60, 60 degree, degree diamond. Diamond, right. yes. So the one and three quarters is actually the measurement between opposite edges. Right, okay, so that, that's nothing to do with, so if somebody asks you to make a two inch, 60 degree diamond, you go to the book and she'll tell you, you have to cut your strips at one yep. and three quarters and then cut it off at one and three quarters and that will give you the yes, two inch. Yes, that will give okay, you got it, got that. It, got and it, got there's, it. A, there's an illustration yeah. because you would do the same thing with the fabric. Yes. So I would cut out a bunch of those. Right, and oh, get, which you just happened to have done look, here. here's yeah. some I've, I've done earlier. Yes. So I cut out a load of those and then I'll go and cut the fabric. Right. So I cut the fabric in a similar fashion. But the fabric isn't the same size. No, the, is fa the fabric's a different size. So what I'll do is I'll get the fabric and I've got my fat quarter and I'll put the selvage on the thick outer line on the mat. Yeah, just come to that. There you go. So I've put that on right. that line. And then just to, it's not totally important for cutting out English paper piecing because you're wrapping those edges. Oh, yes, of But course. I would ordinarily, I would just yes, square, off, yes. square off that edge. And then from there, and I'll just flip that over yes. to the other side. These ones I need to cut at two and a half inch. So they, that makes those wider. Yes. But I'll follow exactly the same process. But it tells you to do this in the book, doesn't yes. it? Got to work she this out suggests um, actually two and five eighths, but I don't think you need no. that extra. So I'll cut that out and then do the same thing. On your strip, your 60 degree line. And you can stack these up, you can do three at a time, oh, okay. like I would say, yeah. just to save a bit of time. Add a picture through while Victoria's cutting that. Oh, Luna. Good morning to all you lovely PP. EPP is my absolute favourite, not just for the finished project, because it is so therapeutic. Here's a picture Aww. of a bed I made for Luna. I think she models it very well. She now, does. Luna sits and watches the show, right? Oh, does she? And she'll be sitting there watching us now, all nice and peacefully, and then you go, Luna, the squirrel's at the window. Luna, squirrel's. And she goes crazy. She goes mad. She runs to the window. She runs everywhere. Aww. Oh, look at those. Is she, a, is she a little, is she a whippet? Or is she, what's, what's, I don't, is, is she a whippet? Like whippet like. Oh, look. Very sweet. Isn't that, oh yeah, the greyhound's the big one, isn't it? The whippet's the little one. Yeah, she looks smaller, doesn't but she? But look, look at the, look at the, look at the, oh, um, all that love. All that work, though. I know. Into that cushion, I'm thinking. I know, but, one lucky pup. Well, the thing is, we do it, don't we? Norman and Nelly have, like, as many cushions as they want. They have heated she mm. sheepskin pads, which are kept oh, on all they? day long oh. for them. You know what I mean? They can go wherever they want. Anyway. My dog's in the doghouse. Oh, no. Very what? naughty girl. What's he done? He, oh, she. Was she, yes, the, the farmer was muck spreading. Oh, no. Didn't go well. We need new carpet. Oh! So, I've done the same thing as we did with the paper. We yes. lined up, but these are two and a half inches because yes. we want those to be bigger. Yeah. And we cut those. Now, um, I'll, I'll let you do those and then I'll ask no, you No, that's all right. You can ask. When, because your pattern is now... 
Oh, no. I think I might be talking rubbish. Was that a rubbish question? Uh, no, there's no such thing as a rubbish question, Victoria Pete. But if you've got your... If, say you're not doing them in your fantastic rip like this. Yep. And you've got your fabric like that. Why it's upside down. You cut it like this. Are these effectively They're cut? They're slightly on the cross, aren't they? they? Are. So if you've got stripes, this, I'm not Yes, picking. that's where you would use your template plastic. Right. And you would use that to... Because cut doing your... it your way, any plain fabric, any or pattern, pattern fabric like that, yep. doesn't matter no. at all. But if you do stripes and you want your stripes going through your um, centre of your diamond, yes. if you do your way, your stripes are going to be going across they like will. that, aren't they? They will. So you need to think about right. if you are yeah. properly fussy cutting, how those are going to be sat yes. in your I wasn't, I wasn't piece. picking on your No, no, but it's a really, just, no, it's a really thinking... valid point for if you are looking to fussy because, cut because to get you, it right. Because if you could do that really on the ladies' faces... No. ...because you'd end up with ladies like that, wouldn't you? Like, skew-whiffy. Well, skew-whiffy across your fabric. Well, you could if you wanted it, but... <laughs> anyway, Poor sorry. lady. Yes, poor lady. So the pattern for the, um, the laptop case is created in sections. OK. So we, it comes together. You've got sections. And it tells you how to sew them together. So she's got lots of advice in the book as to how to sew them together as yes, well. Yes, yeah. Because you don't just sew them in a row. It doesn't really work. You sort of sew them together in blocks. OK. So where on here So on is here, that? this piece is here. Let's do it up here. Yeah. Here. And here. Um, and these yes, are yes, here. Yes. So you do lots of these, this shape? Yes. I don't so really know what you call I that. Sewed... That crystal shape, is, I don't know what you hmm. call that shape. It's like an elongated hexi. Yes. Almost like um, a honeycomb piece. Yes. Giant honeycomb. So you make lots, so this is why it's going on, on the go, because you know you've got to make so many of yes. these. Yeah, I worked out, I don't know how many I did in yes. the end, but no, I didn't write down how many of those okay. I made. But I made a series of those, and then you join those together in columns. Yes. And then you add the diamonds in the middle and diamonds on the outside. Yes. Okay, brilliant. So that's what we need to do with those. I've also mixed in the solids um, for <laughs> the these. The solid that doesn't belong the there. The solid. Oh, no, hang on. No, that does belong. Oh, I'm confused no, I... now. <laughs> this is the Jennifer Paganelli. Yes. And that's the one that comes with that turquoise. Yes. So that's right. But I may, it may be wrong on the visuals. Oh, I see. Well, don't worry. Who knows? That's not your problem. Sorry. It's right here, that's, that's all we right care here. about, that's, isn't it? That's fine. Uh, okay. So, um, but what I would say is that if you decide to mix the solids in, you're using the solid to do the lining, make sure that you cut out a piece of lining big enough first before you cut your strip off the side. No, the Jack Jennifer Paganelli doesn't come with the mauve mist. We've just <laughs> moved them round, little Paul. Sorry, Paul. Anyway, we'll carry on, we'll carry on. I'm going to leave before yes. Paul comes downstairs. I would. I'm going to run out yes, the door. Yes, I would. Okay. So okay, yes, okay. It cut, make sure that you've cut enough for your lining first before, before you, you cut start out cutting other diamonds fancies, if yeah. you want to do that. Yeah. I just fancied I thought it looked no, quite no, it's nice, nice. It's to nice break because the prints. All these fabrics are gorgeous and patterns and everything, but sometimes to put a plane in them just kind of cuts overs them, but it kind of makes these pop out more. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah. 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 And I like this one here. It's got pineapple. The pineapple ones. That's, you know, producer oh, Hannah, that's nice. her favourite in this it range does, as well. I'm not surprised. Right, so what do we do right, next? Right, so time? let's have a little talk about basting. I've got glue basting. Just check There, do you glue pen. Thank you. So with glue basting, if you've not seen glue basting before, um, you use your Soline glue pen which are super duper. They, um, this one comes in a yellow, but we also do a blue as well, but they dry completely clear. So don't worry about that. Um, normally I'll just place the paper piece in the middle, but if you're fussy cutting, you might want to just put a bit of a dab first yep. so that you can place it in the correct place okay. if you want to. Um, and then when you're using your glue pen, it's quite easy to get yourself in a big fat mess. Oh, okay. Glue goes everywhere. Yeah. So I make sure that I've got a fair amount poking out the end. Yeah. And then, just, I, then I'll use the now. end of it. Yeah. So don't go too close in. Right. And don't, if, I think if you go that way, yeah. you then end up getting it all okay. piling up this yeah. side. So if I go a little bit longer and use the edge of it, that right. allows, that sort of chamfers the edge yes. and sharpens it as you go along. And I find you get less glue. And you in didn't the way. just do the paper, I noticed. You went right onto the, over to the fabric. I just did as well. on the edge of the fabric. So I'll show you again on here. I've gone right up to the edge and I've gone all the way over onto that seam allowance, yeah. if you like. And then lift up with my finger, press against the paper. Okay, now would you. And press over. At home, in real life, would you do this on your cutting board? 
Because um, I'd be frightened no, of getting actually, glue on No, actually, what I like to board. do, and it looks a bit light on the paper, is that I'll do it on the paper because the whole thing spins quite uh, easily. Yes, 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 yes. But yes, I yes. thought the white no, looks no, a bit... No, no, you're, you're right, you're right, you're right. But I just, I just don't want people at home to buy themselves a lovely cutting mat and then, and get then cover it in glue. It. Uh, I love watching Victoria. She's so laid Aww. back. Oh, you should see her legs peddling <laughs> under the desk today. <laughs> Fab show, you make me giggle. That's Catherine in time and weird. Thank oh, you, Catherine. Oh, thank you. Right. So you can just work your way around. Okay, now you've got dog ears, dog legs. Yes, yeah, so don't worry about those okay. because they will disappear when you start sewing everything what, together. Magically. Magically, oh, poof, okay. disappearing. So right. that's as simple as that. So is that instead of tacking? That's instead of thread. Because in the book, it yep. also shows you how to tack. It shows you how to tack that as well. And that's down to personal preference. Because okay. some people like the, not the therapy, but the process well, no, no, of because, um, hand stitching. Yeah, just, uh, did, did, Luna just said, didn't it? Uh, Luna the dog. No, Luna no, the Luna dog. The dog that, but that finds it very therapeutic sort of thing. Now, would you mind, and I won't make you sew it, but would you? how would you, if you physically yeah. have this and this. Yeah, I'll show you how to do that. And you don't have a glue a, pen. I have a Oh, you got uh, okay. I have a I wasn't, oh, right. sorry. But you can see here just how the tip of this is staying. I know, I know I've only done one, but you can see how the end of that is sort of starting to yes. bend in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so if you've scrunched it flat down, it's yeah. all going to go And you up. get it all chopped up around yeah. the outside. And I can't imagine you like mess. Oh, no. No, didn't think so somehow. I'm really messy. You should see my work. Oh, are you? Oh, it's a oh absolute that does tip. surprise me. Absolute tip. But is the rest of the house. Are you chill? So you don't, don't Depends how busy I am with sewing quarter. <laughs> okay, but don't you say to your children, tidy that up? Yes, everything has a place. Okay, but then don't ignore mummy because she just puts yeah, it don't do she as I do. There. Okay, so. So if you're thread basting, I, um, I will take either a paper clip or a sewing clip, anything like that, wonder clip, and uh, that will help secure it in place. So I'll fold this first edge over and hold it in place with... Oh, okay. A paper clip. It's a big paper clip. It's a very big one, but it's the only one I had. <laughs> okay, so you, don't, aren't, you wouldn't iron or anything at this point. You, you can do, or what you could use is use some best press. So if your fabric's a little bit bouncy, some fabrics mm -hmm. don't like to be finger pressed, yes. you could best press it first. Okay. And that just helps with the, um, okay. with the process. Okay, so do you sew that one now then? No, so I oh, leave okay, that sorry. one first. Jumping ahead, And I've sorry. used a bit of thread magic oh, on okay. my thread Available that's my on the sort website. of sticking to my hands. And then from this point, I would then fold over this next edge. Right. Making sure that that point is nice and sharp. And then I'll sew through. Oh, so now you sew. So now I'll sew through. And you, you've, got, you've got choices. You can either go just through the fabric or you can go through the paper as well. And that's one of those. On the first stitch? Uh, no, on all of them. So I can show you that one if you like. I don't understand. What so some people about. go through. Yes. Everything, yeah, completely through, yeah, to that side, right. And then when you come across, and I've gone backwards for some reason, yeah, you come across, you fold over, and then you come back. Are oh, you only in the corners? Back in to the cor in at the corner, and that will go through the fold yes, on this yeah. side and this side. So you're only stitching the corners. Yep, yeah, you can. Oh, only... I thought you tacked all, you know, like a tacking stitch. All I think around. if you you were doing something really large, you would do. Yeah, but on this sort but of on size. on this size, you don't need to. Oh, weird. Perfect timing. I've just started cutting diamonds and wondered the best way to do it. Patricia in Oxford, thank you. There you go. Job done. Well, Have you saved. got an old rotary cutter, though, Patricia? It does help. I'm sorry, I've gone backwards on this one. I don't know why. OK. It's one of those days, I think, you'll find. It's one of those days today. I'll just re-thread that. But the thread magic helps an awful lot with just giving the, the thread just that little bit more... Um, yeah. body. Well, it's like, it's like old-fashioned old people like me use beeswax. Is yes. it the same sort of yeah. thing? Yeah. yeah, but it's nice because beeswax can go a little bit crunchy when it gets older. Can't we all? Mm -hmm. Go back through there. And back up to the other corner. Fold that one over. So you so literally you... fold the corners over and stitch through, or either, yeah. like you say, just the fabric. You can the go just thing. the fabric, or you can go all the way through. The, the joy of going through just the fabric is that you don't actually have to take those basting stitches out when you oh, join everything yes. together. You can just pop your papers out at the end. Yes. But if you've gone through this way, you'll then, of course, have to take out these. Yes, big stitches. Buttons. Horses for courses. It's... So when you've, when you've secured all four corners, would yeah. you then press it? Yes, then I would press it okay. on this one. On, when you're using the glue base, and you'll see the difference between the two. 
Let me just sing amongst yourselves. I've only roughly done that. Yeah. But you can see the difference it makes between the finished product. Oh, when yes, yes, yeah. Based it. And I mean, you could put a little in and out on this side, but you can still see the edges are more bouncy and this yes, gives a flatter yeah, result. Yeah. So that takes out a step. So, yeah, because that's not been pressed, has it, no, at all? No, those Whereas been this pressed. one, you now need to press it I would to, want make to, press it look, those. to make it look like that one. Yeah, is. whenever I'm doing thread basting, I always then go and okay. press because it makes them nice and sharp. And would you use um, the glue stick on any fabric that, we use it, that you were using? Um, for English paper piecing, yes, I'm quite happy to yeah, use it, it on... Yeah, English paper piecing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm quite happy to use it on any because it's, it's a washable glue. It doesn't stay in the fabric. It will wash out. Oh, okay, and it dries clear. Yeah. Anyway, oh yeah, it dries so. clear. It's brilliant. So, oh yeah. So don't worry if you're thinking oh, she's putting yellow on a pink fabric. It dries clear. Okay. Uh, thank you for explaining EPP so well. I'm a complete beginner. That's Jane in Kent. Right. Before you go on to the next stage, yes. I'm going to go and try and do bontours. Yeah. Good luck with that. Sorry. Confused, and then we'll come back and do the next one. Okay. Good luck. Right. I'm just going to go word for word with what Paul's going to tell me now. Amy Butler fabric it comes with turquoise. So why then? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to worry. I'm not going to let it worry me. It's too much in life to worry about. So, Amy Butler, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, nine. So you do get 12 in Amy Butler, plus the turquoise fabric, half a metre. Oh, but you must then get the turquoise thread as well, then. What number have you got with this one, then? There you go. Turquoise thread. I blame Christopher. Anyway, £51.90. Yeah, we're, uh, he's blaming Jay. Right. And then the Jennifer Pagnelli, which we love. You only get 11 for some reason. Fat quarters in the Jennifer Pagnelli. Beautiful, aren't they? Gorgeous. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, actually, is Ian in the, me is Ian in the meeting? Or is it? Can you disturb the meeting? Yeah, you can. Uh, you get the mauve mist fabric with this, the mauve mist cotton thread. And you get the um, 11 fat quarters, 54 pounds and 99 pence. Oh, no, no, no. I was just going to give it, I'll give it to him in a minute. I want you to go to Ian now and ask what date this is arriving for me. The actual, by the half metre. Right, now, the, the, just very quickly, I've got other fat quarters. Oh, I've got other fat quarters to show you. Are you just coming to do those or no? They're not here. Um, I'll do this one first. I've got this one, right? Um, this is Heather Bailey, True Colours. It's gorgeous. I love this. The quilt that's behind, it's one of those days there, I do apologise. The quilt that's behind Je uh, Victoria and I um, are um, made with the design role of these, but you get all of these colours in this. It's just, a, well, it's not just a fat quarter bundle, but it's a fat quarter bundle. You get 20 of them. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? Look. Well, I, I, I can't, just do, just do this bit here. Just go to the table and I'll explain, right? Okay, so it's not that, and it's not that, but it's this here. You get 20 fat quarters for £74.99. and pence. Now, the other fat quarters are here now, Paul. Would you like me to do those while I'm here? Yeah, I'll do those while I'm here. <sighs> So that these are brilliant for EPP or for any, any sort of quilting projects or anything. We just thought we'd show you more because maybe the, the Jennifer Paganelli or the Amy Butler aren't your cup of tea. And lots of people have been asking about the quilt behind me. That's made with the, that was made with the design roll. So you would have to, I don't know if you could make that out of the fat quarter bundle. Next. <clears throat> okay, the mixed up, hang on. I've got cave with yellow pots. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Right, I'll, I'll move this one to one side so we've got a clear bit on the table. Right, K facet, fat quarter bundle. There you go, you get six in this one. Uh, this one's called Fall 2017. Oh, it's pack four. Pack four, that one. So you get the yellow Delft, you get the yellow zigzag, you get the yellow trefoil, you get the stripes with multicolours in, you get the great big flower cloud in gold, and you get the crazy flowers in multicolours there. Uh, £27.95. Okay, the next one. I've only got one other cave, so that's this one. 
So you get the, um, oh, I love this one. I'll just show you this one very quickly. Because this one would be good for English paper piecing because you could do all sorts of weird fussy cutting with this one, don't you? Because the pattern itself is quite big, isn't it? So you've got magenta uh, rose cloud there. Then you've also got the zigzag, two zigzags. You've got the trefoil in the deeper colours. You've got the seashells in the deeper colours. And then you've got the lovely floral in the bright colours there. So this bundle here is pack three, 27 pounds and 95 pence. You get six fat quarters in there. Okay. Then, Amy Butler. So that one goes there. Uh, now, Amy Butler, now you just saw this one, in that, that fabric in a different colorway in the bundle we just had. You know. Oh, actually, it's the same fat quarter patterns, but in, oh, there's different, no, there's different fabrics in there. Um, there's 12 in there. How many are in here then? Oh, look. Oh, there's still 12 in this one as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, look, there's that one. We had that one in green in the one we were using earlier. But these, we didn't have any of these in that bundle, did we? Um, oh, no, because this one was, that one in our bundle is from a different range, isn't it? Anyway, so this is an Amy Butler night music, this one's called. Oh, aren't we? Okay. Okay. Off you go. Fabric done? Yeah, it's not, but I think Paul's bored with doing it. Oh, OK. Oh, right. I've just unthreaded my needle. So now that we've got, um, well, like I say, I did all my paper pieces all wrapped in fabric, all basted, all sorted. And yes, yeah. Um, then, um, and she gives you instructions on how to do these, but you do these segments together. And I've got this one. And you sew them together by sewing this edge first and then come down and do the middle bits and then come back and do these outside pieces. But that's oh, sort hang of on, up hang to on. you. Well, just do the, just, we'll go for the, the upstairs camera to come in because I thought with English paper piecing, you just did one at a time. I didn't realise you did a, you had a little pattern. So if you, so that's here, your block. Yes, yeah. and um, the author suggested, and I'm really sorry, I've forgotten her name, Jessica. Yeah. Jessica suggested that you start at this point, you sew them together up here, you then work down here. Using the same piece here. of thread? Yes, the same piece of thread, and then back up here, and then come back and do along these bits. Oh, so you're constructing wow. the, the block Because in, in my go. brain, English paper piecing is, is this. Put them together. Do that. I, I'm, not, I'm not actually doing it. And then I open that one, and then get that one, and then that one. No, not yeah, which is sort of what you're doing. Yeah, yeah but yours is more organised. Oh, yours oh, is more... was. Was, more organised. <laughs> anyway, good luck. Like oh, I'm a slow <laughs> Close enough. Uh, yeah, so, but I, I did mine slightly differently. Oh, OK. But Ever not the much. Rebel. Ever the rebel. So, so Jessica says, so down there, down there, down there, down there, stop, then, then do that one, the and sides. then do that But one. actually, I went up here, down here, and then did that side, and then came back and went round and did it. Oh, OK. Well, it's as long as your thread allows, isn't it? Really? Yeah, pretty but there's much. But no, there's, no, there's no rule. Is there, are there anything you shouldn't do? No, I think keep with what she's saying in terms of doing these segments, yes. these blocks. So do those. So you do a row of these blocks. Blocks, then sew all of those together, sew all of those together, and then, like I said earlier, you then put in your diamonds yes. in between. Okay. That makes logical sense, okay. to the way to what put those together. What stitch then do you do? Um, today, I just thought I would just do a whip stitch, but you can do a flat back stitch, which is where you don't see it at all from the outside. Right. Um, I quite, I quite, because if, if somebody spent hours hand making something for me, I quite like seeing the stitches, because if you don't see any stitches, could have been done on a machine, couldn't it? I know, it could have been done on a machine, and that's part of the charm of English paper pieces, yes. seeing the stitching. Yes, yes, definitely. It's nice. Obviously not if they're all big glunky stitches and all falling apart. Don't look too closely to that oh, one. Okay, <laughs> uh, okay, so show us, how do you start off then? So place the two pieces right sides together. I'm going to do between this point here and this edge. Okay, so the, do the dog ears are still there. The dog ears are still there, let's turn that one. You're going to get some dog ears that are quite difficult to deal with because of the nature of the design yes. of the pattern. But here, <coughs> I'm going to place those two together. Okay. Um, and this is where accuracy and cutting the paper is important. I said before that the, the fabric's not so important. You've got a bit of leeway. But you want your paper pieces to be the same size right. as each other. Otherwise, mathematically, they're not going to fit together. But then the way you cut it... Gives you the best chance of getting them yes, exactly. accurate. And the nice thing about the creative grids, of course, is they're grippy. So yes. you've got less chance yeah, of flipping around. around you. So I'm going to place those right sides together. Yeah. Put those together. And then I'm going to flip it round. You lose track a bit, but I'm going sewing from this edge up to here. So okay. I'm going to flip it round. 
And on this side, because this is the side closest to me, I'm just going to run a couple of little stitches through the fabric only on this fold right. on the top here. Yeah. So on this little so fold. So that's here. like your knot, is the yeah. knotting off there. So that we're but there's no knot in your thread? No, you can do if you like, but I'm quite happy not to put a knot. Uh, not to put a knot? Not to knot. Okay. So I'll just run through a couple of times. Okay. So that's really that. like on, on your sewing machine, the, the locking off stitch. Isn't yes, it, really? it is. Just, just yeah. settling yourself. Um, and in the book, she's got a nice way of creating a knot and different ways of securing that thread okay. in the corner. But that's, again, that's down to personal preference, like the tacking through the paper, mm -hmm. not through the paper or glue yeah. basting. It's, yeah. it's up to you. Um, but what I like to do is just go through the very, very corner of the diamond. So you're coming out of the diamond Hang corner. On, just coming that, yeah, perfect. Through that corner, and then you're going to go through on the other one through that corner as well. Yeah. And just try and go through just a couple of threads. Okay. If it feels odd that you're pushing a needle away from away. you. Away. And I flip between two different methods of doing the English paper piecing, the whip stitch, is that sometimes I'll go away and sometimes I'll come towards yeah. me. And for me, I think that just uses different muscles in your hands, oh, different muscles yes. in your arm, and it gives you a different sore spot. Yes, and it doesn't, but it doesn't affect, if you sew something one way and sew something the other way, it's not going to cause any... I don't think so. I think you'd have to try it for yourself and see what effect changing the direction has yes, on yeah. your sewing. But you've not you've never mentioned you've never no, no you mean, yeah. you've never mentioned, never it. mentioned it. Uh, you've never <laughs> noticed that it changes yours if you do it different no, ways. No, no. Because my automatic thing would be this way. Straight towards me, yes. Yes, but actually I've been trying going away from me and I quite like that. Okay. Now at uh, no thimble? Um, sometimes I use a thimble. Oh on your pointy finger? Yeah, uh, to push, push it through. It through. Um, and I also sometimes get a little sore spot mm, here where I pull the threads. where your threads have been cutting into, yeah. Yeah, I sometimes stick something there as well. Um, but it depends on where I put the thimble, because I use the nice um, little suede patches that we sell, um, the suede thimbles, because they you can reposition those. Okay. So if you're sewing away from yourself, I put the thimble in a different place than when if I'm sewing the other way. Exactly. Uh, the lady you asked about the uh, model head uh, fabric, uh, Chris is just asking Ian when the half metre, the fabric by the half metre is going to arrive. Can you see that? Okay, we're way? watching. That's nice, therapeutic, this, isn't it? It is. We nice. need two armchairs, really, don't we? I know, I did think that when I came on set, I thought, oh, we needed a sofa and a cup of tea. Yeah. We had a sofa when we did that. We did John Scott's Lounge once. Once Was it a Sunday, Paul, we did that? How nice. And we set up over there and we brought the sofa down from upstairs, put quilts over it and had a cup of tea and a plant. Oh, so that, see, I was doing a book nice. special sitting over there. Yeah, but it's that. I think the sofa must have cost them about £4.50. And it was the most uncomfortable. I had cushions underneath me galore, but it was still... And it was so <laughs> low down. When I had to get up to come over here, it was like, oh, I can't... Get Sounds like Princess and the Pea to me. I don't know that story. Do you not? Yeah, uh, someone just wants to have a quick look at the book while you're stitching up. Uh, now, as I told you, it's a very, very, very popular book, this one. Quilting on the go, and it, that's exactly what it is. It's not like when you're not actually quilting on the go, you're kind of doing the patchwork on the yes, go, Yes, so you're right, you? actually, it is patchwork on the go. Because that, that's when I first started here. I just thought quilting covered all of everything to do with it, but it's actually, it this is... it sort of does. Well, yes, but you're not, you're not quilting. No, quilt. I'm not. A quilter wouldn't, well, you are a quilter, but a quilter wouldn't say... I am quilting this English no. paper piecing now because it's the over st the stitching afterwards, isn't it? Anyway, as I say, look at all of these, uh, all the things that Victoria was talking about actually about colour wheel. Look, you see even the simple things like the colour wheel and pattern. Yeah, understanding and your fabric. Do you yeah. want one? Understanding your fabric yes, and yeah. how um, even though a fabric might be really beautiful, when you come to cut it up and create shapes from it, it doesn't quite work. So yes, it's just yeah. understanding. And then more uh, all about cutting and tacking. Oh, there you go. So this is exactly what Victoria's just covered, isn't it? The difference between the tacking, the different ways she's tacked the corners, the different ways she tacks it together. Uh, Jessica, this is. Um, and then all the way the different shapes go together, edges and borders. Yes, because I suppose with English paper piecing, it's not like a quilt. You don't end up with a straight... No, you don't. And especially with this design as well. Yes. Is that you have a diamond in here and then... Try and tuck the dog ears in. Yeah. But then you've got another diamond, you've got to fill that gap. Yes. So you either end up with a gap or an excess. Yes. So, so it's, depending you know, it's on not like a quilt where you end up with a square. No. You're, 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 so your squaring off of EPP is going to be quite... Oh, actually, we should get onto that, shouldn't we, at some point? Um, but anyway, so we've got all of these. That, 
We've got the project, we've got six minutes till the end of the show. Oh, Hexagon okay. cushions. Just uh, everything is so well. Look at all the photographs. Brilliantly laid out book. It's a really beautiful, good. beautiful laid out. It's a kind of book you could sit down, even if you're not going to do any sewing that day, and just have a read through it, isn't it? And, then and what was nice is you yeah. were talking about these colouring in sheets at the back, yeah, I'm sorry. which we've got. I'll stick my hand in here. You go find the colouring in sheets. Yeah. Mm. Bossy, bossy. Yeah, no, it's fine. Colouring in sheets. So there. you've got your colouring in sheets, but in the pages before that, she's got how illustrations of, she's got the little. A mini version of the colouring in sheet here, but here you can see she's got different versions of. So that's all of this one, but that you see, that's what amazes me about patchworking and quilting is just by using different fabrics, you can make something look completely, completely different. Completely and utterly different. So that's pattern. using exactly the same blocks in exactly the same way, yeah. but using different colour layouts for your fabrics. Incredible, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Anyway. So she's got lots of those. But, so, um, here, did you say only six minutes? Yeah, five now. Five minutes. Okay, so what I'll do then is I've done along one side, yes. and then you take your next diamond and you'd place that right where's, side. Where's together. your needle at the moment? My needle, needle and thread, thread is coming out the top edge here, and then the next diamond goes on this edge. Okay. So you take that, you'd place that on, you'd match up these corners here and yeah. here, and hold stitch. those together, do a couple of stitches through this little edge here and then sew down this side. Okay, brilliant. So we do to do that. Um, I'm being told that we can't get that fabric, did you say, the chat? Oh. Mm. I shall have words. Anyway, so, uh, so you stitched all of these together. Yes, so you'd stitch all, you of, those stitched all of those together. I have I got my colouring in pencils oh, out when I was at home um, to show you that effectively this is what I made. <clears throat> But out of fabric. Oh, to make, the, to make this? Yes, so this was the size that I created in order to do this. Right. So I've recreated that. So, so that this, is, this is where you've measured round your um, tablet. This is it plus three inches that way and around the waist of it yes. plus the inch and a half, whatever it was that way. So your finished piece of English PP, EPP to make this look was like that, that. Was that size. Yeah. And this is where those blocks go. Yes. So they go along here, so you do all of those joined in together, yeah. put your diamonds in the middle. Right, and then okay. do those, and then join that. So if you've done the whole of that line there... Yes, and then I did the whole of that, that line, line there, there, then I put all the middle diamonds I attached to this column on this side, yes. and then I came back and attached this column to the diamonds because in the middle. Because it is going to get more and bigger more bulky and bigger. as you go And that's where sense. you might like to start taking your papers out as you go. But if you've just used printer paper, I've just used standard A4 paper. If yeah. you've used that, I would take that out as you go. Oh, okay. That's fine to leave in, but if you've used... Don't take it out until you've stitched them, though. No, not until it's attached to another piece. So, so, so would you take them out of this? No. no, because they haven't been attached to that No, yet. but as soon as I've attached that... Oh, no, you still wouldn't take them no, out, actually. No, because you've I got that one, no. Out. So it's taken out at in. the end, yeah. Leave so you you had your finished piece. Let's pretend this is your finished piece of fabric yes. to make this. Yes. What did you then, then in do? the back of the book, there is a template for that curved edge. OK. Which this... you could freehand yourself, but there's a template to make yes. it easier. Uh, now, the template itself, you need to increase in size by 200% to make it bigger. OK. But um, the, the dimensions of it depend a little bit on what as you to make the it. size of the, the yes. product that you've got, the, the tablet or device yeah. that you've got. So what I've actually done with mine is I've folded a little pleat in the middle of mine to make it a little a less smaller, wide. Yeah. So I then used that and then drew round the outside of oh, that. Oh, this is where I'd get all upset now. Because I know. You, I, it's, you've it's hand-stitched all these beautiful seams <laughs> here. You're going to place that on there and just rotary cut all those off the corner, yes. aren't you? But what you do is you draw it first and then you go round and you sew a basting stitch around the outside because oh, if you if cut far... no if you then cut across this seam here yes that stitching will unravel oh uh, so you do a machine it's so a you machine, machine line so okay, you machine okay. well you can do it by hand if you like yeah. but you would do that um and you make a quilt sandwich and the instructions tell you because you need your wadding and yes. whatever okay and so so We've got two minutes to finish this off. So you've got that. You've cut it out to the shape of this. You've cut yeah, all, you've, you've, you've made your your, stitch. But you've made a quilt sandwich first before you trim. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And then you've got that. And then you've literally... And then you turn it through and then you go right sides together to sew these two side seams. Yep. Sew those together. Right. And then on the outside, you can attach your little buttons. Yes. So, so this is the bit that's too... That, that goes like that. Yeah. That goes like that. So that makes you flap. So you, you cover it. Yeah, so and then you've got two flap. covered buttons. Thank you for... Oh, I've got that one. I've done that one, James and Kent. N uh, no. Uh, 
Jane in Derbyshire loves the show. Victoria makes it so it looks so much easier. Thank you. Oh, right. Thank you. Okay. Quick question. You've made two covered buttons. Yes, I use two covered buttons. Which we sell here. Are we got them today? Or we're going on the website. Here they are. So I've used those Obviously, two. Obviously, yours will come with five. <laughs> uh, I've used them for another project. It's five. You get five. Five. It says on the packet five. This is the, you only got five holes on this one. So they are. A different button. What Paul's showing you? That, yeah, these are 22 millimetre. You've got 15 millimetre ones there. Oh, has he got more? Okay. But the size doesn't matter. You can no, use no, whatever no, no, size no, you no. like. So the ones you'll be buying won't be this big. They'll be 15 millimetre and you get six of them. Oh, super. Okay. Uh, so so you've, met, you've covered your buttons. Yes, and then the... Um, so you just sew those on. And okay. as you construct, you put in... She suggests using hair bands. But you can what, use... What, scrunches? Uh, no, like, like elastic-y ones, not like flowery. Scrunchy oh, ones. I don't know the difference, I'm afraid. Oh, well, scrunchies are the things that I made when I was about 12 and tried to sell at the end of the drive <laughs> when oh, I was a and, child. Uh, is that your first million the, you made yeah, doing the scrunchies? Yeah. We've got to go. Thank you so much no for problem. today. You've done brilliantly. If you knew, <laughs> if you knew you what was going on. Um, do you know when you're back? I am back week Saturday. Oh, well, you think you're back. I think I'm back. Saturday. Depends um, what Paul's got to say. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> right, 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 right. Uh, little Paul says thank you very much indeed. Mm -hmm. Right. Heather Bailey. Oh, so not the bundle. The um, yeah. So this is a fat quarter bundle. Uh, the the quilt that's been behind Victoria and I for the lot behind me, Victor, me and Victoria, Victoria. Yeah, me and Victoria um, has been made of the Heather Bailey True Colours. It was made of. Um, uh, design roll, but we've got a fat quarter, so we put the quilt up just so you can see all the different colours that you get. Oh, I've got loads of time, I'm not rushing. Beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. This one, uh, Timothy calls co coffee beans. There, 20 fat quarters, 74 pounds and 99 pence. Beautiful colours, beautiful patterns. You can create the most extraordinary look with those fabrics. Okay, so now Amy Butler, the little bundle that we've put together for you, comes with the turquoise fabric and the turquoise thread. Now you get 12 fat quarters this one, 12 fat quarter pieces in this one. Beautiful, beautiful design. You've got the Japanese flower, the Moroccan tiles, I like to call them, the geometrics, the stitch birds, the crazy flowers. This one's like a crazy flower one, that one. Uh, uh, then we go all the way through there, and then you've got that... Um, Lovely geometric one there. And then another crazy one in the turquoise. All of that for £51.99. OK. Then the last one, most popular, Jennifer Paganelli. So you only get 11 fat quarters this one. You get the mauve mist, you get the mauve, half a metre, the mauve mist thread, and then the gorgeous Jennifer Paganelli um, fat quarter bundle. 11 in this one. It's funny, isn't it, that she's only put 11 in? That one, oh, yeah, because we did another bundle where that one kept, the roses came in turquoise as well. There you go, that bundle for 54 pounds and 99 pence. <sighs> right, tomorrow, I am not in tomorrow. But hopefully Natasha will be better by tomorrow. Coming up tomorrow with Natasha, eight o'clock, she's got Miss It Miss Out. Oh, I love Miss It Miss Out hours. Maybe I will come in. Nine o'clock, Deborah's embroidered pocket. She's just making a pocket. A pocket? Do we know what that is? 10 o'clock, we've got the William Morris hour. Oh, lovely William Morris fabrics. And then 11 o'clock, the minky. Now, where I come from, that's, that's rude. Minky came back. Deborah said, oh, it's somebody's name, is it? Oh, how funny. Oh, it's a designer. That's nice, isn't it? Minky. I, I want a cat called Minky. Thanks ever so much, company. Uh, I'm sorry if you were expecting Natasha and I've been rubbish. But there you go. I will see you the day after tomorrow. I've only got one day off. I'll see you then. Take care. Lots of love. On Friday, the 9th of March, we're in for two hours of wonderful westerly. From 9am, we'll take a look at the brand new westerly quilt classes in a bag with quilting extraordinaire Angie Atwood. These amazing quilt class bags come with a six-point crosshair ruler, a DVD with detailed information to make your quilt and full written instructions. This bundle of goodies is all encased in a stylish black bag designed by Leonie West and made by Yazzie.
Angie will be demoing the quilt class bag to show us how we can create our own beautifully designed quilts. We'll have two gorgeous colorways available for you to choose from, mossy green or velvet blues. Prepare to be inspired by Angie Atwood and Westerly. This two hour special is sure to have you itching to get quilting. Tune in on Friday the 9th of March from 9am to 11am. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678.